So we're live and teething problems, funnily enough. So I'm going to put the trailer part voice on. The trailer part voice always makes things better. Oh, for God's sake, I had my computer muted, that's why I couldn't hear Chris. Chris, mate, can you hear me? Oh, it's dropped. Chris. Yeah, I'm here. I am such an ass. Was it you? I had my computer muted. Goodness, you've had me restarting, you've had me changing browsers. And now I'm even on my phone now. You've got me on my phone for goodness sake. And it was you the whole time. It was me. Because uh, Rob got a call, so I muted. I was listening to what? Uh, Dire Straits or whatever. Uh, so I muted. So then I, no, sorry, Chris. No. I was just about to get my older microphone. Yeah. That'll be the third microphone that I've tried. Yeah. Oh, hey, uh, Anthony Riley got me a mic. I've not tested it yet properly. Um, I'll show you. Uh, this mic. Like, oh. He said, yeah, you sound shit. Is like, it USB? Uh, yes. Yeah, cool. That's, just, that's cool. Just like the devices on the outside of the ISS that are just like plug and play. So we're live, by the way, Chris. Oh, okay. Uh, pass the link to a bunch of other people on um, Skype. I've not gone into the email yet, um, but we'll wait. It's a crappy day here. Yeah, it's it's really overcast here. It's, uh, show you. Can you can you imagine? Oh, it's sunny. Yeah, uh, in Scotland uh, it's sunny. So hmm. is she going to jump in? Okay. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, don't know where Vincent is. Uh, we can settle in now, Chris. By the way, if you want to um, play some mellow music or something like that, just either pass me a link or um, put it on yourself and I'll turn off. Meditate, yeah, yeah. Just restarting my system. Now. Anybody interested in this quick map uh, through here? Funnily enough, the time difference between the UK, which is Greenwich Mean Time, and Alaska is eight hours. Why is it just about uh, the prime meridian on the globes? Anyway, so there you go. I've kind of done a uh, rough uh, estimation. Uh, if you live somewhere and it's not the picture there, apologies. You freaking go and draw it. Assistant. Oh, let's see if there's anybody even. Wow, a load of people. Uh, no, uh, Cosmic Surfer, we don't need solar noon. We want any, any sun. Wow, look at my hair. It looks just like Hitler. Perhaps not the same colour. Mm. 
I passed it to her. And I passed it to her. Thanks, Anita, for telling me that. Uh, uh, that he was on um, Pete Sangout. Well, let's see. Totally covered in clouds. Anita Holman, where are you? Totally covered in cloud here too. She says he didn't want to mention the hair in case it was deliberate. No, it was not deliberate. It was post shower, no hair product. Hair. I don't normally use hair product. I don't pride myself on it. That's for sure. But I'm going to use some today. Got to be presentable, what? Who do I hear? Me? Am I there? There you are. Yes. You are. How are you doing? Hey, well yourself. Oh, check that out. Right. All good. You're the Lovely. first one. Yeah, I just thought I'd pop in and uh, show you that uh, it seems the light has shifted already. Was my shadows already growing long and I'm only just reaching North Point. Uh, so there's something wrong with the track. Um, well, uh, I don't know if it's wrong with the track. It's just, so it's reaching North now. It's just reaching North now and the shadows growing longer already. So it seems like there's been a shift in the, in the, in the, in the solar noon in the last couple of days. Uh, oh yeah, because you've been tracking this kind of persistently, haven't you? Yeah, sort of on and off as, as the weather's permitted. Um, yeah, it seems to be changing again. So I should have been doing it seven days before and seven days after, but obviously I'm in my winter, so it's a little bit more difficult. Yeah, count yourself lucky. We've got nothing but clouds and we're in our summer. We're the height of our summer. Well, that's my winter at the moment. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Wow. Oh. Hello, folks. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hey, Debbie, how are you doing? I'm brilliant. The sun's actually only recently came out. See, an hour ago, the clouds were just so heavy. But this is amazing now. We've got loads of sun coming in, so good brilliant. stuff. Brilliant. Uh, let me turn this down even further. Um, Okay, so uh, let me see. I want to check. Okay, so Rolf. Uh, yes. Debbie, can you show us your shadow? I can indeed. Sergey's joined the house. Oh, cool. Hey, hey Sergey. Will that work? Can you see? Uh, yes, we can see. Um, I can't really see what you're seeing. The, okay, that's okay, but what we can see is we have quite a lot of glare. Um, no, 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 no. Uh, can you move your camera? Um, 
round to South America. Uh, okay. Well, uh, no, no, no. Round the other way. Round to South America. Or like Hawaii direction. Turn it round more. Uh, move it away a bit. Uh, can you move it away a bit more? Uh, okay. Uh, will you place a mark on it now, please? Mm -hmm. You've got uh, this lined up to north, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, so be uh, just place a mark on it now, please. It's 12.32 UK yeah. time. That was my next reading anyway. The red one I need. Okay. okay, Debbie, are you placing your shadows outside, uh, sorry, are you placing your mark outside the very tip of the shadow or within the shadow? There's, because the the um, rod that I'm using is, is crossed, there's an indent in the very top. Oh, right, okay, oh cool. So it's, it's almost like X yeah. marks the spot, so yeah. I'm kind of going just right inside the very tip of that shadow. Brilliant. So, yeah, a bit. Um, okay, and that's not north, is it? Yeah. Um, and we have Sergey, and we have a Cosmic Surfer. Um, you're going to have the shadow of your fence uh, shortly interrupting it. Will you place a mark on it or will you move it so that you've got a bit more time? Okay, let me do that. Okay. Okay, Debbie. Uh-huh. Uh, where's that? So north is that line. Does it look like it's about how many degrees off north is it? Oh, why is it done that? <laughs> Twenty-something, maybe. I don't know. Okay. Maybe, maybe even as much as that. Okay. okay. Um, do you have a protractor there? I do. Can you check uh, what it is on the Asimov? Or do you have Dr. Zach's Asimov? No. Okay. So can you check with a protractor um, where it is? And can you do that too, Rolf? Can you tell us your degrees? My degrees where I am, or the degrees at the moment of the uh, protractor? Of the protractor. The protractor's reaching over to um, 175 south. Okay, uh, so 175? South, yes. So. See, I moved, I moved mine, didn't I? I had it all set up. I've, I've moved mine. I've kind of confused myself, actually. You just need to make sure that north is to north. Well, 
I set it up using my compass. So this thing that's in the middle here was set up as north, facing north. But what I've done is... No, 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 no. Uh, that's not what you face north. You put the, your compass, you know the line that goes from the UK through to the centre and then goes right across towards uh, New Zealand? Uh -huh. That's what you set north. <laughs> right, okay. Sergey, mic test. You're muted. Yeah, hello, can you hear me? There you are. How are you? Good, good. Do you have any sun? I'm good, but the weather is not uh, that good. Yes. I can show you now that. Yeah. So this is my sky. Same as mine. I can see. This is my sky, all 360 degrees, nothing. Yes. But I, I know where the sun is, but uh, not precisely. So um, we're in that direction. I just want to uh, uh, want you to write down my coordinates in case the situation will improve. Then you, we we could use it. Okay. What I will do is I will write them down when you come to show something. Otherwise, I will just have somewhere your coordinates, but no time to go with. You know? Do you not know what I mean? I will stay with these coordinates uh, until. Uh, Within, yes, uh, next six hours. I will not have anywhere to put them. If I just okay. put the coordinates, I will have to copy them later when you come with the sun. Do you understand? Got it. Got it. Yeah. No problem. Cool. Um, yeah. Uh, I, what a shame that your job has changed like that, huh? Yeah, all the preparation is just. Uh, Ah, experience. Okay, Cosmic Surfer. Um, yes. So it was 175 south. Uh, what's your latitude and longitude? I'm uh, 33 south, uh, 18 degrees east. I can make it more accurate if I just go and put, uh, put the coordinates with uh, yes, Google please. Earth. Okay, I'll, c I'll come back to you. I'll get back on the hangout just now. Okay. Okay. Cool. Antonio? Hey. Yes. I am going to um, start again. Okay. <laughs> so take me, I don't know, five, ten minutes just to get re reset up and then I will give you a shout. Okay, listen, what you need to do, because your um, uh, nomen is metal, yeah? No, it's plastic. Uh -huh. Oh, it's plastic. It's plastic. Oh. Yeah, it's okay. plastic. That's cool. So, um, just put your compass uh, there on the azimuth, yeah? Mm hmm And move it around, move the map around until you've mm -hmm. got the line, the prime meridian, the, which is Greenwich Mean Time as it goes across the north over towards New Zealand. Yeah, yeah. Have that line pointing north and south, yeah? So New Zealand's to the north. Because that's the one that goes through the UK. where we are. Yeah, that's Greenwich yeah. Mean Time. Perfect. Yeah. So just put your compass on there, move it around until it's well lined up, and there you go. You're sorted. Cool. Right. I'll, I'll give you a shout once I've done it. All righty. Cool. Don't be long. Cheers. Yes. Thanks. Yeah. So am I still coming through okay? Yeah. You're pretty good. Could you please pass me controls? I have done. Oh, cool. Thank you. Uh, Growth Thrusters is saying, have I not announced that this is live on my channel? No. Nope. People will be able to see it. Well, people. Uh, uh, hmm. Chris, are you in as Chris or as the Sun Tracking channel? I'm in as me at the moment. Okay. Um, 
I can't do anything. I mean, the most I could do is make a very short video and upload it. Where's Vinny? What's no Vinny's idea. Video? I could I could do one. Uh, on yeah, the, will will you? Yeah. Just a very quick video um, on the main channel. Yeah, I'll do that now. Right, cool. Cheers. But I'm need, I'm going to have to drop out of this call to do it because my webcam's yeah. been used by. Yeah, yeah, that's right. totally fine. Okay, I'll be, we'll be right 20, back. Chris, we've got 24 hours. We're not going to run. <laughs> yeah, we're not running out of time, are we? Right, no. I'll be back in uh, about ten, five, ten minutes. Okay, cool. We can see everything you're doing, Debs, by the way. All right, okay. Uh -huh. um, uh, oh, why don't I oh, see out the window? Let's look at the clouds or something. Oh, oh do you know? What? There was hardly any clouds last time I looked out there. But it's, it's, it's windy, the clouds are going to keep moving anyway. They're going to keep going past. Yeah. So either it will get progressively worse or... Uh, we might get small patches. We've got no patches here right now. Well, I'm, I'm hoping it's going to improve. I'm wanting to get my motorbike later than my dad. Oh, stop showing off about your motorbike. Get some miles done. I've, yeah. not been, I've not been out for a run with my dad for probably well over about two years. Oh, really? Yeah, it's been wow. ages. Cool. Right, secretary. Uh, we're waiting for uh, cosmic surfers. Okay. Yeah. And look, look, look. He's here, and his shadow is just getting to north, which is that way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry. The sun is getting to north, and Debbie's sun. Look. So it looks like. Uh, I looked on the degrees. It might even be a little bit this way. Don't know. We'll we'll see when it comes up now. Oh, this is riveting. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear sellotape. Yeah, I, sh I should have been having more practice at this. Before Don't worry about it. Hey, we have 24 hours. Like, yeah. panic stations, no need at all. If I can manage to get some actual readings, it'll be a real achievement for me today because, do you know, what? That this is a totally new skill, a new thing I'm learning and um, yeah. learning curve. 
uh, yeah, it's just bad taste. Every day's a school day. <laughs> okay, anybody in the chat? Um, hey, Flat Truth. Uh, I take it your sky is just like mine. Um, okay, so anybody in the chat who's actually got the sun out, please type X. And then I will harass the bejesus out of you if you don't join us. Hey, Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. so it won't be long. Jeremiah Daniel, I'm over to Florida. The sun is just about to come over the trees. So, anybody who wants to join, please send an email to the sun tracking at gmail.com. Club thrusters. Grey sky, yeah. And it's a whole man. I'm thinking that too. In fact, I'm thinking they might even do it for the eclipse because I think the globelings are going to be panicking like nobody's business when everybody's out with their P900s filming the eclipse with the solar filters and correlating with each other going, wait a minute, what direction is it from you? That. Eric Catherine, uh, please send an email to the sun tracking at gmail.com. Oh, waited, uh, emailed last night, Chris. Oh, okay, so this is the thing, guys. When you email, please tell us your channel name because otherwise, we have no way of knowing who's e emailing. So, uh, Jeremiah Daniel. Send another email, please, saying, this is Jeremiah Daniel. I do love the trailer part, boys. <laughs> Music is so early. The link inf for information is not working, says Eartha Plain. Which link for information? Huh? Yeah. Eartha Plain, can you explain what you mean? The link for information is not working. What, it, what information? The first link below. Uh, all the information you need to participate is, it's a video. It's a YouTube video on uh, my, uh, on the main channel, on this channel. If you go to the sun tracking channel, uh, you'll see the video. The video just tells you how to set up the um, sun tracking. In fact, you probably have it on your list of suggestions right next to this video. Okay, so the link is not working. Um, Uh, go to click the channel go to the sun tracking channel and take a look at the last video we uploaded that's that's what the link is to yeah thank you thanks for letting us know by the way okay. good morning Joey Silva or Silva Anita uh, had big problems yesterday with YouTube. Anita's saying that YouTube is trying to bugger it all up. Mm. Yep. What was that? That was me. That's, um, I think it was a 
police car. Mm. If I had a church bell as well. A church bell? Yeah, bells like that. This is a rough map, by the way, people. So this, but it's generally correct. Generally. This Greenwich Mean Time. There's a situation going on there with Greenwich Mean Time. Ah, patch of blue. I see a patch of blue, Debs. Yes, it's, uh, it's happening. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Sky pairs. Hmm? Sky pairs. Mm. I'm going to have to move and um, move it around. I'd actually just found my correct north, but I'm going to have to move it actually because of the way the sun's coming in now. Uh, <clears throat> if you have it in the window anywhere general where the sun will come in don't chase the sun you know uh, just place it and let the sun come in do you, do you can i can right I can again who's ken you must get ken it's the most famous guy in scotland <laughs> kenneth <laughs> I'm gonna say hello. Hello. Hey, Debs. Oh. It's weird looking at my house. Uh, oh, from yeah, mm -hmm. must be. This is rock vibrations, everyone. Who's going to help me? Thank God. Right. I'm checking Skype because I have some messages. Alexander, um, join. And Sergey, he has a link. That's the that's what's been captured. <laughs> Cheers, Chris, by the way. Yeah, no problem. Should bring a few more views, viewers. Yeah. Sam Ahdi says hi Rock. Hello, Sam. Uh, Dennis Sindlev, uh, hello to Denmark. If you have any sun, you're welcome to join us. And Ender the Archer, hey, if you have any sun, what time is it there now? Uh, yeah, they should have the sun. I can check. Yeah. I, uh, Sergey's been here already. I need to. I passed him the link. If you have any son, uh, Endo, um, join us. I'll pass Karen the link. It's like five to eight in the morning there. Yeah. Cool. Uh, in fact, I've already passed Karen the link. I'm pretty sure. It's like. Yeah, Karen has a link, Endo. Although it's showing that she's not really there. Can you see my coordinates, uh, Antonio? What's that then? Are you going to be watching? Watch out. Yeah, oh, cool. Okay, so Rock Vibrations is going to join from her uh, device. You should have brought your laptop and would have hooked it in for the router. 
Ah, oh, on four, if you want, you can go on that one and turn into your YouTube. Uh, we, I can definitely hear you, um, Cosmic Surfer. Can you oh. hear him? No, I don't hear. One second. Sorry, guys. I just wanted to know. Yeah, I hear just you want... now. Okay. Can you see my coordinates there? Uh, no. You have to read them out loud, please. Okay. It's 33.59.09.09.09.21 south. Mm. Two one, yes. Um, okay. And 18, the loss. 18. 18. 28 east. 88 east. Okay, this is going for like um, uh, for Brian Burton. Um, what's your um, azimuth right now? Uh, once. Going to about 173, 174. Uh, okay, so what's the what's on the other side? My, uh, so how close are you to north? I uh, know I've I've way past north already. So you're past north. So yeah, okay. that, that was my north line over there. Yeah. So how much are you past north in degrees? Call it seven and a half. Seven and a half. So this is this here is just a very really rough uh, because I haven't got an asimov drawn. So um, and what I'm doing is uh, uh, drawing a line to the sun. Um, so yeah, this this way. There's north. For anybody who wants to see, okay. it is north. So I'm drawing a line to north. Just slightly off north. Seven degrees off. We'll take time. Um, Sergey, do you have any sun? Thank you, Rolf, by the way. Okay. I'll pop on uh, in maybe uh, half an hour ago. Yeah, cool. well, as much as you like. Any any confirmation? Any uh, simultaneous reading? Okay, I'll be popping on later then. Cool. Thank you. Ciao. All ciao. right. Ciao, ciao, guys. Ciao. Thank you. No sun yet. No sun. How are you, Sergey? We have not spoken. You have made me feel lonely. <laughs> okay. I'm fine. Yeah. <coughs> good. And you? <coughs> good. Seem to, be, seem to be good. Yeah. Uh, I'm good. I'm looking forward to finishing this uh, because we have some very interesting things uh, that are going to be happening after after this. We see your sky, by the way, Debs. Very cloudy. Yeah. I've, I've still got some coming in, but I, I just need to make sure that I've got it correct this time. Okay. I don't know if anybody has seen the reading from uh, the sun tracking that's been happening uh, from an individual in Portugal. Very interesting stuff because he's getting two shadows. At one point, for a brief period, he's getting two shadows. That's um, uh -huh. uh -huh. Very interesting. Yeah. And some people, um, lots of people are saying, um, that must be a reflection, reflecting of something. And, and they're saying to him, can you turn your camera around to show behind, to show where this reflection might be coming from? And he hasn't done it. It's an older guy. He's probably thinking, think about it, people. For a reflection to be happening, so the shadow's coming that way, main shadow. Okay, let's say the shadow's falling this way, okay, which means the sun is in that direction, and then a secondary shadow is going that way, okay, as if going back in time. The secondary shadow, the secondary shadow is shorter than the main shadow, which would indicate 
that the sum will be higher in terms of shortness but it would be higher and further to the east the guy's there marking the shadow he's he's noticed this a couple of times which is why he filmed it this would require a reflection to be happening from something from the sun reflecting on something reflecting on something else to cause this reflection if that was the case the guy would have seen and said no no, no it's just a reflection from over there he wouldn't have made a video about it yeah but was it cloudy then that time nope no, no cloudy. clouds at all no, no clouds at no all cloudy no cloudy the the paper doesn't change the intensity it's not a bouncing cloud nope you know the sun dogs that you've seen in the north it's more like this so it's interesting uh zk wait until i show you what brian's been working on you, you remember what we were talking about and you're like no how how like yes <laughs> yes and this is how we'll see we'll see mm -hmm. yeah i think he'll be joining us later um he already has a it's early morning though where he is and he's, he works he's in the military you can't just say ah, i'm going for a break <laughs> like, uh, no you're going to do this instead you know uh, just for the information uh, i wrote that um, uh, uh, cosmic surfer has got uh, 173 or 174 uh, azimuth of uh, his son now and uh, according to some help uh, in the position where i am it is 220 if it can tell you anything uh, I don't know what it can tell me. I'd have to see your shadow. Look, look behind you. Yes, but I have to see your shadow. Um, you're here, and the sun is at 220. You say? Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, I see. Yeah. It, uh. One second. One sec. Chris, would you do me a favor? Will you Abs absolutely pull up uh, any compass, full compass? On, on my phone or a website or? Oh, yeah, on, uh, on screen. Mm-hmm. You see, we can factor in magnetic declination from the coordinates. Um, but what Rolf has been finding, Cosmic Surfer, is some very bizarre things, like his solar noon arriving 40 minutes late. More than 40 minutes late. And he's not a stupid man. He's not going, oh, I don't know what time solar noon's supposed to be. You know, he's checking, uh, and he's, he's factoring in magnetic declination. He's looking at north. The whole is 40 minutes late for Cape Town. This is according to time and date. What, you know, solar noon is supposed to happen at this time? Well, no, it isn't happening at that time. It's happening at a different time. Why? Because the sun's moving a bit slower around the north. That's why. Or it, it behaves as if it's moving slower. It's on the same uh, arm. If you want to look at it that way so people picture a spoke on a wheel okay and the spoke is turning at a con continuous consistent speed okay and this point is going to be covering less distance than this point but it's still moving at the same speed I think Cosmic Surfer said uh, the azimuth of his shadow, not to the sun. Uh, yes, it was south. It was 170, uh, well he said first 175 degrees south and then I think he said 100, 
uh, 77 or I forget. Last time he said 73, 74, 173, 174. Yeah, uh, south. Yeah, so this, uh, the azimuth to the sun is uh, about 300 with something. Yeah, about 340 maybe, uh, 45, 50. Uh, seven minutes past north, so uh, 57, 357, uh, 53. Is that okay? Uh, yeah, no, one with the degrees. Which one takes your fancy? Is that better? Uh, there you go. So I'll present to everyone. Okay. There you go. So 360 is also zero. Depends how you want to see it, okay? And that's due north. Uh, cosmic surfer was seven, se seven um, degrees. He's in the south, and his was seven degrees past north, which means his shadow is going the other way. So he was at 253. If the, the sun's direction to him, wait, no, was at... Wait a second. It was a hundred and seventy. Wow. Well, yes. it, it yes. doesn't match. Yes, a hundred and seventy. Look at the bottom south. A hundred and seventy seven or hundred and seventy. Yeah, seven. So three fifty three with his son is about fifty three fifty three. It's not and that's uh, yeah, 15 degrees. Yes, yeah. That, that's almost vertical, but I have a sun at about 220, which is which doesn't match. You have your sun at 220. Yeah. Which is... Uh, uh, right. You have your sun at 120, so that's 90. Okay, yeah, so yes, you see, your son is about in this direction. Yeah? You see how it's not one thing in the sky? I'm gonna say, yeah, roughly, very roughly. Uh, no, no, no. Where? 200, 220, that is. Uh, 220 that's about uh, north uh, sorry southwest southwest one second let me find it here uh, ah okay 220 yes uh, oh okay so this way uh, this way yes but his son is almost north Yes, his son is going that way, and your son is here. Yeah. So there's a huge difference. Yes, there the, is. The, the, the more the distance, the, be, the bigger the difference. Yes. I will come back uh, with uh, my shadow just to, to get the uh, uh, precise data, uh, more precise data and uh, Hopefully, uh, Cosmic Surfer will uh, jump in as well that time, so we can compare more precisely. Yes. Cool. Thank you, Sergey. Okay. Uh, Debs, you're muted. 
you need to unmute. That's you. There you are. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, <laughs> I hope I've done it right this time. I don't okay. know if you can see. So, you've got a red mark for north. Yeah. Let me present you to everyone. Present that to everyone. I've got, there's my, there's my line that I'm yeah. measuring from red to red. That's north. So the one nearest to you is north? Yes. Yeah. Oh, what is, where's the shadow right now? Will you mark it right now? Yeah, I can do. I did one at 13.08. So I can do... Moving quite quickly at the minute. Seems yeah. to be, that's only been. How close is that uh, to north? It's actually that one I've just dotted is yeah. actually right on the north line. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's 360. Uh -huh. And that was at 13.11 I took that. We done. Okay. Eleven. Cool. Do you know your latitude and longitude? Yes, I um. Da, da, da. Oh no, maybe that's not right. Twenty-five point nine four and two point nine one. That's not right, is it? No. That's my north and west. Okay. Uh, I suppose that is really. Where is it? Oh, not very. Edinburgh ish. Yeah, Edinburgh. Okay. It's 55. Edinburgh. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, what what is it? 55 point. Oh, yeah, it should have been 55. Sorry, folks. Yeah, 55 point. 94. 94. And. 2.91 west. I'll just double check. Yep. I'm lifting this from uh, I dot earth. Okay. And what's your um, longitude? 2.91. Right, sorry. I didn't hear that. 2.91 east, yeah? Uh, west. west. Uh -huh. 1311 so that's your solanoon 1311 you can't see now because of the shadow uh, from your window yeah yeah that was quite a good time to uh, get everything working at my end yes you could do with moving your whole uh, thing over yeah into the sun so you've yeah. got a uh, a bit more time door. closer to the door Liz right. just into the sun mm -hmm. more into the sun I've got more space um I've got more sun moving away for the door Liz oh I I know that would make sense just I more more, it, more into the sun you you can see where it's going to be into the sun now. and then I'll just do the same thing with my find my north again and just set it up as I've just done there. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Okay, right. I'm going to do that right now. Okay, and then when you come back, um, if you would tell me the length of the shadow uh, for the last mark that you made. Okay. Right, so I'm just going to put you back onto my beautiful sky out there. Uh 
Oh yeah, you're supposed to be doing the right thing. Huh? <laughs> Let's see what's happening in chat. Mm -hmm. The awakening, cosmic surfer. Yeah, nobody knows what the moon is. It's a flat earth cult leader. By the way, you're not going to become any kind of cult leader with a name like that. <laughs> the, you have uh, Cry Havoc. I don't know what Cry Havoc's saying. Let's see what Cry Havoc has been saying. Mm. Uh, Do you know Chris? I do, yes. I'm Go paying on. attention. Give us um, a big one. Just uh, the same old stuff. One subscriber, no content. Similar, oh. very similar um, suggestions and then a little bit of uh, chat manipulation going on there. But that's just right. my that's just my take on things. You don't have to you don't have to believe me. Yeah. What's this going to achieve? There's no point to this, just go back to the globe, that kind of thinking, huh? It sounds like fear. It's just fear. So it is. It's just fear. Yes, it is. Yes, everybody in chat, I'm going to voice it now for people listening. Cosmic Surface saying for everybody to purchase 360 cameras and VR headsets. Um, and that's because his cousin makes 360 cameras and VR headsets. No, I'm joking. Um, uh, Z Proxy and Cosmic Surfer and Stan Smith have been working with 360 cameras and VR headsets and looking what's happening with the sun and the moon. And um, it's confirming what Brian Burton is doing and what we're showing here. Um, and what they're doing is they're looking at the world going, wait a second, uh, we have to take the world for what it's showing. We can't pretend that it's not showing this. If we were on a globe, this wouldn't be showing. Something else would be showing, not this. So, um, yes, headsets are more important than 360 cameras. Yes, because you can watch other people's 360 vids. Um, but yes, uh, I don't want to say too much about the sun and what it what it's doing and the moon, which does the same but in a different at a, at a different rate, and also with the faces, you know. Uh, let's see. By all means, have fun tracking the sun and getting a more accurate map. Yes, do all the experiments you can. Yes, thank you. Thanks for for your thing. Your suggestion, cry havoc. Uh, we are doing that, you know, like we're doing it before you came along. You're late to the party. Am I? Have I got your You're window highlighted? Area. Yes. Okay. Stop presenting. Oh. See, I don't know if you're aware of this, Cry Havoc. This is the last time you gotta get a mention, by the way. But we have a lot of people who say, you guys should not be doing any of this stuff in lots of different ways, but that's what they're doing. That's uh, that's what 
that's the gist of what what they're saying so um yes riddle me this yes it won't be a, a just just a model it will be a, a verifiable model which the globe doesn't have it has a mathematical model but it doesn't have a verifiable model which is why nothing's ever been um, scaled down you could make um, a scaled down version of the solar system with the correct ratio of distances between each and land mass sizes and show eclipses from the moon and eclipses onto the moon from the earth and all of those things but they haven't bothered doing that why would that be you need 115 meters between the sun and the moon uh, between the sun and the earth that would be a one centimeter wide earth and a 2.5 centimeter wide moon 30 centimeters away from the earth let's see what shadow it casts from a one meter wide sun at 115 meters away So that will be a floodlight. Hey, FPV Angel, by the way. Hi. Cry, cry havoc. Okay, it's just my opinion. Yeah, we hear your opinion, but your opinion is absolutely meaningless. Like, sorry to point that out, but it really is. 100% meaningless. A political hillbilly, how are you? I passed you a link. I think I passed you a link. I'm going to pass you a link right now if I haven't. Yes, of course I passed you a link. But I'm passing it to you again. Do I put the resource on the internet? Uh, I do this. Uh, we're writing down things on uh, paper. Putting the things that we've written down on paper, uh, that's going to do very little. Oh, no, it has to be peer-reviewed, Antonio. Come on. Yeah. No, this is the thing. It does very little. Because let's say somebody sees it, okay? See, get downloads a an Excel spreadsheet of what's what. What are they going to do with that? They're going to plot it and go, no, this doesn't make sense. So nope. It's like, yeah, it doesn't make sense with your idea of a single thing in the sky going around the flat earth or out there in space around which the earth is rotating. So it's meaningless. Like literally meaningless. Anybody who's actually interested can watch what's happening like where the sun is how it's displaying itself because i don't know if you if you'll know if you can see but here's the sun for murmansk and here's the sun for cape town see the difference like the shadow for murmansk is going that way and the shadow for cape town is going this way see, it's not the same place above the flat earth Political hillbilly. Good morning. How are you guys doing? Or afternoon for you, isn't it? It is indeed. Is it morning there? Yeah, it's morning here. Looks like we're going to have a repeat of yesterday. Rain and no sun. Yeah. Uh, not bad for the height of summer, huh? No. And so you any readings yet? Yeah. Cape Town, Murmansk, and Edinburgh. Take a look behind me, Hillbilly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Cape Town. So the, I'm pointing towards where the sun was. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. The sun was that way for Cape Town. The sun was this way for Edinburgh. And the sun was this way for Murmansk. Mm. Interesting, huh? And yeah. some people might say, oh, well, you've just got the areas distributed differently. It's 
Like, oh, really? Okay. So let's bring Cape Town here and let's bring Murmansk round so that they match up and let's ignore the Asimov. You know? So either we take the real world and what it shows us or we pretend like it's not showing us this. The sun is not a local thing out there in the sky, guys. Felix, she's getting sun. She's just a little bit north of me. Okay. So maybe I'll get some sun. I don't know. You should do. So what time is it for you, Hillbilly? Uh, 8.27 in the morning. So, 24 hours of this, hanging out, just chilling and waiting to see what happens. Hey, Hillbilly, guess who that is? Hey, Hillbilly. Who's that? Rock Vibrations. Hey, how we doing, Raw? I'm not bad, how are you? All right. I, I got to catch up on your channel when I uh, got my internet connection back. Ironically enough, your channel was one of the very first ones I was went to. Oh, yes. Did you see the video? Oh, no, it's, it's on Ethan or on John? Yeah. yeah. Um, this big hangout says, what's his channel name? John, John Smith Globe Lie. John Smith Globe Lie. Uh, go and take a look at his channel. He's organizing um, meetups around the UK. They had one in Edinburgh. Uh, they've just had one, where was it? Uh, well, he's not organizing it's two cars. Yeah. Yeah, promoted it and went really good. Um, so it's uh, F, uh, F, F U F E, F -E U K E R S. Fukers. Fukers. Yeah, like Fukers. Oh, okay, uh, they're organising these uh, hang uh, hangouts, live hangouts, camping, high altitude balloon launches. Yeah, and high altitude ba balloon launches. Um, so, yeah, in the UK, right here in. Homegrown uh, geniuses. Wait a second, you're from Spain. It's not homegrown for you. <laughs> no, it's homegrown for this land. I'm, I, I'm an interloper. Mm. Yeah, I know. You guys hopping from country to country so easy for you over there, the way it looks. Then he comes to your country, raw caves there, you're going to ponds too. Yeah, hey, uh, so the way I've drawn this, okay, I've drawn this. Uh, relationship in Europe here because uh, Vincent went from 53 degrees north to 53 degrees north okay yeah. according to the globe according to the maps 53 to 53 um, but his journey took him continuously north yeah. not just east continuously north conti persist all the journey he was veering north just slightly continuously. What, when he went to Poncho's house? When he went from Poncho's home. Oh. Yeah. Uh, and more than the 1.2 degrees uh, magnetic declination. You know, it was like 7 degrees, 10 degrees, 6 degrees, 7 degrees. Yeah. He documented it. He made a video of it. I'll, uh, I'll link that in the chat for people now. Yeah, do. I got visitors coming again today. Ethan Marlowe's coming back today. Oh, cool. Cool. Um, yes, so I tracked his flight. I tracked Vincent's flight live whilst he was on the plane flying. He was recording the flight. I'm recording the flight tracker details. The flight tracker details are showing a east, slightly southeast, just from time to time. But the real world, it's recording it east and north. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And uh, Hillbilly, after, yeah. at, the, at the end of the last sun tracking, maybe it was the delirium, but it hit me that we can't... Uh, we're not going to be able to use the, the sun 
to depict the land like a first thought. Because if we do that, well, if we think that the sun is one unit in the sky for everyone, okay, making circles, casting a shadow north and south and in every other direction, and we're going from solar noon, that sun would describe an AE Earth. And we don't live in an AE Earth. You sort of lost me there. Okay, so picture that this is the sun, okay? Okay. If we're making circles above the Earth, yeah? Yeah. At this point, it would cast a... Whoop. Say this point, yeah? At this point, it would cast a shadow to the north and a shadow to the south, yeah? Okay. An hour before, it would cast a shadow to the north and a shadow to the south. Yeah? yeah slightly east, yeah. Or an hour yeah, after. Anyway, yeah, anyway, however, yeah, yeah. slightly to, to the yeah, east, right? Anywhere that you took a simultaneous readings for um, longitudes where the latitude was north and south of the equator or of of the sun, wherever the sun was at the time, yeah, it would describe, it would draw an AE map. Okay? Yeah. So take Australia, okay? Here's the sun at one hour, and here's the sun at two hours, and here's the sun at three hours. So Australia will be this wide, like we have it on the Gleasons. I see what, yeah, I see what you're talking about, yeah. The, the sun is not a single unit in the sky. And wait till you see what Brian Burton's uh, been working on. It, it illustrates it so clearly. And Cosmic Surfer and Z Proxy and Sam Smith. They've been working on the same stuff independently of each other, not knowing that the other were working on the same things from very different avenues. What um, Cosmic Surfer, Z Proxy, and uh, Stan Smith have been doing is using 360 cameras and filming um, the sun and the moon and having it time-lapsed. Well, having where it's going across the sky marked out, okay? And they've got video of this. If anybody wants to see, go to Iron Realm Media and watch their video. So you've got these points across the sky. Brian Burton has been doing the same, but not immersive like they've been doing it because they've been doing it so they can watch it with the virtual reality headsets where they can see what it's done across the sky and they can pan left and right, okay? What Brian Burton has been doing is taking data points from the United States Navy and plotting them. And it ends up being the same thing. One is seen from the outside and the other is seen from the inside. It's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, please. Um, tea. Thank you. Right, let's see what's going on in chat. I have um, just done a new reading in my new sun-drenched position. Um, so that was 1334, um, I've plotted it and it's come down, the first one at 10 past 1, well 8 minutes past, was 32 mil, 3.2 centimetres, then 1311, 3.1 centimetres, and that, that one there at 1334, for some reasons only come in at um, 30, uh, 3 centimetres, exactly. Does that sound so? Like which is the shortest? The shortest one is the one at thirteen thirty-four. Shorter than thirteen eleven. Yeah, just it's. I was. It, it's almost like it's. Um, so that's closer eight, to your solar noon. See, it's three. Um, in in between, three point one centimeters and three point five. Do you know? Yeah, no, but listen, listen, as it gets shorter, 
it gets closer to solar noon. Yeah, yeah. So forget what time and date says or anything. So the point that where it's at its shortest, it it lingers at that point for a short while. So you can have maybe two or three readings. Kind of very similar. Yes, yeah. same same length. Uh huh. And it changes between the north and the south. Um, yeah. So hey, here's Cosmic Surfer. So what's your uh, Where's your son now, Debs? And where's your son, um, Rolf? I so, Debs, on your on your thing, uh, where is it uh, on your map? If you can show us, we need the Asimov. Do you know how to get the Asimov? Oh, no. The Asimov is uh, the if you picture an hour hand, your shadow being an hour hand, where it's pointing. If you have degrees all the way round, then uh -huh. it points in a direction, and that's your asimo. Right. Well, <laughs> where it is just now, um, I'm looking at. Okay. So show me, show me with your po with your pen where it is, where you place the mark. Right there. That was okay. So. Right there. Uh, Okay, so every of those marks, every one of those marks is 15 degrees. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So, so that's... What? So I'm, I'm now going... No, 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 wait, wait. Every one of those lines that goes out from the centre is 15 <laughs> degrees. So right. is that halfway across? Is it more than halfway, less than halfway? It's about halfway because I'm, I'm, I'm straddling... I'm straddling two boxes. My first reading was in yeah. the yeah. previous 15 degree. Then the next one was on the line there or thereabouts. And this one's roughly just about the same. So I'm maybe not even halfway through a 15 degree yet. Yeah. Okay, Rolf, do you want to show us yours? You're muted, by the way, Rolf. Okay, that better? Uh, yes. Okay, I'm on 164 at the moment. And it's 1438 my time. 154? One, uh, uh, no, 164. 164. 164. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Chris, can you pull up the uh, thing again, the compass? Yeah, just give me two seconds. I tell you what you could do, Chris, if if you, I don't know, actually, I don't know if you can do this. If you could come in as the sun tracking channel and leave the compass up, and then, <clears throat> I don't know if that's even doable, and then rejoin as Chris. Is that doable? Yeah, I can do that. Yeah? Cool. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Okay, again, Rolf, what's your I gun? I was at 164 at the time, which was 1438, my time.
Rolf, when you say you were at 154. 164. One, sorry, 164. Your shadow is falling at 164. 164, yes. Okay. Catching up with um, with Deb's son, but that's the problem. That's what we've been seeing in the last couple of weeks. Yeah, it just doesn't match up. Yeah, it's not a problem, really. I mean, if it's a problem, it's a problem for the globe. For us, it's just like, oh, okay, so this is how the song works. <laughs> yeah, yes, indeed. Next step. Yeah. That's it. We have to study the world. You see, we've been leaving all these things to astronomers and uh, very academic people who have been telling us how things are, and people haven't really been double checking. And when they've double checked, if it's been an individual, they found a small error and gone, huh, small error. That's it. Must be my elevation. There must be a bit of a distance from, you know, whatever. Um, but when you look at it properly, and you say, hold on a second, these small little differences here and there, they mount up. That's a beautiful sun. So we imagine on the flat earth that he's looking at that sun and across from that sun is Edinburgh. Okay, that's not what's going on. It's as simple as that. The sun is doing a very different thing to what people think. And that's a really long shadow. How long is that? Yeah. You... Um, I'll tell you what, I'll get a, a ruler quickly. Give me a second. Yeah. Cool. <coughs> it's a long gnome, though, too. Yeah. It's a, it's a five centimeter long. It's a five oh. centimeter. Uh, actually, no, sorry, 10 more. 10, uh, 10 yeah. centimeters. So we, we can half the shadow. Do you want to? Yeah. Okay. Can you see that? It's my centimeter. My uh, Norman shadow is about two hundred and two millimeters long. Two hundred and two. So that's a hundred and one. If yes, it was a five I centimeter. No, sorry, I'm a hundred, a hundred millimeter of Norman. Yes, so if it was five millimeter, it would be half. Yes, yes. yes. So, uh, right, a hundred and one, it's just easier. A uh, hundred and one. Um, so that's, so your shadow would be 10 centimeters and one, 10.1 centimeters. Yeah? Yes, yeah. yeah. Um, Debbie, can you uh, your course, please, if you're there? <laughs> you're talking to me? Yes. yes. Sorry, I, I was getting some in. Okay. So, can you um, measure the length of your shadow, the last one you did? Last one I did was... Um, 30.5 mils. Yes, yeah, so 3.5 centimetres. Uh, mil millimetres, yes, yeah, so 3.5. Three, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. And what time was it? 13.34. Yeah. And what time is. Uh, Wait, what are we doing? We're supposed to be marking our time. I've not had any sun for well, ages, actually. I will. Uh, right, our time now, whatever our time is. 13.46. 13.46. And then would you also write um, what his time is? What's your time, Rolf? You're muted. Can you hear me? Yeah. 
All right. Yeah. My time at the moment is 14.46 local. Okay. The, lo the last reading was 14.36 local. Okay. And you are how, uh, how much past your uh, north or south? Um, I'm now at uh, 162 degrees. How many degrees past? That's 18 degrees past north. Okay, 18 degrees past north versus 7 degrees past north for the depths. Um, how many did you say? 18 degrees past, uh, past the north. Yeah, 18. Wait, sorry, let me just... And at the same time, it was... Seven degrees. Okay. For, uh, yeah. When she wrote hers. Which I wrote only a couple of minutes ago. Uh, okay. Cool. Here, Billy, how's your sky looking? Looks like I'll pop in later. Yeah. I'm nope, sorry. Red calls me. Hey, good. Hey, Billy, how are you? All right, how about yourself? Looks good, like good. Always well, thank you. Don't part or cooperate for me to participate. Well, we're going to get you into a VR headset first before you even bother with the rest. Let's get you watching the sky through a different view. Yeah, one way you can actually appreciate what's happening um, because it takes all day long for the sun to go across and all night or whatever for the moon, you know. It's very diffi difficult. Mm. Um, very difficult to, to notice. All right, I'm going to pop back later, guys. All okay? Right, all right, awesome. Sun's hiding. Uh huh. I see blue, cloud, blue clouds, blue sky coming. Hasn't shown its face here, you know. Mm. Okay, anybody else who's got the sun, um, send us an email. In fact, anybody right now who's got the sun and who's in the chat, please type X. No, it's not showing. That can. I think it's it will be over there. That's it. Yeah. It will be over there. Uh, Morning, Dave, yeah. Dave? Uh, where are you, Dave? Dave? And Jeremiah Daniel? Okay. So, guys, send an, send an email with your channel name to the sun tracking, please. You're not really going after solar noon then or nothing like that. I've got nope. sun coming out, folks. Okay. Um, no, hillbilly. If we go for solar noon, um, we don't learn as much as if we look at the sun simultaneously. Yeah, I agree. This way you can tr sort of try to triangulate. We can correlate and we can say, okay, what's happening? We actually, we can demonstrate what's happening. It's not the layout of the land masses that tells you it's different. It's a different orientation to it because it's also the elevation. The sun is not a thing that's up there in the sky. That's the same thing for everybody. It looks the same for everybody. It behaves 
you know, as if it's the same thing, but it isn't. And this is why they ended up on a globe, because it appears to be that way. Just like a rainbow appears to be a rainbow for me and for that dude over there. And he's not looking at my rainbow. He's looking at his rainbow. Okay, so that was, um, again, 3.5 centimetres. Okay. And that's um, close to 15 okay. degrees. That was the same as 1334 which was 30.5, so 1351 is when I took that reading, um, and again, 30.5. So it's not got any shorter or any longer. Are you seeing no. this here, Billy? What's that? Are you seeing this? Her shadow for the last couple of readings has, re has kept the same length, hasn't got any shorter or any longer. It's, yeah. it's it's continuing to move throughout that 15 yeah. box, though. It carries um, moving across, but it doesn't yeah. have any shorter or longer. Yeah. Hey, how are you doing? Say again. Uh, uh, say that again. Oh, pocket dialed. Yeah, you pocket that. Yeah. I was just listening to it and said, uh, I think you pocket dialed me. Right, okay. Yeah, Right, okay. Well, fuck you then. <laughs> Go and have fun. Go and have fun. Leslie? 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 I just muted you, Antonio. Sorry. She's probably answering you. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Okay. Les? Yep. Um, go and direct me to a pair of sunglasses. Uh, oh, right, okay. Uh, I'm getting... Oh, kitchen next to the juicer. Hockey. You should be a pair of aviators. Aha. Oh. Uh -huh. Forget word might be joining us if he can. Brilliant. Thanks, Nick. <laughs> Ian. Chris? Yes. Um, have you got any emails recently on the sun tracking? Uh, one second. Uh, I just need to open Gmail. Yeah, Cosmic Surface saying Nick, uh, forget word, has a, a great location. It could really do yeah, a 360 camera. Right? Yeah. Mm. yeah, for sure. Uh, we've got one from Jeremiah. Uh, cool. Oh, I know what I will do. Uh, do you want to check him out? Yeah, can do. Thank you. Uh, and in the meantime, I'm going to pass a message to a guy who's in Brazil. Uh, Levau, who joined us last time. Yeah. 
Headlines in the UK. How's this for gripping headlines? Father found guilty in term time holiday case. A father took his children on holiday whilst it was term time. He's been found guilty of it. So, how are young people? Time? Term time, school time. Oh, okay. Because here in the in the UK, they say, "Oh no, you can't take your children away on holiday. You, you, they can't have, they can't be learning things about other cultures and stuff like that whilst they're supposed to be getting indoctrinated." So they find people. That's what they do. They find them. Any excuse? Like, dude, find me as as much as you like. <laughs> what time is it, guys? It's Earth. Uh, 1357, 157. Right, okay. So, 1357, I have exactly on a new uh, line. So, just about to go into the next 15 degrees, and I am now at 32 mils. Milli, milli, there, yeah. 3.2 centimetres. Back here. Was that the baby raccoon? Hillbilly. Baby raccoon. <laughs> That's pretty cute. You know, Antonio likes his trailer park boys music. <clears throat> raccoon, the name raccoon can't come oh. from trailer park boys. And, uh, uh, he also got an episode where he has a run-in with hillbillies. So I was thinking about making a new intro with uh, Baby Raking and What You Gonna Do, Hillbilly, where Ricky goes crazy on, on a hillbilly. That is so cute. Oh, he's a hillbilly, he must be. This is first she's been out of his cage today, so he's pretty wound up. Oh. And where did this one come from? This one was uh, Ethan and Marla's, the one they rescued. Yeah. Artie had four raccoons. Mama Raccoon had four more babies, plus baby Raken, nine damn raccoons. Hmm. Feed nine raccoons and 11 cats. <laughs> ah, say hi, Flat Earth. Oh, it was gorgeous. Oh. Ouch, you're biting kind of hard there. That was kind of hard. Just like a puppy, I get a little bit rough sometimes. Huh. Yeah. Just like a puppy. Just a little puppy. Mm. Oh. It's the wee face masks. You know, it's... it's the bandido. Zorro. Zorro. Mm -hmm. Stripey tail. Hey, calm down now. He's like, yeah, yeah I can do this. <laughs> He's a little badger. He loves <laughs> long hair, boy. He attacked Marla's hair when she first here. And then the very first time on my shoulder, he went crazy. Every day's a bad hair day with him around. <laughs> Hang upside down. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Look at your new setup as well. That's really cool. Yeah. Get the other monitor going, get my tablet going, I got it going. Get, get a little bit smoother with OBS. There my monitor kicking on. I think I'm going to switch them around now. I'm going to put the monitor over here. That way it will free up a little bit more desktop. Yeah. Cool. I got the computer running good now. Finally, took me a week and a half to do that. 
I end up, uh, <clears throat> I took my Windows 8 hard drive, put it in a Windows uh, 7 machine, <clears throat> had a few issues. I don't know why. You'd think it would all just be a plug and play deal. And uh, so I ended up taking out, we're going back to Windows 7 and then uh, upgraded to Windows 10. Most of my problems fixed themselves. Sorry, I'm distracted reading a, an email. Come on. You need to calm down. You need to calm down. Uh -huh. Yeah, you do. You're too wound up. You're too <laughs> wound up, ain't you? You haven't ate yet, neither. You need to go over there and eat. Time to eat. Breakfast time. It is breakfast time. What what do they what do they normally have? Is it like a cat food type diet, or is it something else? Uh, that's what we give it for something constant to always be around. But uh, it likes uh, uh, dried apples, grapes. Uh, <clears throat> finally, ate some meat the other day, but I don't know if I really want to give it a lot of meat. Uh, Mama made an excellent meatloaf, and they had a small piece of that. Grapes really goes crazy on. He'll sit there and he'll rock, try to snatch the grape bag out of your hand. <laughs> want to dig him out himself. And uh, candy. He loves his candy. Sugar. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a healthy diet, though. Yeah. Good. He's a messy eater, though. <laughs> Boy, is he messy. <laughs> you got to do it with love. There's no doubt about it. You got to have love for the little critter because he's a handful to take care of. Yeah. So he hasn't learned to use a knife and fork yet then? <laughs> no. No. Chris, did you send a link to... Certainly did. Yeah. It's all, it's okay. all set up. It's all, uh, it's all ready to go. So will they be coming directly here or going to the other hangout first? The other one. Go. Cool. It's safe to be sorry. Yes. And also, um, people, please don't pass a link to anybody that doesn't come directly through us, um, especially the second link that we pass. If you do and we get sniped, it just causes a very mild inconvenience of taking a toilet break and starting a new hangout. No, not a biggie, but it's better if we don't have to do that. Here, Billy, you should, you should teach him to sort your socks out, you know, your undergarments. He's like a really busy creature. Just like, you know, have your socks paired up in no time. Yeah. His first day here, he spent all day in the closet until I coaxed him back oh. The closet has a nice high shelf in it for him. Their yeah. natural habitat, you know, find something higher, high ground, get away from predators. Uh -huh. But uh, uh, I thought to myself, cool, now at least I'm going to have a babysitter when I want to <laughs> uh, just put him up for a couple minutes while I go do something because she can't keep up with him, you know. And, yeah. uh, uh, so uh, the second day after he learned that, he gets to run of the house most of the day. He didn't want no part of going back up in the closet. Yeah. Then I had to dig out a video. Can I play a real quick short video of Mama's baby raccoons that came out for the first time yesterday? Sure. Let, let me see if I can find it here real quick. Uh, hey, here, Billy. How do they react to loud bangs? You know how dogs uh, react to uh, fireworks? Yeah. How they, do they uh, react? The, the outside... Uh, raccoons, they take off running whenever they hear a car door or anything, you know, because actually the street's actually pretty close. So when somebody outside would 
across the street would get out of their car and shut their car door. It's enough to send them running. Right. If I'm out back on the canal side and they hear a noise, <clears throat> they'll just like startle, you know, stop dead in their tracks and and not take off running. Right. Huh. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I was getting that. I think it's on my SD card. I'm uh, presenting it to everyone. All right. Removable. Yeah, here it is. I think it's pretty sure it's this one. Jeremiah, Jeremiah, Daniel, check your um, check your spam folder, maybe. He's not seeing an email yet, Chris. Oh, that's baby breaking on. Yeah, I just checked the um, the out box, and it definitely went. Right. Okay. Okay. Here's the uh, baby raccoons. I think, or no, this is baby raking again, playing with him inside. Yeah, here comes baby raccoons. It was outside for the first time yesterday. Oh, it's the way they they look around. I know. How many babies, Hillbilly? Yeah, uh, those are about two months old. How many of them? Four. There was four. I had four raccoons before baby raking came last week. And now that these are out for the first time where I can count them, got four more. So nine raccoons in all. Wait about another month or so and see if I can <clears throat> coax the uh, baby ones up to come up. Send me like a now mama can, but right now mama's kind of vicious. I keep my distance from her. Is it because you've got babies? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this one here is adorable, I'm pretty sure. Let me know if somebody comes in to where I got. Yeah, stop. no worries. Come here, Reagan. He likes that window. He spends a lot of time up in the window. After we got done there, I no more than shut the camera off, and he got down in bed with me and laid down. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, I got another reading there, folks, at 1408. Um. 3.2 again, 32 milli millimeters. Right, same, same as last one, but it's it, it's like it's moving quicker around now. I don't know, like it's passing through the next set of degrees quicker. Hmm. Oh, look at his wee hands. So intricate. Oh. <coughs> they have fingerprints. Mm, definitely. Can't we? Yeah. Yeah. I 
I mean, that's the the level of dexterity. You know, I've got quite good like hand eye coordination. Yeah. Keep things up and down. I I bet he could open a chocolate bar. Oh yeah, he likes his sweets. I didn't ever give him chocolate yet. He's got like uh, Skittles. Fruit flavored candy. I'm on. Hey, bro. Hello. Hey. Yes. Okay, I've just taken a reading. It's uh, uh, 15.10 my time, and it's 230 millimeter length of shadow, and the shadow is at 150, 56. Was that you? Did you say 156? 150. Yes, 156. 156. And the length of the shadow is 230 millimeters. Yeah, so 150. So. Um, what was this? Sorry. Can you see the uh, the actual shape of the shadow as yes. it's moved? Yes. Okay. So that's that's the shadow. Uh -huh. And those are the points. So it's actually accelerating quite fast at the moment. Yeah. Debbie, are you there? Yeah, I am. Okay, can you tell us, uh, show us on the, show us the dot for the last one you make, made? Right. Okay, so I'll pop you back down here. 
Can you see there? Uh, not quite. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Got me? Yeah, so can you point with your pen where the last dot is? Okay. Still not pointing in the same place. That's how the time in South Africa is how it is with the distance. Which is what's going to look like at the end of Bit hit. Chris, uh -huh. you're muted. Is it backwards? No, it's correct. Bit uh, hit. Is yes. it showing backwards to you? There's a freezer. Yeah, it is to me. There's a freezer shop in town and they're selling these like four for a pound at the moment. Really, really worth it. Brilliant. You know, like something like Heron or Frozen, you know, like a freezer shop. Yeah. Right, cool. Might pop out and uh, and get some. What do you think? Let's see what's going on in chat. Zulu one. Uh, eyes at work. Okay. Hello, Zulu one. By the way. Ah, <laughs> getting tangled up in these bloody sunglasses. Right, cool. Um, um, one second, uh, Debs. We don't know why the links in the description are not working, guys. I'll I'll check them all out now and I'll sort them out. Okay. Sometimes what happens is you link it, you click to see if it's working, and you clicking on it changes the end of the link. So the next person that comes along and clicks on it, it doesn't work for them. I think I know what it could be. I'm going to check them all out now. When was the ass cat size? When was the ass Dan W? Why don't you have a wrench? So. Yeah, sorry, Deb's gone. Am I not able to see the chat? That's uh. Aye, you'll need to uh, use, your phone. use my phone. Aye, or I just use your phone. Mm. Oh, sun's coming out. Debbie, the important, yeah. thing, the important thing is for you to give us a reading when there's yep. somebody else that's also giving us a reading. Right, okay. Um, yeah. It's disappeared at the minute. Let's...
doors open, guys. That's Dad just back with Liam. Okay, right, well, you better, like, meet it or something. Meet your, meet your thingy. I'm gonna want to straighten up a little bit before Ethan and Marla get here, so I'm gonna run the sweeper, so I'm gonna pop out of here so the noise ain't killing you guys. Okay, thank you very much, Political Hillbilly, for you. Hey, Jump back Join in. Us. If some pops out here, you know I'll be back in. All right. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. See you later. Bye. Hillbilly's a new. Can you check if there is news before the last few young men are back in the house, sir? Uh, no, she's not muted. Unmute. Okay. Um, Master Plane. <clears throat> Please send an email to Chris Trusica so we can send you a link. The, sorry, send an email to the sun tracking at gmail.com. The sun tracking at gmail.com. Chris is in the Isle of Man and the sun is shining. Cool. Yeah. Is there any chance you could get me a link to the um, Sun Tracking Facebook group, please, so I can then put it in the description? Uh, yeah, just a second. Okay, Chris, here in the chat. <clears throat> there you go. Cool. Thank you very much. Thank you, by the way, Debs. Okay. Yeah. Am I back? You're mm -hmm. back. Loud and clear. Good, good. Right. Okay. Just wait for the sun to come back now.
I am face uh, dude if you can join uh, join uh, yeah that, that, that would be really really excellent if you could it would be an asset to the the information because yeah. where is where is he positioned again in Q8 yeah that's great um, so uh, send me an email mate or send an email to the sun tracking at gmail.com but if you can it might be easier for you to just send me an email and then let me know, type in X, and I'll know that you've sent an email, and I'll pass you the link. Thanks, Chibi Jedi. He's just wishing, all, uh, wishing us good luck. Is Hillbilly away? Uh, yes. Yeah. That's amazing. Those those raccoons. That's yeah. Amazing wee creatures. Mhm. Mm I think to meet one in the wild, though. I mean, I, I think probably quite a sore one. I think it'd be quite um. Yeah. Can't we get you? Nah, you're thinking of what's it? Uh, Elf. The film. <laughs> the the, the angry raccoon. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Ah, oh, does somebody need a hug? <laughs> kind of, you kind of, if you if you get a squirrel, a cat, and a dog and cross them all together, that's what it is. Raccoon. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. As long as you didn't take his skittles, you'd be absolutely fine. <laughs> I'm looking to see whether I am face has heard me. Actually, I think I have. Well, yeah, I've got his email, but I can't. Let me see. Mm. Yes, I remember. Okay, Faisal. I will send you an email. Ah, oh. if I can hear. I'm sending an email to um, the link to I am face directly okay you can just come straight in here uh, I've got some huge rain clouds coming over. Just got to change. Uh -huh. I have these as well. I don't have a sundial to accomplish up there. Uh, oh. Do you want to see how it's mum? Uh -huh. Copy, mum's there. Yeah, wait, look. Hey, you. Say hi, mum. Hello. Hi, mum. Hi, mum. Hi, mum. Hi. You had a good day? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've had a good day. 
Do you know what my main Auntie Debbie's doing? Sun tracking. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know that. I you. You'll be able to help me now. Because I've, I've been struggling doing it on my own, but you'll be able to help. That'll be great. Me? Yeah. You can help me. But Maybe we need to sun first. first. <laughs> Uh, is it is it if it's about flat earth or um mm -hmm. I'm not into that. That's not, okay. <laughs> well that's fine. But, is that, but, is it flat earth? but it's not it's not about the flat earth, it's about the real world. That's it. Oh, okay. I'm tracking the sun. I'm making maps. Yeah. Uh who's that? That's a guy called Chris, Truth Seeker. Oh, okay. But I, I, I think his name is Chris Stolabolabolabolabolos. <laughs> <laughs> That's an excellent pronunciation. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so did, did Grandad take you down to the classic motorbike racing? Sorry. What I'm going to do... Uh, uh, Why you got me to McDonald's? Yeah, I've muted. Yeah. What I've done, guys, is uh, uh, Debs, I've muted you guys so you can chat between the two of you. Anytime you want to talk, just um, unmute. I am Face, you're saying you don't have um, a sundial. Um, join us. Just join can, us. Uh, there's, a, there's a link in the description to print one out. If you just look in the description of this very video on the watch page, all the links has been updated. You can just um, click on the, one of the links for the protract. It's called, let me just check what it's called. It's labeled as Sun Tracking Protractor and it's a tiny upload um, link. And you just click that link and you can print that out. Easier than that though, you can just join us and grab a pencil or anything that you can stick in the ground. Um, and you have to have a compass. Your phone will have a compass. So, um, if you're home and you're near a printer and you can print actual size, like Cosmic Surfer is saying, print the protractor that Chris just um, spoke about, print it actual size, and um, you can do that. Or you can just join us and, and tell us which direction the sun is from you. That's better than nothing at all. End of the Archer, how's your sky? Oh, I think I, I think we dropped. No, we didn't. We're still, we're still okay. All right, I, uh, Debs is frozen. Yeah, I think, I think they might be having the connection issues, not us. Oh, check out my hair. <laughs> yeah. It's either Hitler or Stan Laurel. One of the two. I only have one hairstyle. <laughs> yeah. I fly by, can't see the sun in Hampshire. Yeah, can't see the sun up here in, in Stockport, south of Manchester either. Rory McFace, why don't you have a, a spanner? Oh yeah, it's because this is a new channel, that's why. J 
Jeremiah. I'm not ready to. Uh, can you resend the email? They say in Jer um, Jeremiah Daniel. Yeah, certainly. I'll get on that now. I'll, uh... All right. No, wait, wait. He's saying. Uh, he's giving you his email. Yeah. He's J Bank. So, J V E A N K. Can you mute yourself? Mute, David. David, can you mute yourself? Can you hear me again now? Yes, but you need to mute yourself. I'm trying to pass a message on to Chris. Right, cool. Okay. So, Chris. Chris? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. I've already got it. Yeah, I'm right. sending it now. Okay, cool. I'm on it. I'm watching. Don't worry. I'm watching. All right. Fluffy MacDuck had some great advice about vanity. Hey. I say mockingly, by the way. It's exactly the same email that I was given last time. And I'll just send it again and I'll put a different title. Yeah. Check your spam folder. Uh, if not, do, if you have Skype and Endo, um, the Archer can pass you. Yes, Endo, do get her some coffee. <laughs> uh, but listen, um, if you can pass, if you can pass uh, Jeremiah the link that's in Karen's Skype, uh, we can get it through him, through to him that way. Uh, it's I think the the other link at the moment I'm emailing. This will be the fourth time. Um, yeah, problem. You know, NSA, whatever. Um, but um, hey, hold on. I think I might have Endo in Skype. Yes. Yeah, um, really? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't see it. Karen's husband. Yeah, I don't see. That's what oh, I might have removed him yesterday when I was doing a. Security clear out. Anybody but that I wasn't I, um, familiar with. Um, hey, West Stace. Yeah, you can have a link. Hey there. Hey. All right. I've uh, just got uh, a reading at 15.39 my time. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. And it's 274.5 millimeters long. So half that. Yeah. Yeah. At 151. And where is it on the azimuth? The 151. 151. Um. Location. Cape Town. It's a uh, cost. It's semi semi. Uh, Debbie, do you have one? Oh, I think she's frozen again. You see, the reliability of Wi-Fi. No, no, she's not frozen. Oh, she's not. She might have been challenged. Ah, here we have Wesley. Do you Good have morning. A... Good morning. Do you have any sun outside yet? Yes, I do. I have tons of sun outside. Can you show us um, your shadow? I'm actually gonna. I'm actually gonna do that. Excellent. Thank you for joining us. By the way. Hey, no problem. So we've just had yeah. a reading. We've just had a reading from Cape Town, and now we're gonna have a Should reading I? from you. Where are you? Uh, Minnesota. Ah, Minnesota. Where is that? On uh, the, in, in, in well, I'll find it. I just thought of something. I don't have. I don't have anything to use. Uh, anything? Uh, just you can just tell us the direction to your son. You know. Oh, okay, cool. That I can do. And it's bright out, boy. Whew. It's a little cold out, but it's very, very bright. Chris, I might drop now. I'm going to Suncalc uh, to find Minnesota. Um, and sometimes I drop when I do this when we're live. 
Yeah, yeah Minnesota. Minnesota is kind of in the middle of the United States, upper up towards Canada, but it's kind of in the middle. Wow. It's next to the Great Lakes, yeah? Look at that. Holy crap. That looks like it is sitting exactly because uh, I know that that there is east. But that's not really pointing from east. What the hell? You know, I noticed that last night on the sunset, it wasn't setting to more west, northwest. Yeah. So this no is you know, south, southeast. I would say southeast. Okay. Do you have a compass on your phone? No, I don't actually. Uh, I can download one, I guess. Do you have a physical Let me, I got two phones so I can I can actually do that yeah cool good morning Karen so Rolf okay yes uh, I'm excel I'm accelerating fast I'm already at uh, 280 283 now and at about 149 and that's in a couple of minutes If you need me to pull up Suncal, just say and I'll pull it up. Uh, no, I, it, would you pull up a compass again? Yeah, certainly. Because it's so difficult, because like uh, cosmic surface readings are uh, the other way around. So it's a uh, 150. Yeah. Wow, look at it. We can actually see it moving across. Can you show me your uh, protractor, please? Um, yeah, and north. So there's north. Okay. North is that okay. way. Yeah. Okay. So. This way. Okay, cool. Um, uh, Debs, what's yours? Can you hear me now? Mm -hmm. um, I'm having to move my location and find my north again because um, okay. The sun's back though, so I can do that now. So I'll get back to you as soon as I'm as soon as right. I'm good to go again. All right, cool. I'm gonna leave my phone Rolf. there for a moment. See if you can guys can see the movement. Rolf, that is awesome. <laughs> Wesley, did you get yourself a, a compass yet? Yeah, I did. But <laughs> Debs, please mute your mic. It's, yeah, not, it's not doing anything. I don't get it. I mean, this is the one I got. I don't know if you guys can see that or yeah. not. Probably not. But it's not doing anything. It's just sitting, sitting at north. And I'm trying to move back and forth. And it's not doing them. <laughs> uh, have you moved it? Ha, if you move it around, your hand, if you if you look at what I'm doing, I'm moving my hand all the way around. Sometimes it needs to track. It needs to find itself. So 
sometimes, I I don't know. sometimes you might need to recalibrate your accelerometer in your phone and you would do that by doing a figure eight which is uh, I'll have to show you it's basically you grab you grab your phone like this and you, and you go like this yeah you twist, you twist your wrist around and it, it, okay. re, it recalibrates the um, accelerometer you say that Antonio accelerometer accelerometer yeah that's it in, in your phone Every time I all right I'm gonna get rid of this one and I'll get another one <laughs> You know what I'd like to do? I'd like to have um, a full day's markings from uh, the south and a full day's markings from the north. Um, I am Face. How are you doing? Hey, Antonio. What's up, man? Hey. Um, do you have the sun? Can you see the sun? Uh, I, I just wanted to talk to you before I went outside. It's uh, it's almost 5 p.m. here. Okay. Like, yeah, there's sun outside. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, but like, I just wanted to know, uh, I mean, can I be of any help to you now? Like, yes, you can. If you have a compass, um, yep. and you can tell us the direction to the sun from your location. Okay, perfect. Uh, I'm charging my, uh, I'm charging my old phone. Okay. So I could use it as a compass. And uh, yeah, and then I'll go do that. And uh, cool. I'll just come back and let you know. Cool, no rush. you want to see it? Yeah, no rush, no stress. Um, will you tell me where you are? I'll find your latitude. Yeah, look. it's it actually says right here on the compass. Um, uh, one sec. Uh, if you sorry, tell me sorry, guys. I'm sorry that this has taken so long. I'm still waiting. Yeah, this one's a much better one. Okay. Uh, well, listen, Wesley, we're doing this for 24 hours. There really is no, okay. no stress, no panic, no, you know, that's why we did it at the weekend as well. So more people have uh, days off at the weekend. Yep. If you tell me the name of your town, um, I have face, your nearest uh, town, I'll find it. Yeah. On Minneapolis. Oh no, yes, I've got you, Minneapolis. Uh, but oh, oh, yeah, no. um, Minnesota, Minneapolis, okay. Yeah, um, you can find mine by typing Adan. A D A N. Adan? Uh, yeah. I see um, on the phone, it's, it, it looks pretty similar to what uh, Google shows, but I don't understand the. the, the like it's 29 degrees and then it says 15. I have the hyphen thing, I don't understand. Uh, th that's just... It's not just a point. Yeah, uh, it's degrees, um, uh, arc minutes, and then arc seconds. That's all, that's all it is. Okay, so you want to take down uh, what my phone yes. says right now? Sure. Yeah, please. It's 29 degrees, uh, and then it says 15 hyphen, 17, like double hyphen, north. North. And then 48 degrees, and then 3 hyphen 33 double hyphen east. Okay, cool. 
and uh, a Dan, and that's in, in, in Kuwait, is it? Yes. What's the elevation? Oh, we're probably like as sea level as it gets, man. I, I don't know exactly, but. Um, Are you at the beach? Okay. No, but Kuwait is pretty flat. Like, we don't have any mountains or anything. It's, it's sea level pretty much all yeah. the way through. Yeah. I, I can find it right now. I'll find it. Okay, cool. Um, um, okay, I'm, uh, are you ready for mine? Uh, just one second. Um, sure. I'm pointing that thing right at the sun. How do you spell that again? Is it A D E N or A D A N? A D A N. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Elevation is um where is it? Where is it? Forty. Forty meters. Rolf. For him? Yes. Okay, and mine's twenty six. Right. Okay. So uh Yeah, so uh, when I step outside, do you guys want me to have the compass with me at least, or how yeah, does it work? Just, so, so that you can tell us which direction it's going, unless you can show us, you know? Um, okay, yeah, that's what I was asking. If you want me to show you, it's just going to take me a couple, because i got to get some battery on the, on the compass phone. Uh, all right, cool. No, no rush. Uh, awesome. I think, unless uh, your sun's about to set, you know? Yeah. Uh, Wesley, yes, we're ready. Sorry about that. Okay, now this is not telling me my direction. What it's doing is giving me GPS coordinates. Okay. Say, and I'm pointing it directly towards the sun, or in the sun's direction, and it says that north 45 degrees, 1 foot 16 inches, I don't know what the hell that means, and west is 17 feet 40 Three inches. I have no clue what that means. Okay, can you go over that again, please? You, you, okay. You're cutting out slightly. You're breaking out. You're breaking up a bit. Oh, I'm sorry. That's, that's because of my... Uh, north 45 degrees. So, one foot 16 inches. I don't know what that means. One, 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 one second, one second. North 45 degrees. So... That's your. That's where it's pointing when you're pointing at the sun, is it? Yeah, well, it's got two. It's got north and That's you. We can hardly hear you. What's happening? Your if sound you, was really glitching. If you turn, if you turn yeah. your video off, if you turn your video off, Wesley, it will um, help your audio. Uh, he's too far from his Wi-Fi. Okay. Yeah. You, yeah. There you go. Now, now it's better. Now you can hear me. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it, basically it says north 45 degrees, and then it says 1 foot 16 inches. I don't get that. Then it says west 93 degrees, 17 feet, 43 inches. No idea. No idea. Showing me a GPS map. No. No, no, uh, that's no good. Um, what what you've downloaded is no it's no use. You need to have a compass so that you can determine that it really is a compass that it's, it's showing a compass. We can find your uh, latitude and longitude ourselves. All right. Okay. This thing says that it is a. Uh, 
You're breaking up. You're too far away from your Wi Fi. Oh, sorry, I'll back up. Uh, it says compass coordinate. Yeah. No. Nope. That's, that's... No. Okay, we don't want that. No, it's telling you where your compass is. We don't want to know where your okay. compass is. We want your compass to tell us. Yeah. You, want to, uh, compass? Yeah. you need to. You need to move towards your home or towards your router. You're breaking up. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. Maybe because you've got two devices running. No, that shouldn't have anything to do with it because I've got service on the other one. I guess they should have on that one. Well, see what happens if you switch off your second device. No, it's got, that's my cell phone that has service. It's not using Wi-Fi. It's still using radiation. So it's oh. acting, as a, it's, it's acting as, a, as a jammer. It's jamming some of the signal. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, that's okay. Um, no worries. You can't help the technical issues. It's not your fault. Yeah, no. Okay, let me see what I am faces. That is so good that we can see uh, Rolf's shadow there. Cosmic surface shadow. One day we'll do this and everybody will be showing that. Huh? Guys, I've... Uh I'm set up again, and I've had, I've just taken my first reading in my new position. Uh huh. Um. So at fourteen six, I have three point nine centimeters, or thirty nine millimeters, whatever you want. Yeah. Is that now? Yes. yes. Three point nine centimeters. Uh, now, did you say at three? Yeah. Fourteen fifty-six. Oh, four minutes ago. And I'm probably at three hundred and twenty millimeters. It's past my ruler already. But, but you have to half yours because your your numbers twice the height. So one hundred and sixty millimeters. Yeah. So, 160. Um, so that needs to be halved as well. Ah, okay. Uh, 13, 3.9 centimeters. That doesn't sound right, guys. Huh? That doesn't sound right. You can't half mine again. Yeah. It's already half. It's already half. No, no. Yeah, sorry. Um, what I was saying when you when you give us your reading, if you give it to us, if you give half of your reading, you know, if you're already yeah, half okay. the shadow. Yeah. Yeah. But that's uh, if half my reading is 160 because it's around uh, 320. Yeah. Yes. I've, yeah. Half. Half written it down already um, okay and it's at uh, let's see 140 it's got to be in the middle of the shadow eh? 6.5 146.5 <clears throat> okay. this is how we should have all of them Rolf yeah, and my camera, but my phone is literally about uh, maybe 15, 15 millimeters off the paper. Yeah, That's awesome. Yeah, um, <clears throat> this is so cool. This is so cool. Uh, okay, let me figure out what I'm doing. Uh, I'm on forty-six. Ah, it's okay.
Sergey, you want to test your mic? There you are. Unmute, Sergey. Okay. We'll give you time. I hope the camera is not fixed on me. If the camera is fixed on me, dude. Guys, yes. Um, do you want to mute me for um a minute because I'm going to have to nip out to the shop. Absolutely. Um, I've got cloud overpassing anyway, so okay. I'll just um, I'll give you a shout when I get back. Be five ten minutes, okay? Okay. Uh, uh, Debs, if you want, you can drop drop and come back in, or I can just mute you. Is um, but. I'll, I'll mute you, I'll mute you. Right. Okay. Sir Gay, you're asking. Um, you're asking, is cosmic surf surface protractor correlates with the magnetic north? Do you mean, has he taken into account magnetic declination? Or do you mean, was his solar noon uh, when the sun was casting a, a shadow at 180 degrees south? So, Rolf, how did that yes. happen? How was your solar noon? Uh, at what point well, was it? The solar noon seemed to be way before the uh, the time, because uh, I actually latched on on at, at my time thirteen oh nine, and it was uh, it was a point where the next point was already uh, um, longer. So I missed my solar noon as such, but my magnetic solar noon, according to the compass, was. Uh, yeah, on there was a third point. So, which would so you have your was, the point that you of your the sun at the highest elevation, and yes, separate, was before my north. Yeah, and separate to that, you have your yes. your north after that point. Well, yes. from where you are, your north is supposed to be before that point. Well, that's according to what we've been told. Yes. So, but we. Uh, you know, I mean, like I said, I'm actually sorry that I didn't have uh, the weather to actually uh, give me the, the, the readings through the week because I'm sure that there was a massive shift again, which I've missed this time. Right. So, um, Sergey, if you go to the website, I will, I will link it to you here, okay? There's a website called the NOAA, and they have a magnetic declination calculator. I will find it and I will pass it to you. From my vantage point, I don't have much sun left because I've got a, a, a building in front of me which is going to block my sun soon. So we probably okay. have about 10 minutes left. Okay. So, Sergey, I'm going to pass you now um, this website. It's really cool because it, it has uh, two parts. It's going to work from latitude and longitude, but um, it has a, a small search field where you can tell it where to find the latitude and longitude for. Uh, cosmic surface in Cape Town. And I hope Sergey can see how important the 360-degree camera footage is 
from this point of view because his vantage would have been absolutely brilliant in VR. Yes, God. So, uh, Sergey, in the future, um, I will be getting a 360 camera. <clears throat> Uh, there's uh, other people now getting 360 cameras in Cosmic Surfer, Z Proxy, um, Stan uh, Smith, and I don't know how many other people. I'll be one of them. And once you have this, you can record all the time and then you can view it if you get a, a headset, yes. a VR headset. They're not so expensive. If they're very expensive where you are, I will send you one from here, okay? Because technology is really cheap in the UK. Um, so you can then film it and you can then using the headset you can look all the way around and see the marks where the sun was and how it was moving around you you know um, so and you will see it makes a it's a wheel it's a, it's a wheel Tesla said the wheels of nature the man would be free would be energy free when he uh, learns how to tap into the wheels of nature. Yes. And, and Journey saying about wheels in the sky keep them turning. Yes. Yeah. It's all been told before. Uh huh. Hey, Mike. Hey, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Oh, I'm doing really good, mate. Really good. Cool. cool. Uh, how what what stage are you at in the prep for the relocation? Oh, sure. Um, I'm hoping to get there for July twentieth. Okay, so I've got a little while to come over and hang out for you with you. Like Absolutely. I said, I was going to Absolutely. the club. Right, cool. I was gonna come over with Vincent, you know. Vincent, when Vincent was over here, it was at yeah. Marcos, uh, The plan was for him to come here spend a few days here and then come up to you and spend a few days with you so I was gonna come and hang out with you guys um, that would then, good. yeah yeah maybe next well no not next time because well I don't think it's gonna well things have changed but he needed to go back uh, because of uh, medicine reasons right he was on um, certain uh, medicine for his ankle and uh, uh, he didn't get it. he didn't bring it with him, and he didn't get it here. So, do you need the? Um, sorry to interrupt. Uh, do you need the compass still up displaying? Um, not no. Okay. okay, I'm at three forty-five millimeters at the moment. Yes, we see. Oh, that's real. I love his shot. I love cosmic yeah. shot there. That's brilliant. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I'll stick around for uh, the whole night through again. All right. Um, I just sent an email to Chris saying that, you know, if you guys want a hand with anything while it's going on, no problem. Oh, okay. Well, i tell you what. Uh, I've seen that you've been hosting some hangouts, so I'm going to pass you controls, okay? Sure. Um, so, there you go. Okie dokie. <clears throat> Next time we do this... Um, I suggest people show their setup. Um, so, anybody who wants to do this, show your setup. Show it's all square and flat and level, everything. And then fix your camera this way, the way uh, Cosmic Surfer has fixed it. Yeah, I think so. That's just an absolutely brilliant shot. I yeah. mean, can't do better than that. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I'm getting a 360 cam. I actually, I just ordered a 360 camera just now. <laughs> cool, cool. Yeah, so. Mike, Mike, have you seen it in, in the headset yet? No, I haven't yet. I've got my headset it's, here. I've got my VR, and I'm going to put yeah. it on. But well, get your headset on and go and watch our videos in 360 mode, and you'll right. understand what it's about. Excellent. Then you can start sharing that. Yeah, where I'm going to be moving to at the end of the month, well, in uh, July, I'm moving to the prairies in Canada, totally flat, mm. open, open sky for, I'm, I'm in the middle of nowhere. I'm 60 miles from any city center. So brilliant. <laughs> brilliant. My shots should be brilliant from there when I get there. Yeah, absolutely. Look forward to it. 
and I, I love all your guys' work. I love Stan's work. I love your work, Cosmic. You guys are just absolutely fantastic. Yes. yes they are. Thank you. Appreciate that. It's the mastermind of Z Proxy, though, huh? Hey. He's he's the man that does all the hard work. Okay. Z Proxy. Does he have a, does he have a channel or something? I don't think I'm sub, sub to him. I just go to my channel, and, he, and he's one of my uh, related channels. Okay, excellent. I'll definitely go and check out his stuff. Good man. Or I learn okay, guys, better. I'm on, on my, I'm sort of really on my last uh, whimsies of sun, so I'm going to give you a millimeter reading, and you can see what the azimuth is. Okay. You don't even have to give us a reading. We can see it. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, it's 360 millimeters long from the gnome in the shadow now. So 360 is uh, um, 180, 180 millimeters length. Okay. And it is uh, 100 and... If we wait a minute, it'll be 144. Oh, Karen B, welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Check out uh, Cosmic Surfers <laughs> detail. There you go. I know. He's got a great setup. That's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's like watching a clock. Yeah. It's so cool the way the, the illuminated part of the paper that's receiving direct light is yellow and the shadowed part is blue. Yeah, it's between the trees now. Yeah. So right. it's just, just starting to feather. Yeah. That was so cool. Thanks for that, man. You're welcome. Well, that's what it looks like. There you go. That is brilliant. That's where I want to move. I'm coming to see you soon. <laughs> <laughs> Cape Town is the best place in the world. Yeah, well, I'm going to spend one, one winter in Canada, and that's it. Then I'm moving to South Africa. Cool. I look forward to it. Awesome. All right, guys. I'm going to pop off and pack up, and I'll uh, climb on later, see how other people are going. All right. Okay. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. You're welcome. No problem. Thank you. Thank you, guys, you Watch it. Okay. All right. All right. Ciao, ciao. Ciao. Later. Ciao. So, Karen. Mm hmm Do you have any sun? Uh, kind of. Uh, like kind through of. patchy cloud. Yeah, it's it, there's more clouds in my sky than anything. Um, ah. I can kind of see the shadow on my porch. Um, okay. So I might be able to do it. Okay. Let's see. It's only morning where you are. Uh, yeah, it might, it might clear up. Yeah, I'm hoping it'll burn off. <laughs> yeah. Cool. You're hoping all that radiation will irradiate all those water molecules and make them, you know, expand their bonds, you know, to wider <laughs> and wider and become just humidity in the air rather than water droplets. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Well, my solar noon is one thirty, said to be at w around one thirty, and it says it's supposed to start raining at two, forty percent chance. So we'll see. I might have to do it before then. Uh, cool, but it doesn't have to be solar noon, right? Be so it might it might be actually closer to around um, noon my time. Yeah, whenever, whenever you have clear sky, and we have any other reading. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm right now going to pull up South Africa. Um, Cape Town. And then Candy's coming over to my house for dinner tonight. Oh, is she? Yeah. Cool. Are you gonna join us in the sun tracking? Yeah. When she comes over, yeah, we can both be here and jump on if you want. Cool. Oh, well, that'll be cool. Yes. Okay, so get this. 
Uh, the magnetic declination according to the NOAA for Cape Town is 25 degrees 15 minutes west. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that means the line of magnetism is not pointing north, it's pointing uh, counterclockwise, if you want to look at it that way. It's pointing yeah. more towards 11, okay? But his solar noon happened, and later his magnetic north happened. Wait, his what? Yeah. His solar noon happened... And later, his magnetic north, unless I heard that wrong. No, I think you, I think that's what he said, yeah. He, he said his solar noon happened, and then he, then definitely the magnetic north happened after that. Yeah. That's backwards. Yes. Yeah. He said some weird things has been happening when he's been tracking a bunch of stuff, too. Yeah, yeah, that's quite interesting. Like the position of the sun is completely changed. It's, yes, you see, uh, if any of you guys at home are on a computer, go to suncalc.org and uh, have a look at Cape Town and you'll see what we mean. Um, if, like, let's, let's uh, do some brainstorming. Let's suppose that the reason this happened today was that South Africa is oriented differently, okay? So he's been told that's his solar noon, but his magnetic north is that way, okay? So mm -hmm. that's his solar noon, but magnetic north is that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Or, yes. so the sun comes along, hits solar noon, and uh, comes across and hits north. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's do some really weird brainstorming here. Yeah. Okay. So either South Africa is oriented this way, so the solar noon and north are very close together, not 25 degrees. And you can say, yeah, maybe that, if you're ignoring the rest of the data and the rest of the real world, which is that this is not continuing. It's, just, it's not happening the same way all the time. Well... Antonio, I was just doing a thing on uh, tides the other day. I was doing a whole bunch of analysis on tides and following the tracking the tides and their times around the world. Mm -hmm. Now, if you picture us on a plane like this, you see that tap? Yeah. yeah. And it just slowly moves like this. And you know, if there was water on that surface, that water would move in a circular motion around that plate. And if your land masses are there, you'll see how the water would move slightly. Now, if he's in South Africa, and this tilts up toward the sun at that point, that is going to change things a bit because it's going like this. Uh huh. So now, maybe the way the Earth operates is not the way we all think it does. Well, if you think of this oscillation... Yeah, exactly. The oscillation, the, the breath of the Earth. Yeah, but picture this, okay? Picture the Earth is completely still, and it's something else rotating, causing the exact. So instead of this, exactly the same. Yeah. This, yeah. Yeah. It'd be like density. It's it's like I was showing on my channel the other day about air behave exactly like water. Air actually behaves like water. It has yes. it, it, and so if the air and the clouds are basically floating on the air, they're floating on the ocean of air. And and so if that pressure is causing the oceans to do exactly what you're saying, the earth is still, but the pressure is moving around like this in an oscillation, that would count for it a bit too. And it would also account for what's driving the sun, helping it to display itself how it does. Um, hey, is that yeah. Fatal again? Somebody just joined us. Or yes, it is, it's muted. All right. Shit. Hey. Hey, there you are. Okay, so where's your son? 
Oh, I'm on a different account, by the way. What's up, Antonio? It's my first time ever on camera. I just realized. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Good to see you. It's kind of windy out here. Is it like, can you guys hear me okay? Yeah, we hear you fine. I'm going to turn your mic up, but we hear you fine. You're not breaking up or anything. Figure out how to do that. Okay. Um, well, uh, Chris. Right in front of me, like, back there. Sorry. Now you broke up a little bit. Uh, to figure out. Uh, okay, I've right. turned your mic all the way up. Okay. Ooh, cool. Do you have a compass? Yeah, on a cracked screen. So you need to lay your compass down. So if okay. you put it, if you put it on that table or on the floor. Yeah, it's missing a. Uh, I keep yes. It. Yeah. Two hundred eighty-one. Did that? Yeah. Did that say two hundred eighty-one? Yep. Okay. 281. 280, it's going back and like stops on 280 now. Okay. Um Yeah, so next time you guys do this, I'll definitely have everything cool. ready to go. And I'll be able to give you a little bit more than that. Brilliant. Right. Yes. Cool guys. Thank you. Um, do you need anything else from me? Because uh, no, it, right? no, right, cool. we we don't. Thank you for that. Awesome, man. I'll see you guys inside. Cheers. Thank you very much, man. Cheers. So, don't eight. <laughs> He's in Q8. One second. How the heck do you spell Q8? I've been to, honestly. Q, oh. Q, Q, K U dub and then wait. K U wait. Yes. Right. I was spelling it Q U. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like Qatar. <laughs> yeah. Wait. So, Q8, As you see, I'm being like absolutely exact with everything. Not. <laughs> I can see the fine precision in your marking. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you got some better dry markers this time. I did. I got some cracking. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. They were dreadful, weren't they? They were horrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. These are great. Yeah, you got a much, much, much prettier assistant. I do indeed. <laughs> okay, so uh, everybody's muted apart from you and me. Uh, who else? Hello. Oh yeah, no, you're there, Chris. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got I've got fans on, so I just I didn't want any kind of like droning, whistling noise in the background. We don't hear anything with your headphones right now. Which, of course, would be much worse than the trailer park, boys. 
Hey, like I said, if you want to find some cool, mellow meditational music or learning how the world works music. I've blocked um, it all out, Antonio. All right, cool. <laughs> no, I, don't, I really don't mind, honestly. It's, it's not bad, you know. It's just like, it's just a loop, the, isn't it? The, the first time I heard it, um, I detested it. The first time I heard it, I thought, just so sickly sweet, so la la, so all of those things. Cheesy live music. She just dreadful. And then, but it's with the trailer part, boys, you know? It's meant um, to be kind of ironic, kind of, yeah. I get it, yeah. Um, yeah, so what happened was I started watching the trailer part, boys, uh, more and more. And then, by the way, if anybody hasn't watched the trailer part, boys, they're on Netflix, and don't watch it with your children if you don't want your children to he hear swearing. But it's just, it's actually a lovely series. That's what it is. It's funny, and uh, anyway, um, yeah, so it starts, yeah. It's, so to me, it means something other than the, Elevator music type, you know, or dentist waiting office. So, just for anybody, okay, uh, for the Globings especially, that way from Cape Town and that way from Kuwait, okay, that way from Cape Town. And that way from Q8. And the Globalist was like, yeah, that works fine with the Globes. Like, no, it doesn't at all. Especially when you take all the other readings into consideration where they don't. That It shouldn't work like this on a flat map if this place was a globe. Just, you know, this should be very short points. Here's a very short point, and here's another very short point. Anyway, I'm going to go and fix my hair. It's annoying me. It's shower hair, and then I prefer Stan Laurel look than Hitler. I don't know. I kind of like the Hitler look. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm growing it, this is what's happening. So I've had it cut symmetrically so I can just leave it alone now. I don't like short hair. Go, me. go for the flat top. Go for the no, flat top. No. <laughs> but I don't, short hair, I, nope. I cut it, this time I cut it, because you know how some people say it's antennas, yeah? They receive more. Like, dude, I receive too much. So I cut it on purpose so I could focus on the limited amount that I receive. Oh, it's freaking overwhelming. Right, let's see what's going on in chat. Hey, uh, Candy, enjoy your food later at Karen's home. Yeah, we'll see you there later. <laughs> yes. Um, Sam Ahdi, or Adi, um, do you have a son uh, that you can share with us? Ryan in and see. Don't know what to do. Um, if you don't know what to do, uh, if you have a compass and you can send an email to the sun tracking at gmail.com and just show your compass and show the orientation to the sun is better than nothing. Ideally, you'd have a, a sundial set up so you can see the elevation angle. But just direction gives us more than, than no reading at all. Anita Holman, yes, there really are some really good people out there. Joey Silva, wrench me, Antonio, I'm lonely. I'm going to wrench you, but uh, just in case anybody doesn't know, any wrenches misbehaving. Uh, 
will have a problem later on. Well, no, they just have the wrench removed. And it takes... It should be good. <laughs> it takes about on. three seconds. Yeah. And we say this because we've, we've had experience with wrenches blocking people without checking first that that channel is the original genuine channel and whatnot. Um, and clone accounts and people getting accused of ridiculous things they would never do when somebody's cloned their account. Yeah. So, Not that I have any experience of that. Yeah. <laughs> well, apparently I was in um, You've Been Exposed chat one time. According, This is according to Insanity is Sanity. One time I was in You've Been Exposed chat speaking just like Yvette saying things like oh I'm leaving this is getting ridiculous uh, dread is acting like a woman yeah <laughs> it's like uh, I don't use the word woman in a pejorative way and mm. dread arguing that's kind of what happens in dreads hangouts sometimes you know so yeah uh, yeah. It's very, very simple, guys. If you ever see anything that may well look out of character or shocking or offensive or, uh, you know, suspicious, all you have to do is just go to the channel, check out the channel and verify it's that person behind the channel. And even then, it may not well be that person who's typing that because people are managers of channels, people can get access to, to channels. so. Just bear in mind, you can't always take that to the bank. The only way is to see somebody on video speaking, then you know it's definitely them. Yeah. 100%. So, say you you see Chris Truthseeker saying um, anything. I'm not going to say anything, but Chris Truthseeker writing something abusive. Okay, you go to the three dots, you look at the channel, and you see that this truth, Chris, that, that Chris Truthseeker has zero subscribers and zero on his channel you know it's not chris true seeker and the same with me or, or anybody else and this is something that's done to just to cause problems jeremiah daniel's having trouble linking up yeah it looks like it um do you have his email or a different way of contacting him through i was just looking for him in hangouts because i know he's been in some hangouts but i'm not I've added, I've, I've sent him the link four times via email and I've manually added him to my Hangout. Yeah, it's just not working for him. Uh, Karen, would you send him an email yourself just to test that he received your email? Okay, what's his email? Uh, Do you I don't know. Will you write it, uh, Jeremiah? Put, it, put your email, Jeremiah. Yeah. So she'll send you an email. If you receive that email, re reply to it. She'll know that you've received it. Then she'll send you another email with the link. Oh, so Candy says she has them. Yeah, but has... I know he's been on one of Candy's Hangouts. Has uh, Antonio dropped? Uh, oh. Yeah, yep, he did. Right, I better join quickly then. Uh, one second. Uh, where am I? Where am I? There we go. I put his email in this in this hangout side chat. You know what? Your email, the at is different on the one you just posted than the one I got. Oh. He put this in chat. Maybe he's trying both. Hmm. 
Jeremiah, I emailed you. Reply when you get it. Ten, oh, there he goes. Okay. Okay, well, he replied to me from the email he sent me. He's got it. So. Me? Anybody? Can you hear me? Hello? Uh -huh. Yeah, we can hear you. Hey, there we go. <laughs> All right, hang on. Um, yeah, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> yeah it was just a issue with the G uh, gmail account or something i don't know it's working now through hangouts though there you go and now it's cloudy of course then you want to see All these people on, on Hangout. Do you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> hi. Hello. She's eating an English muffin. Wave. Hi. There you are. Finally, you made it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> cool. All right. Here's the sun. All right. Okay, so it's due west, like totally yeah. due west. What time like is two, it? Um, let me get my phone, other phone out. And where are you, by the way? It's ten forty. Um, I'm in South Florida. South Florida, uh, in the Panhandle. Yeah, just north of Miami. Oh, uh, not the Panhandle, right down north of Miami. Right. Okay. Let me get it right. Um. So where are, where are you? What's the name of where you are? Uh, Plantation, Florida. Here's okay. um, here's my latitude and longitude. If you can read that. Uh, I don't know, Chris. Can you read that? I'm on a different page right now. It's, yes, I it's can. North, it's it's north. north. Yeah. Go ahead. Sorry, you go ahead. Uh, north 26 and west 80. Okay. Uh, I've got 26 degrees, uh, 7 inches, 39, or 7 minutes, 39 arc minutes. Uh, so, arc seconds, sorry. 29.7, 26.7 are uh, plantation. 
26, 27, 31, north, and 80, 13, 59. West. Okay. Um, twenty seventeen, twenty fourth of July, June. And what time did he say it was for you? For me? Yeah. Uh, it's uh, it's 1043. 1043. And how long is your shadow? Uh, well, now it's cloudy. <laughs> Cloud just came in, so. It was about... A little over four inches. And how long is your, how tall is your gnomon? Uh, five centimeters or two inches. Oh, okay. Karen, are you there? I am. Do you want to go to suncalc.org and see what the globe says should be happening compared to what's really happening? Because it's so cool. I wish all the globings would actually do this, you know. Because the azimuth looked like it was uh, about, you know, approximately 90 degrees. Where's he at? Plantation, Florida. Okay. Yeah. Um, at the azimuth, it's at like 271 right now. Yeah. Which is? Because north is that way. Obviously. I'm due west. So the sun is due east. Uh, yeah. Can I not give you guys the time over here or did it not matter? Uh, nope, doesn't doesn't matter. Because we have the time here. We know when it happened. Oh, okay. So that's ninety degrees. Yeah. Okay. So that's And he's got his protractor facing north. Uh-huh. What's up? You have your protractor facing north? Yeah, uh-huh, yep. The shadow is just a, a little over three and a half inches right now. That's way off. <laughs> like way off. Are you yeah. sure you're facing north? Like, seriously, where's your compass? Yeah, yeah, oh. here, here, I'll show you. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm not doubting you, but that's just crazy. I'm, well, I wasn't, no, I wasn't facing north. I'm, the, uh, the map is facing north. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Here. That's, that's what we mean. Yeah, this is, this is, this is north right now. I mean, you can see it right here. Watch out, Sydney. Don't bump this. Hang on. Hang on, Sydney. Watch out. Can you sit down for a second? If you bump this, it's going to mess everything up. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm going to see if I can't. Let me see here. Can you see where I'm facing? Here. Zooming in? No. I can't see. Your magnetic declination is six degrees, according to... Oh, 
Hey, Antonio, how's it going? Which makes it even worse for the globe, by the way. Yeah, that's... Uh, the shadow's just over three and a half inches right now. Antonio. Yes. Hey, this is Martin. How are you doing, Martin? Martin, Martin and Carlos, as you can see. Let me see. Where are you? Yeah. Hey. This is Carlos. Can, can you? Yes, we see you. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, did you remember the contraption I made yesterday? Yes. We, uh, figured out that uh, it's no need uh, to make it so difficult because we found a very flat plate very flat plate and uh, now Carlos is making uh, it uh, vertical yes cool yeah but but as you can see there is no sun but uh, anyways we will be uh, looking at the sun, and when the sun hits we will be uh, immediately connecting to you so uh, we, we can make measurement excellent excellent thank you Uh, Chris, I don't know. I don't have access to the full panel of people. Uh, thank you, Martin. Yeah, thank you, ma'am. No problem. And say yeah. thank you to hi, your Chris, friend. Hi, Chris. Uh, hey. Hi, yes, thank you uh, to your friend. Thank let's you see you later. Friend. We're gonna fix fix the. Uh, Norman. Yeah. Carl the Farad, the Farad, the Farad, the talking Mr. Blake to get. A little bit wobbly. Yeah, but Farad, Farad, the rock corridor, just say the source there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you see, we are, yes. uh, yeah, the plumb line, yes, yeah, the plumb line, yes. exactly at the top, at the top, put it at the end. Yeah, you yes. see, you see, ah, okay, okay, brilliant, excellent stuff. The plumb, we are fixing it right now, and uh, hopefully, when the sun shines, uh, is it, it, gonna be done. Excellent, cool, cool. <laughs> Okay, perfect, perfect. Good save. So, okay, see you in a while. See you in a while. Thank okay. you, guys. Yeah. Cheers, okay. Man. Okay. See you. See you. Bye. Sorry, what were you saying to me, Antonio? Uh, I don't have access to the whole um, panel of people that are joining us. If I need to turn the mic up, um, yeah. Just, just some of them me. are just missing, and I, I can't scroll. So just, just tell me to do it, and I'll do yeah. it in seconds. Okay. So back to um, Jeremiah. Okay. Hey, sorry, guys. Yep, I'm back. Oh. So, Karen, did you did you see? Yeah, he's off by like five degrees. Uh, yeah, but uh, other than that, well, the magnetic declination is six degrees, so it could be like, oh, okay. But uh, have a look on time and date, uh, or, or even um, suncad.org, and look at where the sun is supposed to be at what time according to the globe well, that who me oh. yes jeremiah oh um i'm just on my phone right now so oh yeah no 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 not not you sorry i'm saying to karen for her to check in fact would you are you on your computer karen yeah i am would you would you go to suncard.org and pull up Plantation Florida and show uh, how mm -hmm. when it's at due east like it is mm -hmm. uh, what time that is according to the globe and then compare it with the real world which is what we're seeing right now even when we factor in the six minutes um, of the six degrees which is not six minutes or five minutes, six mm -hmm. degrees magnetic declination. Okay, I'm not sure what what you're asking me to look for here. Suncal.org. 
Yeah, I'm on SunCalc and I have his city pulled up, but what what time am I looking at? Well, this is the point. Scroll the sun until it's 90 degrees. East. Uh-huh. And what time does it say it is? 11.32. And what time is it now? 10.52 right now. 10.52. So an hour off, not only that, look at the length of the shadow. It's about three and a half, just under right now. Yeah, it's, it's and, longer than yep. the gnomon. But look at uh, where uh, Sunkalk tells you. In fact, Karen, if you could screen share it. Okay, hang on. Okay. Is that your sister? All right, okay. <laughs> yeah, she's muted. So I'm going to present you to everyone, Karen. Okay. Okay. Yep, that's where I'm at, right there. Would you pan out, Karen? And now, would you move uh, that to the actual time in the real world, not when this it's going to be? This is current time right now. Current time now, right now, there? Mm-hmm. He's in the same time zone. 10.53. 10.53, okay. Uh... So what happened yep. a minute ago when it was showing uh, eleven fifty three? Because I had I, I hadn't moved it. So now here, you hadn't moved it, or the computer has corrected. The program has corrected. No, I reset it to the current time, and now this is uh, solar noon. I moved it forward to solar noon, which would be at eleven thirty two. That would be solar noon. Mm hmm. Okay, so carry on scrolling till it's. Uh, to the south. See how off solar noon. Keep going. Keep going. There. Oh, I'm sorry. That wasn't solar noon. That was... Um, I was looking at the wrong thing. <laughs> Yeah, so this is solar noon, 1324. Yes. yes. Okay, so if now you move it back to 1030, well, it would be now 1036 maybe. 1055. 1055, okay. Yep. You see, one of the things I've noticed, guys, and uh, this is going to sound either paranoid or conspiratorial. But when you check something on the internet, okay, and you notice a huge error, and you talk about it, or you point it out, or you highlight it, or you leave it and you revisit it, that error is gone and it's been fixed, it's been corrected, and I videoed it happening. I videoed it happening with time and date. So what they've just done, if they're corrected, and say, oh, no, right, really, it should be here. I don't, and I don't think it's humans doing it. I think it's AI, personally. Put your tinfoil hat on, Antonio. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you guys know what you're doing, because I don't understand what you're doing at all. <laughs> Uh, we're just observing the world. We're just looking at the world. Yeah. I've never used that um, sun calc. I've never done that before. So I'm just here to show my, show my shadow. Yeah. Oh, 
<laughs> no, that's awesome, mate. Okay, so what? what uh, where's your shadow now? What degrees is it at? Uh, it's it's probably about two seventy two right now. Uh, let, me see. let me just line it up. Uh, about two seventy three actually. So two seventy three. So that would be <clears throat> eighty seven on the other side. Yeah. So your son, which which way is your son? If you can just reverse it's, the shadow. Here, here, I'll show you. Here, it's just northeast of me. Can you see yeah, it? No, I mean Sorry. on the on the, the azimuth. On the azimuth, yeah. We want the which direction is the sun from you? It's just northeast of me. No, I mean on the azimuth, on the compass. Oh, on the the degrees. If you just did a line straight from your shadow to the other side, up towards the ninety there. Oh, from your the, the shadow is at two seventy three. Yeah, uh, the, what's the opposite of the shadow? It looks the, like about 94, well, yeah, I 90. Well, I, oh, I don't know, because I'm trying to line it up here. Can you see me trying to line it up? Yeah. yeah. I don't want to knock the nail over, that's all. Yeah, it looks about 94, 94, 93, 93, 94. Yeah, yeah like 93, right in between there, 93, 94. <clears throat> Sorry, let me see. Uh, yeah, let me see. Yeah, yeah it would be at about 93. Will you pan out a little bit? Me? Yeah, just yeah. move away a little bit. Yeah, cool. Okay. Uh, so, it's telling me that your time is eleven fifty-seven right now. No, it's it's ten fifty-nine. I know. No. <laughs> So it's an hour off here. Karen, are you hearing this? Karen? She's muted. So she's away from keyboard. AFK. Yeah. Missing That's a joint action. Question. Thank you for joining us, by the way, Jeremiah. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for having me. Glad it finally worked. Yeah. Was it Candy? Did it get to you through Candy? Yeah. 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 Candy sent me a link through Hangouts, and that's what worked. And I was trying to get that from Chris, but the email wasn't working for some reason. Uh, Chris, what I'm going to do. <clears throat> Uh, is I'm going to screen share, okay? So if you'll hide me while I pull up um, what Karen is showing. Karen, can you hear us? No, yeah. okay. She's when muted. She comes back. So. Okay, so I'm going to screen share, and when I'm showing what Karen's showing, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Chris, if when Karen comes back, I won't move anywhere i won't do anything i'll leave it on uh when karen comes back if you would um... sorry i'm here i was trying to get my stuff together okay <laughs> so no. Okay, Karen. Chris, will you present me? Yeah, certainly. When you just tell me when you're ready. Okay, I'm ready. You are now being presented. Are you seeing uh, sumcalc.org? Yes. A lot. Okay. Yep. Near Fort Lauderdale. Near. Plantation, Florida, United in, States. Yes, is in the center. Can you just oh, see it man, now? I just knocked it. Yeah. I just bumped okay. it off a little bit. Hang on. There you go. No worries. We have lots of time to re reset things up. 
Um, Karen, are you there? Yes. Okay. Will you set it at 93 degrees, the sun? An azimuth of 93 degrees? It's about 94 right now. It's, it's more like 94 right now. Okay. Karen, tell me when you've done it, because I can't see. I'm at 93. Should I start screen sharing again? Uh, yes. Okay. So, yeah, if you set it to 94, I'll set it to 94 too. Okay. I set it to 90. It's at 93. Oh, okay. Then I'll set it to 93. <laughs> Okay, so what time is it saying for you, Karen? It is saying 11.57 local time. Okay, for the real local time... 11.03. Yeah, it's uh, approximately an hour off. Yeah, Yeah, almost an hour. That's a big deal. That's, that's a lot of uh, catching up. <laughs> so mine's showing 11.56 in Florida the time is actually 10 uh, sorry 11.03 did you say yeah 11.04 yeah. mm -hmm. 11.04 the Asimuth is telling me it's 87 not 93 So this is how, uh, how globings think that they're on a globe. It's close if you ignore like the time. <laughs> so uh, Chris, will you stop um, presenting me? Yeah, and then they tell you, oh, it, the difference, oh, that's refraction. That's what they yeah. say. Yeah, of course. <laughs> An hour's worth. Karen is now being presented to everybody. I am uh, going to go get my level, and I'm going to see if I can't um, get on here the same time as Jeremiah. Yes, do. Yeah, definitely. Of course. Okay, hang on. Yeah. This Where's Jeremiah at? Plantation, Florida. Uh, that's his. All oh, right. Now we're going to see something interesting. I'll be straight back, guys. I'm going to make a... Okay. Yeah, it's always refraction. And how's everyone doing out there in the chat? Everyone good, I hope. Yeah, as far as I know. How are you doing, Chris? All good? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, how, how are you keeping? Oh, I'm keeping good, mate. Trying to get prepared for the move to Canada, but <laughs> I'm still waiting for my passport, my Canadian passport. I can't even leave this country until I get my Canadian passport. <laughs> Do you reckon it's, um, I know obviously you can keep up to date through uh, uh, media and family and friends, but do you think the place has changed a lot since you lived last lived there last? Um, well, yeah, I'm sure it has changed a lot. Um, 
I'm not sh where I'm going now is a completely different place that, than where I was raised, so it's uh, should be completely different. But I've uh, lived in the middle of nowhere before, and it is literally the middle of nowhere where I'm going again. So there's no humans basically around for, I think the closest other places are about three miles away. And then the closest city of any size is about uh, 60 miles away. Mm. Sounds lovely. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll definitely get some good night sky shots. No light pollution. <laughs> Where's Vinny today? Is he all right? Uh, we haven't heard from him. We don't know. It's a bit unusual for him. Yeah. Are we being raided? Yeah, we are. No worries. Two clicks. <laughs> yeah, it seems that way, FPV. Some people just can't handle the truth. If you're um, Jeremiah, if you're trying to speak to us, you, you're muted at the moment. I think he's trying to do something there. You'd have to um, unmute. That's it. That's it. Oh, no, no. I was just talking to my wife. That's all. Oh, okay, no worries. Okay. okay, you go ahead. We won't interfere. <laughs> <laughs> I had to unplug my headset because these stupid new iPhones, the, the headphone jack is the same as the power jack, so I had to plug it into the power. So if you guys hear an echo, I'm sorry. Uh, no, it's, no, it's fine. all good. All good. Yeah, sounds good. Because yeah, I'm running out of battery juice on my iPhone, so I had to plug it in. <laughs> and if I'm a sh if I'm shaky, I I've been drinking like coffee all morning here, so I'm kind of hyped on caffeine right now. Oh, that's good for you. I'm hyped on caffeine constantly. I think I'm on my seventh cup. Oh, you're only about seven, eight cups behind me. <laughs> I think I'm going to go through <laughs> easily. Hang on. I watched your video on making your own vape the other day, Chris. It was pretty good. Yeah, I should have gone into some more detail, but you know, I only had so much time. Uh, it's it's actually really straightforward, and the cost of it is is I mean, it's just so much cheaper, and you know exactly what's going into it because you're making it yourself. You're sourcing your own ingredients, and I, I dare say, I mean. If, if you're not addicted to nicotine, you don't have to put the nicotine in it. And you could put something else in it, like maybe some uh, CBD concentrate or THC concentrate and mix it back. I, eventually, I'm going to um, experiment with that. and But it's going to be difficult because I've got to know how much to put in. Do you know what I mean? 
and it's and I know it's going to be a right. very small measurement. Um, and I might even make a, a, I might even toy with making concentrates myself, but it's going to have to soak into the glycerin properly and be. Uh, they call it steeping, which is yeah. basically curing it, which is like allowing the air to get to it, but not too much so it affects it affects it. You know, you kind of just got to breathe new air into it. Yeah, I won't go into it on here, but I know got good processes for making all the CBD oil you want. <laughs> yeah. Because, I mean, like, it's it's difficult to gauge. I'd have to, I'd have to do a lot of quite specific research, perhaps even contact some companies to see how how much to use in order to make a concentrate. Because at the end of the day, what they do with, at the moment with the nicotine concentrate is they, they were getting raw nicotine and then just mixing it with vegetable glycerin. Right. Making making a concentrate like that. But you'd like for any, for half a litre, you're using, oh, what was it now that I used the other day? I think it was 35 millilitres to, to half a litre. So, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it'd be interesting to uh, do anyways. That was somebody in the chat there. Knows, knows how to do it. There, oh, is that right? there you go, just like that. Um, guys. Hiya. Hiya. Um, when I came back and got reset up again, um, I got a reading at um, 15.39. Um, but the sun's basically disappeared since then. Um, it was giving me 4.5 centimetres shadow. Let me just write this down one second. just go through that info again please how long ago was it um it was 1539 and 4.5 centimeters 4.5 centimeters yep cool They've just changed all the laws as well, Mike, recently, where you can't... Uh, they've increased all the prices of the ingredients for anybody who does DIY um, vaping and mixes like their own stuff. So I, 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 of course, I bought about two years' worth before they bumped all the prices up. They're just doing everything they can to just, you know, make it as difficult as possible or more expensive or whatever. Just like they do with everything. They try and keep it in the corporate hands and keep mm. the little guys out of it. Yeah, even the even the equipment has gone up. I mean, I get mine from China, and the the company's so massive that they just send it in like non non uh, recognizable packaging. So I'm quite fortunate, and I, I pay a fraction of the price of what you'd buy from a retail shop. 
Oh, that's great. No, I was just looking at some oil extraction equipment the other day, and uh, so checking out the different types and things. I've used homemade methods many times for extracting oils, uh, but that's using the propane, using propane or using a butane type gas extraction and then retrieving it. But, uh, oh, Kitty. Mm -hmm. This is Bat. Hi, Batman. Say hi, Batman. Hello, Here's kitty cat. Hi, Maddie. There they are. Have you called your cat Batman? <laughs> <laughs> He's a CGI kitty. You mean that's not real? <laughs> nope. They're both CGI. <laughs> okay, just to let people know now, there's going to be Antonio Subiras strikes back in the chat is in a few minutes. It's going to be um, Rock Vibrations that's actually writing. So anything abusive that's written there, it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> Watch that one. Okay, we'll keep an eye on that. So, Karen, is that your setup now? Yes. And you have a uh, cloud. Yeah, just a minute ago there was a sun, but here. Okay. You're oh, you got holes sun. in the sky. Yeah, you're going to have sun. Yeah. Yeah, give it a minute, it'll come back. And mm. when it came, did you get time to see? Um, barely. Um, my, um, my compass is kind of covering the tractor, so I just want to show that um, I am facing north. But then I want to move my um, compass so I can see my protractor better. Yeah. But I do have. Well, you're doing the sun tracking and you've made the video. And if people don't want to accept the possibility that you might know how to set up a sundial, then there's nothing we can do for them. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, just just to be. Yeah, there you go. About there you go. Quick, Absolutely. place a mark. <laughs> I see sun. Hang on. Uh, we got another. We got another reading um, as well uh, a few minutes ago. Do you, you just want to re recap that for Antonio, please? Oh, was that? Oh, I, heard, I, I yeah, heard, uh, Don't don't tell me the shadow length. Just tell me the direction on the compass, please, Debs. It is. What you mean on 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 my paper? Yeah. Or, All or right. Show, okay. Or show it. Um, I am on um, the line that's just leaving two forty degrees, going into two five five degrees. Can you show it to me? I can. I shall do my best. Oh, and I've just got a nice bit of sun back. Oh, away from it, never. Well, that's called timing. This was all timed. Well, before I do that, I'm just going to. Oh, two ticks. We were trying to set uh, uh, rock vibrations, uh, Leslie, on my other computer, uh, but it wasn't letting her sign into Google Plus or her YouTube, so she's going to have to write as me. But it took That's forever. As to what I can explain why she needs to uh, first of all sign into a um, email account and verify from that IP address because it'll be a security feature where they won't let they won't let her sign into any accounts until she verifies the email because it's a new IP address. Right. Okay. So how would you do that? Because my phone number on my Google settings is an old phone number and it's not even letting me in to change the phone number. It's yeah. Yes, so it's not letting her in to change her phone number, which is was the, the way of communicating for the device and whatnot. So how would she go about changing the phone number or verifying the device, the IP? Usually just send an email and then you just reply to the email saying that you are the person that accessed from that oh. device. Okay, so um, did you hear that? Is that right, Chris? Um, yeah, but it'd have to be done from the IP address where the account was created. Uh, or oh. the, it's it's difficult if you oh. can if you can access the email address on a phone then 
without yeah. using your Wi-Fi, then yeah. that would be a way to do it. Yeah. Right. Brilliant. Thank you. Right. Are you ready for me to try and show you where I am? Yes. Yes. Are you? Yeah. Yes, Deb. Are you able to see that if I point to it with my pen? Yes. Okay, so that... It's just disappearing we see it, though. Oh, it just went at 150 or something. Huh? So where is it? At 150? No, 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 no. Um, the, the one that I've gave you the numbers for is on the 240. It's... It's just a, it's just on the line before it would go into two five five. Okay, so will you follow that line across the pole to the other side? Because I want to see where the sun is. Do you get me? The shadows pointing away from the sun. So if you yep. follow that line all the way across. Okay. So oh, I am at seventy. Seventy. Yep. Okay, cool, thank you. All right. Yeah. I got the same time as her. You've got... What did you say? You're muted. I said I... I, I am I? Uh, no, not now. Sorry. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay. When she was taking a reading, I took a reading too. Okay. And you're um, muted. I, could be... Uh, it was shadow was 289 so what is that on the other side 280 again <laughs> What is it, Karen? Can you hear me? Yep. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, uh, what happened there? No idea. Did she drop her phone? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's uh, I've never seen it go white. So, Jeremiah, what's your showing? What's what? What's your showing? Um, about ninety-eight degrees. Okay. So. <laughs> I'm sorry, my connection sucks on my phone when I'm on the porch. Hold on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Karen, again, where are you? North Carolina. 
I'm at um, 35 North, 81 West. No, no, I, I need to find it uh, on Sunkalk for the map. Oh, uh, that would be Earl, North Carolina. Earl, as in my name is Earl? Yes, yes, as in my name is Earl, that's right. Oh. Hmm. And what's the time there now? Right now it's eleven twenty-seven. Last time I took a reading was at eleven twenty-three. Okay. Um. And what was the reading? Um. The reading. The shadow was at two eighty-nine. So the sun was at um one oh one. No. Is that you're breaking up. No, one eleven. One eleven. Can you? You know what? Okay, I came in my house. It's, um, it was, the shadow was at 289. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna go back in time to 1120. No, no, no. Eleven twenty three. So I measured an azimuth of one hundred and one degrees. Karen, Antonio will be back to now. He's just setting something up. It will be long. Okay.
the fuck? Is that just a compass, the brass thing, or is it something as well as a compass? Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, Chris. Sorry, wrong hangout. I'll be back in a minute. Uh, Antonio needs to rejoin as quickly as possible. Is Leslie not there? Huh. No, they've both dropped, which on. Well, um, there's two of them there. Surely we could work that out between them. What they up to? Uh, are you muted, Chris? Yeah, I am muted, but I'm talking. I'm on two hangouts. Oh, sorry, so I'm, sorry, I'm sorry. No, 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 it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> this is new to me. I'm totally. Well, Chris, you're muted. I don't know if you know. Can anybody hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. All right, yeah, cool. I'm, just, just, I'm talking on a different hangout. Sorry, I'll be back okay. in a few minutes. No problem. Karen, you were saying? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm taking some readings right now. I'm kind of, I'm wondering if I messed something up because I the other way. <laughs> Might have messed up. I just took a reading from here in the UK, 282 at 4.35 p.m., 1635, 282, which is interesting because it was 280 for Faisal in Kuwait, what, uh, 20 minutes, half an hour ago?
You know what? Um, my phone got overheated and it crapped out. Yeah, we could see. <laughs> it looked like you just we saw a whiteout. <laughs> yeah, and just before it happened, you said, "Oh," and then it happened. I thought, oh, "She's gone in a huff." <laughs> um, it's really weird because I'm sitting there trying to take readings and the sun, the direction of the shadow is literally going back and forth. And I think it's because of the clouds going overhead. It's really messing with my readings. Cause I'm like, yeah. well, this, I know the sun's not up there going back and forth. Uh huh. <laughs> it is a lot. The, the shadows, the clouds bending the light back and forth. Yeah. 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 Did you uh, get anything regular though? I did get um, one good reading. Let me go. I'll, let me go get it, and I'll um, I'll have to tell you what it is from in here because I can't talk on the phone on my porch. Yeah. Um, I've got a reading from sixteen thirty two. Mm hmm. And I'm. If I've worked it out correctly, that takes it to 95. Okay, and what's the opposite side? The opposite side is, um, I don't know, maybe two, seven, uh, five, or somewhere between 278 and 275. Mm -hmm. is, is that correct? Yes. Uh, I'm, I'm just making sure that I've. My it was 280. Oh. 282, actually. It's quite a quite a quite a difference then. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Wonder what that's about. Uh, you've got a guy called Blue Fox joining uh, very shortly, verified and everything. Um, he'll be appearing. I've seen the setup and what have you. So. Cool. Oh, where is he? Uh, I don't know because we're having some serious because my sound card is overstretched because I've got um, there we are this is this is him could you Hi. test testing testing hello mic test hello hello we hear you oh cool right on how's it thank going you. thank you for joining us we're doing great but thank you for joining us yeah no problem thank you for having me <laughs> where where are you uh, uh Foley Alabama Let me just pull that up on the map. <laughs> How do you spell it? F O L E Y. Oh, Foley. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Foley. Irish. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, cool. Um, so, what's your reading? Uh, I got uh, a little bit. Uh, oh, I had a little rain out. Yeah. Had a little rain out a little while ago. Right. So you can just hang out with us until your sun, uh, your sky clears up a bit, if you want. Oh, cool. I yeah. got. I got. I only had one uh, mark uh, earlier. No, they have to be simultaneous. So we'll wait. We'll wait until you've got a a patch of sky. Right on. All right. Cool. Who can we hear? Like Somebody has no, watched no, no. documentary style. Um, hey, Antonio, can you hear me? My check. My check, Sergey. Yes. Oh, uh, excellent. Yeah, we can hear you, Sergey. Okay, this is what I've got. Okay. I'm going to drop out for about 20 minutes and then I'll free up another space here, too. So. Thank, thank yeah, I'm, I'm going to drop out as well for 20 thank minutes you. or so because. Okay. I need to be on the move again. Okay. okay thank right. you. Guys. Thank I'll be back though. Once I'm set up again. Hello. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, we hear you. Um, 
So, um, my son is now about uh, west, uh, approximately west, uh, maybe plus minus two or three degrees. Okay, Debs, um, drop out of the hangout, please, love. Don't want to uh, drop you because then you can't rejoin, so please just drop close the hangout and rejoin us later. Cynthia. I just uh, want to uh, let you know uh, how the sun is oriented now. The building in front of me uh, uh, is uh, kind of perpendicular to the line of my view, and the sun is right behind it. Can you, if you can, if you can, as you can see? Yes. So what? Where so, is it on the azimuth? My call. The azimuth. Say yes. it again. Where is it on the azimuth? Which direction is the sun on the azimuth? I'm looking west now, and the sun is west now. 270 then? 270. Okay. Maybe it is already not 270, maybe plus some two or three degrees. Okay. And uh, just to, to let you know that um, uh, the north, according to the SunCalc or the Google Maps, is uh, about is about seven degrees to. Seven degrees of this per per perpendicular line. You know, the north is over there, like east. this building. Is very end. It's a few degrees east. Yes? Okay. Your declination is east or west? Declination. East or west? Uh, I was checking. Uh, uh, I was checking with the compass. I, I will check, Sergey. I will check. Okay. Yeah. I will check. She was the first to publicly identify herself. Gomeshi was charged with sexual assault and choking, but was acquitted of all charges at the trial involving Nekater, with the judge expressing doubt of the witness's testimony. 18. Actor Mike Smith, aka Bubbles, owned a bar in downtown Halifax, which he called Bubbles Mansion. This bar featured shopping carts, pictures of Bubbles holding kitties, and even a trailer which was used as a walk-in freezer. Sadly, the bar is no longer open. In April of 2016, Lucy Decatera announced via Twitter that she was resigning from Trailer Park Boys after actor and co-star Mike Smith was arrested for allegedly assaulting a woman. However, the same day that she resigned, it was revealed by the Trailer Park Boys publicist, Sheila Roberts, that Decatera had informed the show's producers weeks before Smith was arrested that she would not be returning for the show's next Where is that newsreel coming from? Can somebody please tell me? Because it's doing my head in. It must be David. No, it's not. It's not David. No, I've muted it. Oh, I tell you what, I bet you it's one of the screens I've got open in the background. Yeah, it is. Oh, not that. Not that. No. I don't have anything open that's playing. Not there. One second. Not there. Okay, tell me if you stop hearing it when I mute, okay? Yeah, I'll stop hearing it when you mute. It's you.
So we've been doing this more than four hours because that was the next video after the Trailer Park Boys extended play. That's what it was. <laughs> Is that what it was? <laughs> it was telling us details about the Trailer Park Boys. Oh my goodness. I wondered what, yeah. Yeah. Sorry about that. Hello, Antonio. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. That's enough. I just uh, want to tell you my coordinates so you will have an uh, imagination where the sun is and uh, what is my orientation here. Mm -hmm. Declaration and things like that that you were asking. Tell me the okay. name of the place okay. that is closest. Tell me the name of the place that is closest to you, then I will find it. No, I will give you the coordinates uh, just a bit later. Help me. It doesn't help me place myself on a map. We need to know the nearest town to where you are, Sergey, please. Yeah, this is Murmansk. Okay, so I go to Murmansk, then I go to the magnetic declination. Um, so, okay. And I have it. So, okay, so. Okay, thank you, but by the way. Yeah. How's our friend David getting on? Yeah, so Sergei's declination is east instead of west. According to what they tell us. Um, <clears throat> so who's with us now? Karen and David. Yeah. David, you hear us? You're muted, by the way. You have to unmute if you're yeah. speaking to us. We, we cannot unmute you. It's something you'll have to do manually. I see the phone moving. So if you just touch the screen once to bring up the icons and then find the one that looks like the microphone and uncheck it, and that will activate your microphone. You better speak to us, please. Karen, in the meantime, if you want to tell us what's happening, oh, if you can, because you're connected. Oh, can you hear me now? There you go. Now we hear you. Uh, sorry, I put it on the stand, and the stand must have hit the button. <laughs> it no. was it was me who muted you. Yeah. Sorry, David. We, we muted you because we didn't know where the sound was coming from, and it was from me. Oh, so, that's... A... Yeah, my mistake. My bad. But <laughs> once you've been muted, the person that had muted you, the, the, once you've been muted by anybody else in the Hangout, nobody on the Hangout can unmute you. It has to be yourself. Okay. It looks like I'm going to get a couple breaks here pretty soon, but uh, the last reading was uh, 271.45 at 10.06. Uh, looks like it's clearing up a little. We'll see. <laughs> oh. looks, looks like you're enjoying your lunch. It was delicious. Huh? <laughs> it was delicious. Cool. Okay, people, 
if you look, this was a reading from Sergei in Murmansk. And at the same time, the reading from me in the UK was that. And Sergei, by the way, is inside the Arctic Circle. So wherever the sun is, he's going to be able to see it. And if he wants to, or if he can get out there and say, well, it's in this direction to me. It's a really good way of uh, verifying. Um, I got a couple of readings. Cool. I have my phone outside looking at my thing, but I'm in, I'm in my, I'm back at my desk. Okay. <laughs> So, as long as you don't waste any time, you tell us immediately. Uh, well, I just took a reading at 11.51. I took one at 11.35 and 11.51. Okay, the last one. Um, 11.51, the shadow was at 291 degrees is that what the shadow actually was uh are you pulling it up on this to mirror what you were saying or is your what is oh, that's what I, that's what i measured it at right so and i'm gonna go taking... to um sun calc and i'm gonna put it on the time i took the reading and see how it matches 1151 this is telling me that azimuth was 112.3 degrees. I measured 111. Mm, not bad. Um, with a 1.8 centimeter shadow, and I do have a 5 centimeter gnomon this time. Okay. So that correlates pretty well. Yeah. Is it any surprise? You're in the US. The things that are going to match closest are going to be the US. Because that's the guys that run the whole information data for the world. We're not going to get anything from China. We might get something from the um, Far East, from uh, Russia. That would be interesting. But the United States is where you have the NOAA, where you have NASA, where you have Tam and Date, where you have all of those guys. That's where things are going to match closest to the real world. Yeah. So, Karen, your reading was was correct it was pretty close yeah it was within a degree yeah weird so what's um right now what's jeremiah what's yours you're muted by the way you have to unmute if you want to I'm sorry um there's yeah. noise going on um I, i'm reading about 104 degrees 104 instead of 112? Yeah, it's reading about 104 right now. Did you hear that, Karen? Yeah. You know, the altitude of the sun that I measured is off, though. Yeah. And look at the altitude of the sun where he is right now, Jeremiah. What's up? The, we're looking at the altitude of your sun, so the length of your shadow. Uh, the length of my shadow. Hang on. Um, hang on. Let me move. It's about. Wait, that's the I mean. No, no centimeters. Oh, you want centimeters? Okay. Yes, that's a five centimeter gnomon, yeah? Yes, right. yeah. yeah. So the shadow is just just under two centimeters, so about 1.9. Yeah, give 1. or take. 1.8, 1.9. Okay. Karen? Yes. Can you work out the elevation angle from that? Yeah, what is it again? 1.8, 1.9, the shadow, for a five centimeter nomen. Yep. That's 70.2 degrees. That's what I measured 
mine for 1.8. And what does some calc say? It says it's, for me, it says it's 65.6 degrees altitude. So it's off by five degrees. Yeah. And what about for um, uh, Jeremiah? Let's see. Plantation. Florida. Uh. His says 68.75. The difference of what? Altitude. Say again, what, how much is that difference? Uh, well, from what I measured, it, his, is only, his is off by um, less than two degrees. Oh, right. So okay. His is closer, 68.75 degrees. Mine's off by five degrees. Uh, Weird. Okay. And the time is? 11.51. That's from 11. Well, I measured at 11.51. What, his is different, though. He just took his reading now, so it's not going to be the yeah. same. Yeah. And what was his elevation? Oh. Sorry, his altitude? Hmm? Well, for right now, his altitude matches. What, so what is it? What's the figure? For right now, his altitude says 70.76 degrees. Okay. And it says the sun is at 94 degrees east, according to time and date. Yeah, sun calc, yeah, basically 93 and a half degrees. Oh. Uh, can you show me? Oh. Sorry, guys. Uh, Karen, can you show me on... <clears throat> I'm still screen sharing um, yeah. SunCalc if you want to look. All right, okay. Do you know that they're actually showing us exactly for the US, especially uh, if you watch this as um, Brian Burton shows it, they're showing us what's happening in the US. They're not so sure about in the south, though. They're kind of way off at times in the south. You see how you've got that circle, yeah? Mm-hmm. And you've got that big uh, swathe Wait. of yellow. Mm-hmm. Which is um, showing you what? It's not showing you anything. That big swathe of yellow. Yeah. It's just saying, look, it's a circle. Think in terms of, of circles because globes and circles. It's actually showing a really narrow um, crescent. The sun is going to make its way across the sky in a crescent. Yeah. For you guys. For, for most of the people. For some of the people, this crescent is going to be more vertical. And for others, it's going to be uh, more... Perpen not perpendicular, more at an acute angle to the ground. Um, yeah. But the, that big yellow area making up the rest of the circle, kind of, what's that for? That's not showing elevation angle. That's not showing anything. The, the asymptote the direction is shown by the yellow bar. Yeah, I don't know what that's showing. It's just a little bit of programming. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. It's just making it look like a ball. Yeah. Yeah. So David, do you have any sun yet? Uh, yes, I had a, I had a bit of sun, and I took a mark. No, you, you have to tell us the mark as it's happening. It's getting ready to peak right now. Uh, All right, cool. So we can compare your mark with Jeremiah's. That's right. As soon as it, uh, it's getting ready to break right now. I'll show you. 
Okay, I'm gonna go out to mine. All right, cool. Hey, Sergey. Hello. I, I did the coordinates in the side chat. I have I have the coordinates. Yeah, they my exactly coordinates in the side chat. Okay. Can you hear me? No, we did not hear you. What's that? We did not hear you. Jeremiah, we did we did not hear you. What's that? We did not hear you. Okay, hold on, let me. For some reason, my sound went out. It's because we were talking over it. You can hear me now? Yes. All right, what's up? Okay. So now it is at... Uh, Can you see that? Uh, yes. Can you take? Can you take the? What's that? Can you take the protractor to the other side of the gnomon? Find the direction the sun is coming from. Second. What's um, that? Uh, can you show me again? Uh, I don't see the edge of the protractor. Uh, can you move a little away up away from your sundial a little bit? Okay. So ninety eight. Okay, cool. Cool, thank you. Sorry, David, where did you say you were again, please? Where did you say you are in, in America, please? Holy Alabama. Alabama, cool, thank you. 
Hello, everyone. Hello, George. Hello, Chris. Hello, Karen. Hello, everybody. Hey, George. Hello. Hello, Antonio. How are you? <laughs> I, uh, uh, thank you very well. I jumped in uh, just to say hello to everyone. Greetings from Serbia, from a beautiful place called Aranjelovac. Uh, I'm a, I have a gig with my band and I'm a, on a wedding party. Uh, you maybe see and me the bride and guests. Uh, so, how, how are you doing? What's uh, going on? Good. Good. Doing good. Everything's okay. So, you're in a party. Very sunny day. Very nice for you. Yeah, yeah, very nice. I'm on a wedding party. I have a gig with my band, you know. Yeah. On a wedding party. Yes. Yeah. Excellent. So, so you, you, you see the bride and guests? The yes. Take, uh, photographs now. Yes, we see. Cool. And uh, we have uh, the beautiful lake. Uh, <coughs> I, I don't do you yeah. see that. Uh -huh. uh, so that tomorrow will be uh, also the beautiful day like today. So uh, so I can participate in uh, this uh, experiment. You you can participate later today if the sun is still up for you, if you get a chance. I will participate tomorrow, I hope so. Okay, okay. Because uh, uh, this will be, uh, this uh, end of this very party will be, you know, too late. Okay, cool. Listen, let me speak to somebody else one second. Carlos, hola, hey. Hi, hi, hi. hi. Hello. Hi, Frank. How are you? Ciao, ciao, I am... I am an hour from Chicago. Uh, where Where are you? So I can find you on a map. Um, Carpentersville, Illinois. Cool. It just got cloudy here. We have time. Tea, please. Uh, can you say the name of your okay. town again? Sorry. Carpentersville, Illinois. Carpentersville. Okay. Yes. Vincent, do you hear me? Uh, sorry, Chris, do you hear me? Yes, I hear you, yeah. Go ahead. Um, have you heard from Vincent? Uh, no, not yet. He's been in chat earlier on, so he's, he's about. All right, cool. Um, So where is Carlos at? Carpentersville, Illinois. All right, cool. That's right up near the lakes. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. What time is it for you right now? It is 11, 11.14, Okay. So you're in the same time zone as, uh, no, uh, as Karen, you're an hour later. He's an hour behind me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, cool. So, uh, 
Let's see where your son is when he comes out, huh? All right, I just came out now. I might have a break for a few minutes. Oh, that's okay. Um, you, you, there's no stress if you need to drop or if you want to drop. No, you meant a break in the clouds. Oh, okay. Okay, sorry. So this is what I've got here now. Um, I'm facing north, and I've got a pretty level. Uh huh. Oh, that's a nice set surface. That's a very good setup. Yeah. Uh, thanks to my dad. Cool. Um. So you want to look at the shadow here? Yep. <clears throat> Hold on. Go. Okay, would you place a mark on the shadow and then trace a straight line to the opposite side of the um, compass of the, to see the azimuth for the sun? So, uh, the opposite side meaning here? Yeah. All right, hold on a second. And so, mark the length of your shadow? Yeah, yeah. First place a mark on the end of your, yeah, like Aaron said. Got it there. Uh, kind of a direct line across would be about, let's see. How can I do this? <laughs> would you, would you tell us first of all the, uh, oh, sorry, no, just carry on. I think I'm reading about 125-ish degrees, maybe 126. For the shadow? Yeah, for the, um, the opposite side. Oh, for the opposite side? Yeah. And where's your shadow? It is at... Uh, 26 millimeters. Okay, and which direction? It is north west. Uh, and on the azimuth, what, what degrees? Oh, on the azimuth, it is... Um, Let's see. Would you take... Not. About 126 degrees. Okay. Asimuth is, you mean this side, right? One second. Let me go back to where you are. Uh, yes, where the shadow is pointing. So it's pointing towards 300. All right, where the 300. All right, my bad. Right here. 300 and about. 306 degrees. Okay, cool. So the opposite of that, uh, on the other side, what did you say it was? On the other side of the circle? Um, around 125 or 126. Okay, Karen, are you, listen are you here? Yeah. On my uh, sun calc, it's telling me that his short sun should be at 152. Not 120. Six. Mine is saying 124. So what's happening, huh? What time does your um? What time does it say for you? 11:14. UTC plus five. Uh, sorry, UTC minus five. Carpenter, Carpenter, Carpentersville, uh, Illinois, United States. So you're looking at SunCalc at the same time for the same location, and it's telling you the azimuth should be 150 something. 152.45. It's yes. telling me it should be 124.85. Yes, because you're somewhere where you can check it and verify it. That's some fishy shit right there. I'm gonna record it right now. Okay, just bear okay. with me. I'm gonna do a screen grab. <laughs> <laughs> 
and I'm going to show it. Um, uh, so, screen recording, uh, and then I'm going to go to you and record what yours is showing, okay? Okay. I told you they change things, and they change things on the hop. I wouldn't be surprised if I closed this down and re reinitiated it, and it told me a different thing. But I'm catching them as they do it. That's like a 30-degree difference. That's major. Yes. Mine's showing about 105. Your uh, sunk.org? No, no, no. Just my, uh, my azimuth. Oh, right. Huh. Okay, come on. You see, we flat earthers are all stupid and we don't notice things like that. <laughs> different readings. Oh, and by the way, I brought my whole setup outside. We hate science. Yeah. Yes. We hate science. No. We like going by hearsay. We rely on hearsay. We can't math this is. Yeah, I, I, only, I only believe things because I heard somebody else say it and I'll just repeat what they said. <laughs> okay, so right now, guys, I'm recording on my screen here at home. I'm recording 11.14 UTC minus 5. Asimov 152.45. Now I'm going to go into the Hangout and show Karen's. Okay. Uh, let me see. Make it bigger. So, can you highlight the uh, Asimuth, Karen? There you go. And the time is... Uh, 11, you have 18, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so I will put mine to 11, 18. 11, 18, 153. <laughs> on the That's crazy. Aha. Uh -huh. So, busted. Now I'm going to check. <clears throat> now I'm going to check. <clears throat> uh, time and date. <clears throat> Karen, will you check time and date too? See whether it says both. No, 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 no. no. All right. Um, some cock, because I'm recording it here. If you check over there, then I'll just have to put it on here to record. So. Bill. Illinois. Yeah, give me the sun. Heck. Are each of those lines represented by the same degree? Say again? For example, 45 degrees, is that represented from red to red? Or is each one of those blue lines its own degree? Your camera has been switched off, Blue Fox. All right, okay. So, uh, time and date is telling me 125 degrees southeast. Um, Karen and Carlos. For your time. For, and I bet you time and date is telling you the same thing too. But some calc is worked out. Is, um, some calc is worked out from Germany. Not from the US. So, sorry, the mathematical matrix doesn't, it only works if you don't verify it, if you don't check your maths.
Yeah, sun, uh, time and date is telling me 118 East Southeast. Oh, really? Well, I had to click on, because it won't tell me exactly what city we're trying to look at at time and date. I had to go to Carbondale. It was the first one that showed up as closest. I don't even know yeah. if that's right. <laughs> I um, tried to search um, <clears throat> Carpentersville, and then the first one that shows up is Carbondale. Like, how do you get the right, the exact city in time and date? It never lets me do it. Um, well, that's interesting because I have sun in Carpentersville in time and date. Yeah, I've well, it won't it. let me do it. <laughs> yeah, I've got it right here. Um, yeah. So, Yossi's, yeah. So, there you go. Now we can't verify that your Carpentersville is reading the same as mine because you don't have access to it for some bizarre reason because I do. And I've recorded it. Yeah, it won't give me the right city. Have you typed Car Carpentersville? Yeah, I keep putting it in the search and it won't bring it, it won't up. It won't give it to you, yeah. Yes. Time and date oh, never lets me go to exact cities. I always have to go to the closest. Like, I can't even get my own city. I have to go by Gastonia, which is 25 miles away. Yeah. Well, they don't want you checking and, and proving that they're talking gibberish. Um. Okay, let me see what's going on. Zulu one is saying this is freaking awesome. Yes, it is freaking awesome. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we have Carlos, uh, David, right, yes. sorry. Uh, so what are we, what was it, Carlos, again? 120? It was around 120, 20, hold on a second. <sighs> I mean, does that look right to you, right there? One second. Uh, one second. Uh, yeah, that looks, that looks fine. Okay, well then it's reading now at around 129. Yeah. And on the other side, it's 130. Uh, yeah. Uh, sorry, 231. On the other side is around, um, because my son went away. Uh -huh. Are you? So, the anytime, if you want, what you can do, Carlos, is you can place a mark every five minutes or so and then if the sun is hidden at least you've got the mark you made last but also okay i suggest that over the next few days you keep a record of what's happening of your solar noon you know if you can get up early if you have clear days keep a record and see what it shows you okay yeah it's really interesting okay i'll, I'll do that um the thing is, my battery is running out low now. Okay. Would you mind if I called you later and gave you some more readings? No, that we would we would love it. <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah. Um, hopefully it clears up here, and I'll make sure to call you later. Oh, excellent. Thank you very much, man. Yeah, thank you, Carlos. Yeah, thank if you. you. Need, if, if you need to get on later, just email me again because this link will expire in the next three hours or so. Okay, thank you. I will do. Uh, also, a big hello to you. Uh, thank you to your father. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Thank you. Okay. So now I'm going to check my email. Chris, do you want to show uh, what's going on with the sun um, on the screens as I'm away checking other things?
Efficant? Sure. Sure. Kurt Water, I don't know if you saw when Karen showed suncal.org, who often has the details more correct than time and date, hence why time and date changed their details to reflect suncal.org rather than the other way around, as I caught on video. Uh, so she, she showed time and date and what it was reading, uh, sorry, suncalc and what it was reading, and I showed suncalc and what it was reading. Oh, sorry, no, I didn't show it, I recorded it. I'll be showing it afterwards. Yeah, there's problems with the globe for sure. But what we're doing now is we're looking to see how the sun behaves, what it does, how it behaves. I think I might have dropped. No, no, you're still here. All right, okay. <laughs> Checking for Levao in Brazil. Seriously? Yeah, this messed up. Martin. Yeah, hi Antonio. How's it going? Yeah. Oh good. How's you? Give me an update. Uh, is there a need for a reading from Latvia right now? Uh, if, if we can have a reading from Latvia right now, it would be really good because we just had one from Illinois. Mm, okay, because it, it, it was very, very cloudy and now we had uh, some, some, some couple of sun rays. We could, we could manage that. Okay. Uh, we could we could do this on the one meter gnomon and we can do it on the uh, five centimeter gnomon okay uh, uh, so if you need whatever we yes, can do go it. go and do it because we have somebody right now we have karen is showing her um gnomon right now she's got a little bit of cloud um and i think she might go outside and move the uh fabricated uh, the the okay. Master okay. yeah so See you, see you in a couple of minutes and okay. we will show you the length of the shadow. Okay? Okay, cool. 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 Okay. See you later. Bye. David, I don't know if you hear us. Yeah. Uh, can you move your camera down um, so that we can see your sundial? We are, we're only, yes. We were only seeing portion. Excellent. That's perfect. Well, when the sun comes out, it will be perfect. <laughs> Jeremiah, uh, you're not showing anything. He might have stepped away. Yeah, I'm back, guys. Sorry, I'm just having a little lunch. Ugh. Yeah, would you, if you have the sun uh, out, would you show? Sure. Yeah, um, I actually moved my rig outside because I thought maybe the uh, the glass in the door was affecting it. So just to verify and make sure any of the naysayers can't make that as an excuse. It, it it's the same exact reading as as I as I had inside. So, but right now I'm I'm looking at about one ten, almost one oh nine. Sorry, I'd stepped away because we keep getting a, a break in the clouds here in the UK too. <clears throat> he said he was around about 109. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at, it's looking about 109 right now. Okay, so do you want to hear something interesting? It's further... Oh, right, wait, wait. Uh, yes. Uh, 
No, forget it. I have to work it out. Work out what I'm going to say. What I have to... What I'm observing. Would you uh, move your, your position, Jeremiah? Uh, so it's looking north and south. So your face... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. There we go. Just to make sure you guys know I'm looking north here. Can't really get a good reading, but... Hi. Hey. <laughs> uh, David, can you hear? Yep. Will you play some art before the sun goes? Or have you just played? Oh, you've just placed one, have you not? Oh. Yes, I have. I just placed it. Okay, so will you place a mark right now as well, uh, Jeremiah? Uh, put a mark where it's at right now? Yeah. 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 Um, time is... 12.35 here. Okay, so now will you <clears throat> line your ruler up? Um, and, yeah. you, and you too, David, if you have a rule that you can set up. Oh, yeah, you've got the protractor. So what, what's it showing on your protractor, David? Uh, was that 280... Nine, and on the other side, oops. Was one eleven? Mm -hmm. What's his location? Um, so it's Alabama. Again? About one ten. Again? Can you say again your location? Location. Ow. Foley, Alabama. Foley, Foley, sorry, yes, Foley. And um, Jeremiah, what's your reading? Yeah. What's your reading? Uh, for what, the azimuth or yes. the uh, the direction of the sun? Both. Uh, well, it's reading about. Let's see here. Let me move my ruler. Um, I'd say it's given me about two ninety six. 297 right in there somewhere the shadow I mean mm -hmm. sorry let me put my camera and then uh, the opposite direction I'd say it's probably doing about 211 two 214 two, two uh, can you see it I mean, it's it's kind of hard because the nail's right in the way, but uh, okay. If you I'm just to... subtract one eighty from your sun's direction, you'll get your the shadow direction. You'll get the sun. So I'm if I if you take one ninety seven, you take one eighty. That's one seventeen. Which how long how okay. is your shadow? Yeah, yeah. How long is your shadow? Oops, I just moved it a little bit. Um, let me see. It's, it looks like it's just under a centimeter. Let me see. Yeah, it's it's right at one centimeter. Rock, uh, let's see. Don't don't worry about it. No. Check to make sure I didn't bump it. Do you have a five centimeter gnomon? I'm good. Yes, yeah, five centimeter. Okay. Gnomon. If you just look at the circles, there, there's a measurement right there. You don't have to measure it with your ruler. Oh, oh, so yeah. You're okay. at. <laughs> Um, just just over one centimeter. If you follow that circle round to where you've got the numbers, you'll be yep. able to work out your elevation angle right there. It's just over seventy eight point six nine. It looks like. There you go. So 
So what is it measuring at? Hold on. 78. It's just over 78.69. Actually, it's getting closer and closer as we talk. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Lots of kids for you. And you are in um, uh, plantation. Plant yes, plantation. Yep. Okay. Hmm. So his reading's not really matching sun calc for me right now. Mm hmm. Um, I mean, it's, you know, it's not way off, but it's off. It's a little cloudy. I mean, the altitude, if he's measuring a 78 degree altitude, sun calc says it should be 72 degrees, and the azimuth should be 108, not 117. That's a major difference. What's his magnetic declination? Let's see here. My altitude, do you know what it's telling me? Hmm. Is 50 degrees. That's what it's telling me. Huh. What's the email address for at gmail.com. I'm sitting about 298 right now. Well, closer to 299. Oh, his azimuth, according to Song Calc, is 143. What time is it where you are right now, Jeremiah? It's uh, 12.41. Okay. Okay. I've adjusted it. So the altitude is 56, and the azimuth is 166. The azimuth is 166. Now, that, that doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't at all. <coughs> I'm really... Wait. Huh? And what time is it telling you on um me? Yeah. Uh 239 uh, sorry 1239 1240 UTC minus 4. 4. Altitude 56.54 azimuth 166.99 Height from sea level, two meters. See, now they're messing with us. Uh-huh. They're not messing with us. They're messing with the globelings. Well, yeah. Because when I'm on here trying to look at the time, it's telling me UTC minus five. It's giving me my – um, it's not my local time. That's UTC minus five is their local time. So what's your, your say? UTC minus four. Okay, so you're looking at a different time than I am. Uh, no, you're an hour no. off. Oh, right. Okay, sorry. My bad. My mistake. Let me just double check. That was <clears throat> set on 2015. My bad. Wow. Okay. You're <laughs> two years off. Yes. <laughs> just, just a little bit. <laughs> ah, okay. Right. 79 degrees elevation. <laughs> An acid of 102. Okay. Wait, hold on. Let me see. Is that is that mine or yours? Uh, your uh, plantation, Jeremiah. Plantation. Okay. So you're saying azimuth is 102? Uh huh. Yeah. No, that's way off. I'm like I'm looking at 116, 117. Yeah. And the altitude is 79 degrees. Yeah, that's about right. Okay. It's just under. So they have either one or the other 
closer. I mean, that it's off at all. Uh, it shouldn't be off at all. It's still telling me you to see minus four, by the way, Karen. For plantation, I was looking at Foley. Ah, okay. So plantation, what's he telling We'll figure this out. So plantation for me is UTC minus four. And the altitude? It's 1244 right now. And the altitude on my site says 80 degrees, azimuth 104.06. And, and you have it set to 1240? Well, 1243. You want me to go to 1240? Yes. 1240 says um, 79 degrees, 102.8 okay. azimuth. Okay. Uh, sorry, azimuth of what? 102.8. Oh, right. Yes, yeah. Okay. I'm sure you guys can see I'm pointing straight north here. Now I'm wondering if what I recorded was set to 2015 or because I've been setting it to the year, but I've closed it a couple of times and reopened it. Let me have a quick watch of the thing. I'm going to mute myself for a minute, guys. That's just like time traveling. Oh, yes. No, I don't need to mute myself because <laughs> it didn't record any sound. Can you do that for the future? Too? Can you guys hear my air conditioner? Can we hear your what? Background. I'll mute myself if you can. We no. don't. We can't. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. It's just literally right there. <laughs> I am going to just try and do something here. I'm going to put my channel live and everything is linked up. I just set up a whole stage setting for your channel here. And oh. anybody who comes to my channel will see everything that's going on and should come over to here, I hope. Cool. So I'm going to send it, start it live right now. Cool. Okay, people, what I recorded before was indeed on 2015. So scrap that. Oh, my God. Mistakes. Hey, at least uh, you own up to them. We are human. All right, Antonio, to fix this, you have to build a time machine. <laughs> <laughs> and check what it was back then. <laughs> hey, hold on a minute. <laughs> Two years from now, you'll be given different data. <laughs> how did how did you end up on 2015? Did you put that year in there? No, it's uh, no, no. Don't ask me why. Every time I open it, it goes to 2015. I change it to 2017, and sometimes uh, I change the town and it reverts back to 2015. And if I don't keep checking. You know, I might change the town because I changed, I put um, foil and I put um, uh, plantation and uh, the other one, um, Carpentersville. And at one point, it, it shifted to 2015. Hmm. Yeah. It happens. Is it an, an application that you've put onto your computer, a program? Uh, or are you no, doing it through? It's their, it's their website. Right. Okay. Every time I go into their website, even though I've cleared all the cookies or the whole cache of everything, when I go in, it sets it to 2015. That's strange. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I just set it up and everything's running live on my site now. So that's kind of cool. Cool. And we have the magnetic field calculator from the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration, is it? Right. Agency. Well, what I've done on my channel is I've put on the sun calc. So the sun calc, anytime we get a thing, I can just quickly go onto it. And I've also put on the space station tracker, which shows the sun and where the station is at all these times. Oh, nice. So it's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, so magnetic declination in Jeremiah's area it looks like it's about six degrees. Mm -hmm. 
If anybody wants to watch something a little bit interesting, not very interesting, but a little bit interesting, I have a video called Time and Date Caught Red Handed. It's only a short video. Whilst I was making a video, uh, and I was recording Time and Date, and I'm recording Sun Calc, and I go back to Time and Date, and they've changed their data. What I'm doing is I'm saying, why do these two organizations, um, or people, why do are they not consistent? Why is their data not consistent if they're working from the same matrix? That's that was the purpose of the video. Whilst I'm doing that, I'm saying, look at what Sunkalg says for this place. Look at what Time and Date says. Time and Date's got it completely wrong. Look at Sunkalk, look at Time and Date, and Time and Date have changed it whilst I was making the video. I say, aha. So anyway, there you go. Let's see what's going on in the chat. Rob Rich, Stan Rogers Folk Fest Festival is coming up this weekend. Going to be like 10,000 people here. Should be able to hook a few people with their feet. Yep. Beliefs, uh, so Los Angeles Highland Park. Does anyone think that people who reject the flat earth beliefs might have well-grounded beliefs? No, if the per people are well-grounded, they won't be uh, using beliefs. They'll be using knowledge. It's the difference between flat earth and globe earth. He said, we, we don't want any beliefs. We're not interested in beliefs regarding the shape of the world. We can have beliefs about religions or, or whatever, but not about the, the earth. But the globe relies on belief. So, Johnny. We're are eliminating we... the belief. Say again? We are eliminating the belief and turning yes. it into fact. This is what happens uh, when people start challenging beliefs they're seen as heretics you know you might not be a religiously minded person but you see the the term heretic means disbeliever and that's how the, the reason that they use that term is that this is part of what happens if you, anybody challenges your beliefs so um that's what we are to the globelings you know we're iconoclasts and we're Unbelievers. Like, yep, proud of it. Thank you. So, Johnny, I'm looking for you to pass your link. Who? You. Oh, right. Okay. Will you type something so I can see it? Ah, uh -huh. okay. There you go. You have a wrench. Uh, Sub so Johnny, okay. Pass me a message on Skype, Sub so Johnny, and I will pass you the link. Aha, uh -huh, I have you. Yeah. No, oh, from link. Sorry about that. I'm so efficient. There you go. So, Johnny, I, I would really like you to tell people what you told us the other day about your wife's car accident. Yeah, I want to hear It's just such a good way of, uh, yeah. Was she in a Subaru? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I don't think, no, I think uh, it was a Ford. I don't know, but no, it wasn't a Subaru. With a flat earth uh, cylinders engine. What? What did you say? What would you trust if it was Subaru? Because Subaru have got this fat earth. Oh, that's thing. Right. Yeah. That's, that's why his name is Sub Johnny as well, because he's he was into um oh, he's Subaru. Still, yeah, he's um, a Subaru enthusiast. Ah, uh, makes sense. Ah, sure. oh, maybe it was maybe it was a Subaru. Sub Johnny, was it a Subaru? You're muted, by the way. It was, it was a Ford. No, it, it was, was a Ford. Ford freestyle. Yes, so it was a Ford. Sh -sh 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 -sh. One second. Sh too many microphones and too many headphones. <laughs> yeah, I'm the same. I'm the same. <laughs> so I received link on uh, via Skype, but I have no idea how to transfer it here. So if I drop out here after that on my desktop, I should open Hangouts here and it should work. Yes. So, yeah. So, do you have time? Yeah, uh, we have lots of time. For story. Yes. Yeah, basic, basically what I want to say is the people who see curve, they, they really see it from their perspective. Their brain perceives the curve. So, their eyes see the curve. This is how their brain perceives it. Their brain curves the uh, surface. And they because see of the their belief. Because of yes. their belief. Yes, because the brain adjusted to the curve and their eyes see the curve. So basically, you cannot convince them. You don't see. Even if you put level, they start seeing level curve too. So because level will be parallel to the surface. I mean, it sounds insane, but this is what happened. Uh, do you want to tell it briefly? Yes. So I've been called at work that uh, my HR manager, he said, go back home quick. Your wife is an accident. Like So they adjust me. They said, it's horrible. Cops there. Uh, not, not like... Medic, paramedics, right? So I think it's guys fly away from the road. They said, I said, they alive? I said, yes, okay. But go forward. Go, go fast. So I go, come over here. What were the conditions? The weather conditions, the road conditions? Yeah, it was like a slush on the road, like a melted ice and snow. So it was a big, thick layer of uh, porridge, you know? You yes. Know, it's it's not a black ice. Black ice is even better sometimes because it's, you still have hard surface, you know? But that one was like a porridge, like a four inch of slush. Uh, same stuff like you buy in summertime, you know, sweet slush to drink. Yeah. Same yeah. stuff. So she was driving and she, uh, 80 kilometers, as she said. And before stop sign, she put on brakes, car didn't stop. So at all. So it just starts first. And finally, she, uh, she, she turned like 90 degree out of road, perpendicular road, the same, not same speed, but maybe 60 kilometers an hour. He hit, she hit a snow bank and finally she stopped hitting. Something looks like a tree or old tree, but it was lots of snow between her kind of tree. So when I out of, when I drive and I talk to a policeman and he said, your car is wrecked, so you need to go, you need, we, we call a tow wreckage, like towing guy, right? So I said, okay, we lose the car, everybody is alive, but we buy another car. So when I came, the tall guy was right, right uh, near my car. He said, yeah, your car is like done. We just pull it out. And I said, oh, yeah, OK. My wife and kids, OK? Yes, they're outside the car. They're OK. No injuries, no problem. So when I, when I, when I start approach the accident place, I saw my car, and I, and I saw it's wrecked. I saw bumper was smacked. And I see that the interesting thing I see, I, see, I remember I saw the hood as a triangle shape. You know, when the car go accident, like a crash test, you saw on YouTube crash test, the car hit, even 20 kilometers an hour, the hood gonna be pop. This is how car design, it pop, the hood pops this way, so it doesn't go inside the, same yeah. as the windshield, it go up. Yes. All the roof and everything outside the cage go up, up out of your head and body, so it don't injure you. Uh, so I saw it, I saw the big curve, like tra like 60 degree angle of my foot, like I saw a reflection of a pain of the foot. It, I can't believe, I wish I have a camera and I film the same way as I see it. So when I watch a video, I see how I'm stupid I was. Or maybe video will show the curve, I don't know. Okay, maybe, so... Maybe reality was switched for a second, so, you know? So you see, you see the front of the car is smashed and uh, the bump, the, the hood is bent. And the only yeah. thing to bend the bumper is a hard impact, something like that. 
Okay, and then what happens? And I see it, I stare at it like for 15 seconds. Not like I just look and I turn around. I look at it, I stare at it and I see it. I see, I start knowing what happened. Okay, yeah, it's wreck. And I turn and I said, policeman, I said, yeah, it's salvage. So we just get rid of it, it's okay. This is what I told and this is what he see. And look, what next happened, policeman go like this, because the car was pretty, not far away, but maybe 50 meters. I mean, not closer, maybe 30 meters. So he admitted, he said, yeah, yeah. So I programmed him too. So when when I said, let's pull it out, I wanna look. I wanna I wanna see my car before you take it. So you already put a cable and start winching it on a flatbed, right? You know, yeah. like winch it on a flatbed and remove it. But since they start winching, I start looking around and I go around and no intact. And maybe it's small scratch, but all headlamps, uh, radiator is plastic, right? Radiator cover is plastic, no damage. Hood is very straight, no kinks on it, like very so basically all front is intact no no damage at all and cops was looking like this <laughs> so he was he was seeing it too apparently you know because we talked to guests and he said yeah yeah that's okay those guys good they take it out no don't worry man so when he saw it he also go like this so he you was, you saw that the bonnet was like this the hood was like this and you yeah, saw front. Front. yeah you didn't see the front you didn't no. see how broken no, but then no, no. when you say let me see mm -hmm. it turns out the hood is not like this the reason you were seeing this is that they had told you that it had hit a tree yes 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 and they they told it because these cars they don't do this the front doesn't bend like this and then when you yes. pull it it all goes back like a transformer no no you it know would stay it would stay this way it was your belief that was making you see this they put horror on me it's like a, it's like a, you know how they control they put fear they put you in rush you know, this is what people do in the morning. They wake up, they go work. I don't mind they work. If we consume, we should do something. I understand. We should produce if we consume. But they, they don't think they, in the morning. People like a clock. They don't think. They cannot stop for five minutes. Just yes. stay in the streets. Look around. Don't, don't go anywhere, you know. Sometimes they want to stop people on the shoulder. Hold it like this. Stop. Just look around. Do you see something like clouds? Or you don't see anything, you know. People yes. just walking. Unconscious. Like a, like a schedule, yeah. Yes, unconscious. Yeah, so people are walking around and they are not conscious of what they're doing. They're not cognizant. They're not aware. They yeah. they think that they are. We've been programmed into thinking that we are aware whilst we're watching television. But if you're aware when you're watching television, you'll notice one, your posture is really bad. And half of mm -hmm. the time, you're watching television with your mouth open, like, uh... <laughs> this is not conscious you know mm -hmm. okay I'm gonna drop because my son almost here and I also have lots of clouds today so I don't know how I'm gonna measure it's like Sun five seconds and then clouds yeah for 15 minutes yeah it doesn't yeah. it doesn't matter so Johnny you can hang out you know you so yeah. if you 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 show us your son and Martin mm -hmm. will show his son he's in Latvia mm -hmm. He's just came back in. Yeah, as you can see. So you, you will show us your son, and Martin will show us his son. And we have somebody in the south of North America. And we can see his son as well. Yeah, and then we teach the next generation together. Okay, mm -hmm. okay I drop in, and I, 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 uh, I try to reconnect with you via my phone. Or All right, outside, cool. outside. Okay. okay, cool. Martin, hello. You're muted. Yeah, hey. Hey. Hello. We are now uh, trying to get uh, leveled out to this small piece. Uh, we, we we got the bigger one uh, on the level, but... Uh, it's out of scale. Yeah, it, it's out of scale. And the sun just, 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 just showed up. And, and the small one is also out of scale. It's <laughs> very long shadow. <laughs> Very long, very long shadow. So we are going to try to set it up, and uh, it's unexpected because uh, it was so cloudy all the time. We set up in this one place, and now it's uh, shining sunny, and now we're setting up in a whole different place. So maybe we're going to set up, and the sun will going to shine, and the sun is going down right now. But it's you know, okay. it's okay. It will shine again. So don't. You're going to need a bigger garden. It will shine. <laughs> no, no stress. Exactly. 
Yeah, exactly. You need a bigger place to yep. make the measure because it's yeah. much way out of scale. Yes, really long shadow, yeah? Well, yeah. maybe we will just have to look at your small one. Exactly. So we, we, we are trying the small one to yeah. put on a bigger scale. Bigger, exactly. Scale. So uh, wait, wait a couple of minutes, and we hope that the sun will go, and uh, we're going to set up the small one and show you the length of the shadow. Okay. Cool. 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 See you in a bit. See you in a while. Okay. Perfect. Martin saying, Roman latitude. He's in a place called Riga. I have a sun for five seconds. Yeah, that looks good. Got a break in the clouds. See this? Yep. So my solar noon should be level oh yeah. one thirty something. So where is the camera? Oh. Now no sound. No sound. So it's gone. No, no, it's for clay. Oh, okay. well, again, son. Yeah, I see the sun. I see the sun. If, if you can, as soon as it, as soon as you get a shadow, just uh, place a mark, make a reading, uh, measurement. I, I just did one minute ago, so oh, yeah, I, cool. it's one oh five. So it's now right here again. So right, yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah. Five minutes, five minutes. I give it to. Mm. Uh, I just show you, see it's level, just, you see it, bubble, in the middle, here, look, compass. Mm. I can probably put another mark. One oh eight. Antonio, you have uh, Martin highlighted. Could you unbox him, please? Oh, okay. One second. <clears throat> One second. There you go. Okay. 
Thank you. Sorry about that. I was setting up my sundial. Yeah. There's all kinds. Where'd everybody go? Here, I'm setting up the thumbnail. I'm still here. I'm just uh, got everything set up on my channel and sending people over here whenever I, people pop on. Yeah, it's come. The sun's come out in the UK. Just hmm. I know. Yes. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm keeping an eye out. I might try and get a reading myself. Is that it? It out here. I think it might start raining at my house soon. You should get your equipment in, Karen, if it's going to rain. Yeah, yeah, I've got I've got my phone on the porch already covered. Oh, the porch is covered, so I mean I didn't leave it out there in the open, but I'll have to go get my other stuff. Probably. Hey, Antonio. Yes. Um, I know we didn't do it last time or this time, but um, the next time we do one of these, we really need to do one that focuses on um, magnetic declination and magnetic declination only. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, well, the, yeah. Next one, the next time what we'll do is we'll ask everybody to set up, have their compass, and have their camera uh, very close to the shadow so we can see precisely that it's lined up north and the shadow where it is on the azimuth and we can then look at magnetic declination otherwise we can't look at magnetic declination just off a little bit here and there it's going to give us something uh, different yeah I'm getting the same questions on my channel about our Meg why not set up the zero for solar noon to the declination in the first place well, um, here's the thing, because, and what I mean by focus on magnetic declination, I don't mean like, you know, find uh, magnetic north, your magnetic solar north, and then go look up magnetic declination online and, and, and use that. I'm saying like what we did last time where people had to find, set up to magnetic north and find your solar noon, and then sit there and watch the sun until it comes around to true north solar noon, your absolute shortest shadow. And you know how there was that hang up that people yeah. were getting, like it was it was kind of staying in the same line there. You yeah. gotta find the middle of that line. So it's gonna take time. People are gonna have to watch it for a while. They have to find their true true north solar noon. And in directly in the middle of that hang up, that's where your true north um, solar noon is, right? Mm -hmm. So then you compare that to your magnetic north solar noon, and the difference is going to be your true magnetic declination that you measured yourself with a real compass, not a phone compass. It has to be a magnetic compass. And then we can compare that to what they tell you your magnetic declination should be, because I did that, and it was off by five degrees. So obviously, if we're me taking our measurements and it's um, lining up to sun calc, they're accounting for magnetic declination, right? Because if we're lining up magnetically and it's matching their readings, they're giving us the reading that's accounting for magnetic declination, right? Uh, this is one of the fudge factors they have. 
Uh, when people are asking Mike, why are we not lining Solar Noon? Well, first, we're not lining Solar Noon at all this time. Um, but if we line Solar Noon to Magnetic North, uh, which is the declination, this, this is, we have to understand, that's where your magnet is pointing and that's off from right. true north. Okay, so if we're, if we're going to magnetic declination north, that's it, it's off. If you're talking, why don't you put it factor in magnetic declination, it's like, how do we know what the magnetic declination is? A declination is something we're being told. Like Karen just pointed out, Hearst was off by five degrees. That's no small factor. Then if we take uh, earlier today, we had a uh, cosmic surfer who's in um, Cape Town, and his solar noon happened way before he got to his magnetic north. Way before. So, uh, what are we going to do? You know, solar noon. When solar noon is your shortest shadow, that's supposed to show geographic north. Right. Your shortest shadow, geographic north. Right. Your compass shadow, your compass direction that's off from that, that's the declination. Right. From I'm geographic north. I might have been yeah. saying it backwards. <laughs> you know, it's the same thing. Yeah, I'm just saying but, what you But you know, my point is we have to find magnetic north. And that and that right. solar right. noon solar yeah. noon magnetic north and true true solar noon north. And we need to measure manually measure the difference between the two because that is your real magnetic declination, not what some website tells you. That's my Ab point. Absolutely. That makes perfect sense. Yes. You know, if you do the two simultaneously where you're measuring your magnetic declination because you measured the two points of true solar noon and magnetic noon, it works. So, yes, true solar yeah. noon, it, it stalls in the middle mm -hmm. of the day at solar noon. Yeah. The length shadow stops getting shorter. It continues to scroll across, but stops getting shorter. Okay. Right. And then it starts getting longer again. So we find the midpoint there. Sorry, this yeah. way. Midpoint, that's your true north solar noon, okay? Right. Yeah. Now, let's see at which point it reaches your compasses north. Exactly. Yeah? So your compass north will be over here, and you carry on marking. You've marked, I would mark with a red line, the central point. So you've marked with whatever color you want uh, the solar noon. You get to the end of the solar noon, which is a period of up to 50 minutes people of stalling okay this was denver yeah. colorado so the halfway that. point make a red mark there now wait until you get the shadow comes to the point that is pointing directly south away from north for those of us in the north and the opposite for those in the south and make a mark there and now you've got two lines now you've got a degree between the two that's your magnetic declination your true magnetic declination that's what karen's saying yeah because I was talking about this with Zach because um, it, he was, it, it's come up for him too, as far as like him measuring, um, you know, the degree of angles, like when he was doing a, a, an experiment and he measured the degree towards a certain area, like a landmark, and then yeah. he looked it up on um, Google Earth and it was way off, like it didn't match from his location to the landmark he pointed at. He measured something different in real life than what they tell you on Google Earth. Yes. So, this is what we need to do because this is this is um, I think is a major key to how they're you know fudging things because if if we can't measure the same magnetic declination that they tell you and it's off by a lot which for me that's five degrees which is a considerable amount I mean well especially if you're talking thousands of miles well yeah. five, deg that five degrees uh, represents uh, 20 minutes in time. Mm hmm you know okay guys I'm gonna take off for tea and I'll oh. be back in a bit and I'm gonna leave my channel running live so everybody goes there you're seeing all what we're seeing too cool cool Just okay cool yeah take care. All right, later bye one second uh, yes Karen uh, totally let's do that next time I don't have a son. My son is gone.
I see that. What? I think I have the son. My son is on. Oh, he's gone. Yes. But we um, let's wait until we go inside with another reading, like Martin or Sub Johnny. So Johnny, you have um, no, you don't. Okay. I just put Mark five minutes ago. I'm going to another one, and I have shade. Look at this. Not so good. See, more gray areas and blue sky. We have blue sky a little bit but here. Yeah, but clouds moving fast. So I see the age of clouds over there. See. Mm -hmm. I love seeing the different tones in the blue between if you look at the the break there and the break over there there are completely different blues look can you see that blue versus the one near the horizon mm -hmm. that huge difference yeah is the camera stuck on me i'm putting it on you chris By the way, Chris is doing a, a whole bunch of admin. Chris is, uh, without Chris, the only people here would be people that I already have as contacts. Flat Earth Math. Um, uh, okay, so Flat Earth Math is saying that, um, yeah, that everything works out fine. <laughs> oh, it's a surprise. Did you factor in magnetic declination, Charles? Leslie, would you switch that computer off if you're not using it? Because it takes up some bandwidth. Antonio, yes. I think if people have shadow like me uh, around noon, solar noon, they still can put points, and we can put a line. At least it will be some measurements. Like I mean, let's say if I measure twelve o'clock and I measure two o'clock, and I connect those two dots, so it should be very close to true, right? Then we then we draw a perpendicular line from Norman to that line, and it should be short as shadow. Yes. This is what last time. Happen. Yeah, but uh, if I don't have, like, look, I don't have a dots to put. Like, I have three dots on here, and now I have shadow, and I almost hit my solar noon. One twenty-two, another two minutes, and it will be. Oh, actually, look, almost here. Aha! Thank you. All that we can see is your oh. stop. Good. Hey, hey, stay, stay, stay. Yes, I got it. Okay. Yes. Is stay how you say wait? Stoy it's like stop. Stop. In Russia. Okay. Yeah, stoy. Oh, another guy will join us. Uh, Pavel, Pavel from Khabarovsk. I tried to attach two people, but another guy, he moving. And he said he's really, really busy selling stuff, and he moving in one week away from uh, that peninsula. Remember, I told you. But another guy, far east of Russia, uh, Khabarovsk, he will participate. His That's name is Pavel, and he will be. So uh, between him and me, it's twelve hour difference. Uh -huh. um, so sorry, fourteen hours. Uh, fourteen hours. He's forward of me. Fourteen hours. So in eight hours, he will have solar noon. In eight hours, yeah. So it will be ten in the evening, 
and uh, I don't know how we how I connect to you like um, do you want to talk to him first or no because I'm go you can pass it what we will I will pass you the link and you can pass oh, another it. link yeah it will be another another file it will be another video not yeah. this one right yeah no this one will have closed in how many hours time are you saying okay. it's a it he will be in eight hours from me from my solar noon his solar noon will be in eight hours so if if let's say now one o'clock he will be in nine nine o'clock okay so uh yeah Wait. it will be a, a, a new hangout so it will be a new link mm -hmm. and i will pass it to you uh when we open the hangout i will pass it to you you can pass it to him and he can use it when he wants mm -hmm. yeah we already connected yesterday because he just installed Hangouts. He never have it. He uh -huh. has his account. I advise him to create avatar, so he will be recognizable. Okay. Because now it's only letter P on his. Uh, I said that many people can connect, and everybody have P, so nobody know you. So I said make your face at least some drawing of your face, something, something uh, your feature, particular feature of you. What symbol? Symbol, you know? Yeah, anything. I would recommend picture, so... Yeah. <clears throat> Does he speak English? Uh, I, I think he can, a, a little bit, but anyway, if I'll be there, I will ah, translate. Oh, you will be there? I, I hope so. I will not sleep 10, 10 p.m., no. Okay. So I'll be there at least at his solar noon. I'll be with you, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Oh, we've also got Sergey as well who can yeah. speak yeah. yeah yeah he can translate too yes so I was hoping two people but at least like people I really know trust them and uh, one is moving just I would I was told him one month before and he said yes we'll do and then his girlfriend called him from St. Petersburg and said so buy tickets and just fly now you know, sometimes girlfriends are crazy. I mean, I hope he doesn't hear me now, but <laughs> <laughs> he would, they he would certainly are. I mean, I tell them it takes two hours, but you know, like if you, when you move and, and this guy, I know him from like eight years old, right? I, I know it's some really, he's really busy. He would never reject. And, uh, you know, when you move and you pack your bags and you should put something outside and you just don't have a patience to do it you know mm -hmm. because you already moved when you're moving you already moved your brain is over there and point b are you still at point a move it this way or that way uh, oh uh, antonio do, do you know this guy but darren brown right yes i do it's great yeah i watched lots of video did you see did you see video how he makes people rob the bank yes yeah very interesting eh? uh-huh I mean, many of them try. They he's, give them plastic guns. But. He's fused. He's fused a few different techniques. He's obviously studied uh, psychology, misdirection, persuasion, um, hypnotism, and suggestion. And he's kind of fused a lot of different things into what he's done. He's perfected it. Yes. Mm -hmm. But he's a he's a good. He's on a good side. Let's say if he would be evil side, he would create lots of mass of destruction on this planet. You know, with this knowledge he has. And experience and money he has actually i'm thinking who financed this guy because you don't really see how he making money of it oh he making live shows right yes in great britain yes um uh, well, the, the tv shows are paid for by the tv oh, company, okay and the by the production yeah whoever's gonna uh produce it pays for it the bbc or channel four or whichever channel um whatever company then he does his shows. He also does art. He's a really good painter. He's oh, yeah? Good. Uh, yes, incredibly good at painting caricatures. And he explains that this is how he remembers faces. He just exaggerates everything and remembers the name that goes with the face. Um, like a caricature, you know? Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's awesome. He's incredibly good. He's, very, <laughs> he's just very good. Yeah, I see. Uh, did you see that uh, video when he make person uh, escape? Like, uh, he put himself in black dress and white short, and people doesn't see his head. His head, you headless, like you don't have head. And he convinced people that he doesn't have a head. 
yes. and everybody see and everybody see no head so i see people walking no head in it he also and then he take mm -hmm. he knows a lot about human nature he also co he convinced people that they could not see him even though he was sitting in front of them okay mm -hmm. he said to he they ju he spoke to people what he does is neuro linguistic programming mainly so he can explain to people's brains what's going to happen and the people's brains obey this these instructions like when you say to yourself you cannot find your car keys when you say i cannot find my car keys your brain says okay and mm -hmm. you cannot find your car keys um all kinds of or you you say mike the front of my car is smashed and your car your brain says yes i know what your car the front of your car being smashed is look this is how it looks you see so yeah. um he convinces them that they cannot see him uh and he stands up and he walks away and he comes back and he sits down in front of them and they behave like they can't see him and he opens a box and he gets a little puppet and he makes them and the people are looking at the puppet going like this looking for strings and and he's just holding it with his hands. He's, he's not dressed different or anything. Um, but he's also, he knows about human nature and the brain will ignore things that don't match a pattern. Okay, so he takes a wallet. He takes his wallet with lots of money. Oh, yeah, this is good. I saw. He puts it on the street, on the pavement, and he mm -hmm. draws a circle, circle. yellow. And nobody take it. Nobody take nobody it. Nobody yes, takes I... it. No, if there was no circle, they would take it. it. But because there's a circle there, the yeah. brain doesn't understand this pattern, so it, no. They very maybe understand the pattern that circle is a. If it's circle, it might be danger. Let's say if somebody circle, it's like a warning sign. No, don't cross the border, right? Something like that. It's just it's breaking the pattern. This is it. The human brains. Yeah. The reason globlings have such a huge problem. Globlings who look into the flat Earth. The reason they have a huge problem is that they don't see patterns. They cannot see patterns of the flat earth with the real world. They cannot see them. They see that they are spinning and this is why the sun goes across. You can say to them, but look, the gyroscope doesn't show this. Uh, nothing shows this. The, all the things show that this is not happening. Not all the things show that they cannot show it happening. Mm -hmm. All the things show that it is not happening. They are confirming it is not moving. It is not round. It is not turning. But they can't see patterns and it's fearful for humans so this is why all of the problems and all of the challenges mm -hmm. they don't maybe see people patterns. people probably have big self big sense of self-importance you should get rid of it let's say i always live and i think i'm nobody you know like not not literally like i don't think i'm nobody but this is why i never arguing with people you know for me it's difficult to argue let's say uh, especially at my work, it's crazy. Every, every actually, in my work, all people, it's like 560 people. Nobody believes us is flat. So they're all globalists, and I don't even raise my voice there because I I can be not killed, but I don't want to be a white bird and man black birds, right? So I just carry on. So they laugh at me. I said, yeah, okay, that's good, that's good. You're right. I said, you're right, you're right. You know, if somebody wanna fight me or said you you're wrong, I never arguing with the person. Yeah. And I think that. The less you argue, the more you're smart. Because uh, if you start arguing, you put uh, yourself in danger position. You you opposite something, maybe. Some, this, this is how people get killed in revolutions, right? I don't say they should go and support revolutions, but maybe you should stay home and don't open the goddamn door, you know? If they if they more of them, if they're hundreds of people, hundreds of thousands, and you belong, you cannot resist them. Mm -hmm. You can strike back if you gain power, or you. but some certain, let's say, Let's say I have many friends only because I never argue with them. I, I bring my point and I said one day you will understand, but I'm not going to argue with you. And, but those friends, they don't friends between each other anymore since my uh, university, right? But I know all of them and we communicate. So, so, so they all communicate with me, but they don't communicate with each other for some reason, you know? Huh. This in something tells me that I, I just try to be friendly. I never argue with them. Sometimes they have clashes, but yeah you know especially nowadays if i see people person wrong and if he my closest friend I, i'm not gonna win him because you know i feel bad i know if i'm i i close to truth and he's not but it's not his time he will understand it later yes and th th this is how people see that uh, ball and because it's you know 
like you like you said before in early Congress, you start with 9-11, like you start with smaller conspiracies like Boston Marathon and uh Sandy Hooks and you yeah, those kids alive, you know, it's crazy. I mean and those cosmonauts, seven people die in Challenger, right? They also some of them alive and they don't change names. Yes. So, and people said, no, it's just as accidentally they look the same and accidentally they have same freaking names. I said, hey, can you go accidentally buy lottery tickets and win and share a winning prize with me? What was the, how many was the team again? Was it eight? No, I think it was seven astronauts. Oh, eight, I, I don't remember, Chris. Maybe seven. Challenger, you mean? Yeah. Anyway, was... whether it was, let's just say it was eight. What is the likelihood of eight people that make it through to that level of, um, you know, uh, science or so to an astronaut, yeah, and then two of them having identical twins, <laughs> two lots of them, yeah, two of them, two yeah. of them, so, they yeah, cannot well, find them. Yeah, it's just it's so, and this is going back to Darren Brown. This doesn't have a pattern. When people go, oh no, uh, they can't think clearly because they don't have a pattern for thinking. First, they've never seen a, a thing explode with lots of people dying that was going to space, and this is what they saw, you know? And this yeah. is what I believe. So those people are dead. So these people who are alive, they cannot have been in there, and there were people there, and they're dead, and these people are not dead, so these are not those people. It's like, yes, or these people are the ones that you think were in there. Or your government lied to you and you think that these people are different people it's the same people that is really simple but they can't they can't see it they don't, they don't see it okay now you should have a shadow i just put my point i just put it one, all right cool one minute ago so i'm not i'm now gonna i'm hitting a solar noon my needle doesn't move so i'm gonna Make it uh, at least every five minutes or so. Every time I see sun, maybe I should yeah. do it now. Cool. Yeah, I think people should uh, remove that ego because it's ego struggle with them. Let's say, you know, about 9-11, they said, okay, the closest argument, the strongest argument I have, psychological argument, they said, hey, wait a second, you crazy mother, don't mm -hmm. you think our president can kill your own people? You know, and it's like, I thinking. Are you thinking you're really so important? You know, you're working for ten dollars an hour. You're thinking it's so really important, like, you know, because when you admit this, I'm not important. I'm just a small, tiny schmuck on the surface of this, uh, on the surface of our plane, plane, right? Yeah. Uh, then you understand. Yeah, you know, uh, lightning can strike me. Car can hit me. I mean, we're very, very unprotected. Really, we very can be easily removed from nature forces. You know, not even. Somebody on purposely can remove me, but a tree uh, branch could fall on your head and kill you one day walking in the park. It can happen. Yeah, it happens. You ab know, absolutely. Balcony and a plant drops. A plant pot drops. Yeah. yeah, it happens. Especially Sergei, if you're wearing, Sergei, especially Sergei. if you're wearing headphones. Yes, Sergey is. Oh, tra train hit you. Yeah, Sergey is high. You're muted, Sergey. Hello, this is Sergey. Hi to everyone. <laughs> How are you doing? Hey, Sergey. Just back Hello. from home, from work. Oh, you're back home, home now. Work. You are home now. Yeah. Yes, so you are free. Free. I can talk. I can do whatever I need. Really? Like a good. Like crazy Russian. <laughs> one day, hey, uh, Subjani, one day I'm going to go to Russia and have some food with Sergey. <laughs> really? Yeah, go ahead. One of my one of my uh, goals in life is to go to Russia. It has been for for a long time since Doctor Zivago, but also much later when I read Crime and Punishment. Um, oh I yeah, want to to Russia. I want to go to Russia uh, and I want to eat in Russia. You know, <laughs> I want to not not go there and not eat. You know, so want to have some borscht. Okay, what do they have? Borscht is that what the, is that one of their things? Uh, borscht is a soup. Yes, it's, a, yeah. it's like a soup with meat, cabbage, and uh, carrot and potato. Oh, that sounds good. I want some of that. Hey, yes. I gotta um, I gotta drop out for a while, you guys, because I got some stuff I gotta do around the house. And then um, when Candy gets here, we'll jump in. We'll jump back in with you guys if you want. That would be so cool seeing you both there together. <laughs> yeah. You should go and get the ball out. Hey, come on, John. 
Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. I haven't talked to him for a few days. Ah. Okay, so uh, yeah, go have fun. Okay, all right. Um, we'll be watching, or I'll be watching still. Yeah, right, but when, when when Candy comes in, come on, it'll be it'll be more fun for people. <laughs> all right. Hello. <laughs> How's it going, man? Oh, good. Here. How are you doing? Doing well. Cool. Cool. I'll be seeing you in November, I think. Yeah, looking forward to it. Nice. Maybe I can have a go on your bow. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah for sure. I'm not bringing bow, mine. I can't shoot bring some mine. Guns. Yeah, I got bows, got firearms, and beer. Yeah. Hey, you want to see mine? Mm -hmm. Give me one second. I just hijacked the uh, sun tracking channel. <laughs> it's okay. We got breaks between readings. Borscht. When they were, where he was describing what borscht is, it's like that Russian soup that's got like cabbage and carrots and potatoes and stuff. <laughs> Some people said it's Ukrainian borscht. Some people said Russian borscht. Especially now they like enemies. So now it's separated, <laughs> Ukrainian and Russian borscht. But before it was just a borscht. So oh. both both countries can do it. Well, I want to say there is not exact same taste of a borscht because water quality is different everywhere. And uh, oh, the way you cook it brings you different taste. So even if you have different ingredients, but you cook it different way as other people can do, the taste would be different. It's like a beard. Beer taste is different because of water qualities. Not only because how they brewed, like how beer was done, but beer taste only primary because of water quality. The cleaner water, better beer. That's it. I'm not really a beer drinker right now, but I uh, was traveling uh, not around Russia, but I was many places, like 12, 16 different places in Russia, from Paris to uh, West, and beer is different. Uh, some areas they have salty water in a, in a just by stop, I mean, sorry, a crane, when you open in the kitchen, it, it should be like, Tap water. but it's salt. I feel salt in it. And they said, no, it's filtered. It's good, man. People who live there, they don't feel it. They don't feel it salty. But I was almost vomiting every day, you know. So, so. I have my browning. Wow, what is this? Nice. Oh, that's cool. This thing. Oh, Very you're gonna, nice. That's awesome. going to destroy Looks it's, good. Uh, it's, it's when you when you pulled it to about here, from here to here, it's so easy to hold. Yeah. You know, um, when when people <laughs> I said, hey, can I pull it? You know, I've, obviously I've lost a couple of arrows, but um, I tell them before you do, you need to pull it. So pull it. I'll show you. Pull it. Hold and then let it go, but without letting go of the string, so that you know. Okay, so when it comes to here, it pulls really tight, you know. So uh, I love it. I love it. <clears throat> You're going to destroy the dome, right? I know why you buy it. Yeah, <laughs> I've had it for years. Yeah, we have a big old target you can shoot out from like 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 yards if you want. Yeah, the target is uh, 54 inches in diameter. Oh, nice. Cool. Big, big square. So you got a large uh, margin for error. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yes. Uh, yeah, cool. I won't be bringing it with me, though, because I don't want big problems. What no, you doing? we have a couple. Yeah, I've, got, I've got a couple bows here. And like I say, I've got some firearms. You can go uh, try out a couple of the rifles or whatever, pistols. I'm really looking forward to it. I am really looking forward to it. Awesome. Yeah, cool. I'm looking forward to, to shooting the bow more. I mean, I want the experience of the guns, but I'm not looking forward to that as much as, you know, chilling and just watching, yeah. you know. That's it's fun. It yeah, I, probably, so, I probably enjoy shooting my bow more than I, I like shooting the uh, firearms, but. Yeah, it's just it's just so different, isn't it? Well, it's, you know, uh, it's more, uh, especially even when you're hunting, it's more, it's quiet and you know yeah it's more reverent yeah you're not disturbing yeah. everything within a five mile radius just that one thing that you're looking yeah. at yeah 
course, uh, you saw the video with uh, Karen's, you know, the globe is dead. I made that, that gun's pretty quiet. Yeah, that, yeah, one that was such pretty... a cool video. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, so I wrote in the thing, what's, what film is that tune from? No. Oh, I, I answered you, that's from Kill Bill. Oh, of course. I didn't see, oh man, I've got so many notifications that I haven't kept up with. Kill Bill. Yeah. Of course. Okay. Yeah, that was so cool. Uh, hmm. okay, I'm sorry just, for interruption, you guys. Uh, the, the panel is full. <laughs> I'm sorry for interruption. The panel is full, and I have to uh, drop now. Uh, okay, one second. Um, oh, you, okay. Oh, he's gone. He gone. He gone. <laughs> um, but he's gonna. This is a cool thing because he's home now. Okay, and for the rest of the night, he's home, and he's gonna be able to tell us where the sun is all awesome. through the night. Because he's at 68 degrees north. That's so cool. Oh, that's right. So, sorry, I have a small question. I, I rotate my phone now. So is it, when I do like this, you see inverted video or not? Is no. it inverted? No, we see Good? it uh, wider, yes. Oh, what about this? Is it inverted now? Uh, no, same. Wait. Oh, okay, my phone turned it. I see, I see. That's fine. So it doesn't matter how to hold it, no. right? Not really. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. I should be more... Hey, smart. now you know. This is how you check. Candy's now it's not pink anymore. What color is it? I don't know. I guess we'll see when she gets here. That's it. Well, Candy's hair. It? Yeah, she says it's not pink anymore. Good Lord. Can you imagine if she arrived with normal colored hair? You'd be like, you're not coming here. Where's your sister? <laughs> I'll be like, you're not Candy. Yes. Yeah, I'll tell you what happened with my neighbor. So I have a neighbor, a young woman next door. And I'm driving to collect my girls from school, and, um, and I see her walking. It's raining a little bit, so I stop and say, do you want to lift? This is... Oh, okay. So she gets in on a drive, and I've only spoken to her once. And as I'm driving, uh, not making much chit-chat, it's only a two-minute journey. I think, shit, this is not my neighbour. <laughs> this is just some random person <laughs> that I picked up. <laughs> so I drop her off. And I come back and I knock on the door and my neighbor opens the door. And the neighbor that I picked up is my neighbor's sister. So I first saw my neighbor's sister, then spoke to the neighbor that I gave a lift to, then totally forgot she changed her hair color. Then I see her, I give her a lift. It was my neighbor <laughs> in the car. So wait. So now her sister lives next door. She's not actually my neighbor. So it's her, my neighbor's sister. She's sitting in, in the car and I'm thinking, I've just picked up some dumb woman has just got into the car with me. Just for me said, do you want a lift? So yeah, that was weird. Very <laughs> weird. And all of it, cause she's changed the hair color. So I go and knock on to make sure that it was her that I picked up and her sister answers the door. And for a second I'm thinking, oh shit, it really was a stranger. And <laughs> I said to her, do you have a sister? And she says, yeah. Uh, and her sister was home. She's like, oh, okay. Just one of those very weird, strange, madly uncomfortable things. I know. With somebody that you think is just a complete random stranger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think if Candy shows up and she doesn't have pink hair, I'm going to think her pink hair was just CGI the whole time. Uh, do you know what? I think it was. <laughs> I know. <laughs> It's a hoax. All of it. I'm fe in fact, I think she's CGI. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll yeah. talk with you guys later. All right. Have yeah, a good one. Get to work. All right. We'll take care. Take care. You. All right. See you. See you later. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and drop. So uncomfortable. I'll be back on a little bit later also. I got stuff I got to get done. Yes, Sergey, uh, it is not just perspective. Sorry, I hear you, um, but... Uh, Jeremiah. Yes, Jeremiah. Uh, no, I'm talking to Sergey in the chat. Uh, oh, first, let's give you a wrench. Um, so, Sergey, uh, we cannot ignore perspective because perspective is, we know, is a real uh, phenomenon. But we cannot attribute everything to perspective. You see, a plane going across the sky will describe an arc 
And we know this plane is flying at constant altitude. We know this. We know it's a constant altitude and it describes an arc. It's at the horizon, then it's higher from the horizon, and then it's at the horizon again. We know this. We have experience of this. So we say a thing in the sky moving would describe an arc. Then we look at the sun and we say, ah, thing in the sky moving, it describes an arc. And we think for flat earthers, it's at a constant height from the ground doing this, and we can testify to this because planes do this too. Okay, right. A rainbow has an arc, and it doesn't really move, okay, but it has an arc. It does not have an arc because perspective, it doesn't say that's further away and that, and this is closer, and this is why it has this shape. Now, if a rainbow moved across our sky, how would we see it? We think perspective would show us first the top of the rainbow. This is what we think. Perspective will show us first the top of the rainbow. The rainbow is not a physical thing, the top of which we would see due to perspective. We would see the point that was closest to us and it would move across the sky. And if there's something having a reaction on this uh, rainbow, like the sun, for instance, it would climb up as it moves across. It would climb up this arc. It would have a stall where it would get no further, no closer, and then it would continue to go down. And this is what we see. Then when you see what Cosmic Surfer and Z Proxy and Brian Burton have been looking at, that's exactly what we're seeing. Oof, that was a bit of a rant. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, we lost um, Jeremiah because he did he did say he had things to do. If you're still listening, thank you very much for your, your input, your participation, and patience. Yes, absolutely. Yes, uh, Cosmic Surface saying, please, people, get VR headsets and 360 cameras and see for yourself. Or oh, just get yourself a VR headset and watch the videos that he is, Stan Smith, and Z Proxy have been making, and you will see. So we cannot pretend that perspective doesn't have any uh, validity. But we can't uh, expect perspective to follow the same rules when looking at a rainbow, any rainbow, not this magical rainbow that I'm describing, which is a thing to do with the sun, you know, that the sun might reflect on or might interact with or, or who knows. A rainbow doesn't follow the rules of perspective. No rainbow follows the rules of perspective because rules of perspective says from this vantage point this and from that vantage over there something that triangulates to this one and that doesn't happen with rainbows and rainbows are in the sky usually and you know nope. also the theory of rainbows 42 degrees from the sun nonsense not true as in a rainbow directly over over my head when the sun was in a location at which it, this 42 degrees, no. Anyway, they haven't, uh, they've created rainbows with a prism, um, and then they've created rainbows with misty water, and they said it's the same thing. Well, then they should be able to create a whole bunch of tiny little prisms and create a rainbow. It's just, it's a, it's a phenomenon. Not well understood. Flat Earth Math is saying that Cosmic Surfer Lights sounds like the guy in They Live. We're all the guy in They Live. Just some of us have put, taken off or put on the glasses and some haven't. Yes. Hello, Candy. How are you? I just wanted to say I'm not CGI, okay? Yeah, that's <laughs> exactly what my character would say. Yeah. yeah, exactly. How predictable. I, I can see the green screen <laughs> action behind your head. Yeah, me too. <laughs> How are you doing? Totally different, huh? Uh -huh. So weird. Nice. I have to get a job, and I couldn't get a job with pink hair. Yeah. Right, so purple hair is okay. <laughs> but, no, okay, it was the only thing that I could change it to that would work. Uh, that much different, but I had to go darker. I had to go over it. I've had the same problem myself. 
<laughs> yeah, me hey, too. Hey, you know, if you read 1984, um, it tells you in 1984 <laughs> that there's a certain group of women who color their hair that color, who distinguish themselves by their hair color. Yeah, they're the most fascist uh, women. What? I've never seen the movie or read the book. I really need to. Uh, I, 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 yeah, you do. They wear sashes. To... It's, it, it's quite interesting what the flat earth comment is in the 1984 too. It's... Yes, we can make the stars be closer to us. We can, yeah. we can do whatever it is we want. Basically, yeah. we can do what we want because we're the propaganda people. Yes. Yeah. Hey, Carlos. Hello. Hey. Okay, it so almost solar moon here. Almost solar moon. <clears throat> you can hear me. I'm yeah. gonna drop. Okay, Candy. We'll see you later. Okay. Yeah. See. Chris. I don't know. I can't even turn my phone off. It won't let me do anything. Chris, will you control the screens while I pull up things uh, elsewhere? Absolutely. Will you swing back and forth? There's, um, aha, Sub Johnny. So, Sub Johnny, you're muted. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Where, yes, where is right your, here. Where is, okay, where is your son now? So it's going out to wherever. Shades getting longer. So. I, my solar moon was 132, I believe. Okay. Oh, it's going. But where is it in the azimuth, the shadow? Because we have one right now. Uh, I show you. I show. I show you. Did you see? Sorry, sorry. Just no. No. I just have a sun right now. No. You see it now? The. Uh, you see me or you see? Well, I see your hand. I see it. Yes. Yeah, yes. Uh -huh. Okay. See now? Yes. Okay. So where is my pen? It's a north magnetic north, by the way. Yes. So. Yeah. Okay, this north, this is the shadow. So where, see this? Where, is the, where is it on the azimuth? I want to see the up, the other side. Oh, 30 degrees. 30, 25, I believe. 25 degrees from north. Okay. See, I begin. Look, it's, it's just crazy weather. Look. Okay, I cannot. I, I do my best, but sometimes it shows every minute for five seconds, and it's escaped for 15 minutes, you know? Yeah, yes, but well, listen, sub, sub Johnny, right now, hmm? We have somebody in the south of North America. Uh, wait, uh, where you are, yeah, Carlos? I'm on oh, Chicago, no, the north. Yes, yeah, sorry, you're in the north, in uh, north Illinois. Illinois. Yes. Okay, okay. so we have uh, Carlos in Illinois and you in Canada. Mm -hmm. Okay, so where are you in Canada? Mount Forest. So north from Toronto, 500 kilometers. Okay, so I'm going to pull it up. He should have same readings, uh, almost same readings. He has just shorter shadow, but should be almost same angle. It's not at, he, all, at all. If he is in Chicago, he's just below me. Yeah, this is what I'm telling you. It's not. Uh, you have to go back and, and look at the thing, uh, at the video. Who's calling? No, you haven't dropped. Sorry, I'm no sun. Okay. So my my azimuth at uh, twelve fifty seven was one hundred and eighty degrees. Okay. Okay. So so. Uh, did you hear that? So Johnny. Yeah. So he wanna say his shadow drops south. Yes. My shadow is pointing north, but yeah, the azimuth was 180 degrees. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The shadow pointing north just shorter than I have. Well, I don't understand how it's 180 degrees. So I should, I should see degree and opposite of a shadow, not the same direction there is shadow. Let's say, look, my shadow is approximate. I don't have sun, but let's say my shadow is right now, it's over here. So what my measurements will be? So it's a 0, 10, 20, then close the 30. This is how shadow. So what my azimuth will be? Opposite of 30 or? It okay, will be the opposite. Your, your, according to sun clock, your azimuth right now should be about 200.30. Oh. Okay, okay. So, so I'm trying to pull you up on sun clock. Okay. 
Um, no way, no way. Yes, listen, Gandalf's shadow is pointing directly north right now. And your shadow is pointing 37 degrees away from north. Yeah, because this time I put it, but it might be pointed on a polar star right now. I don't know. But this time no, I put it. You, I, magnetic north. Where, where did you yeah. line up your north? Yeah, magnetic north. Yeah. Now, now, yes. And you are, I'm going to pull up where you are. And I'm going to make a small video for this. Um, so because yeah. now it's my exact parallel to my house wall because I measure with my compass yesterday and my house exactly pointing north. So magnetic north. Okay. Okay. And what time you say where you are? What city? Yes, closer city. Um, close to yeah again. So you should you should check Toronto I've, then. I've got uh, Mount Forest on Sun Calc. Right. 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 Yeah, Mount Forest, Ontario, my city. I'm yep. right in the center. Got it. Yeah, okay. I, I have it. I should have, I should have been give you coordinates. Oh, we got the probably, coordinates here. Probably Wikipedia tell coordinates of Mount Forest. Oh, yeah, we got the coordinates here them. for you. We have them. Mm -hmm. You're at 43 degrees north, 80 west. Yeah, you see, I don't have consistent sun, so it's crazy, it's difficult to... I can put dots, but they're not consistent. I can see the line, yeah. but it's not something I want to, like I have last time. Last time was better. So, for Flat Earth Math, Flat Earth Math, Charles, if you would like to pull up any map and plot those lines right now, um, take a surprise, because they're diverging. Sorry. Antonio, also my nail is different this time. It's 75 millimeters, okay? Okay. Seven and a half centimeters, just to let you know. Okay. So my shadow is approximately the same length as last time, even shorter. If I would use five centimeters nail, would be I can do really see anything. It would be like centimeter shadow. Yeah, yeah. This is, this is a... Uh, this is for comparison, okay? This is five centimeter nail. Where's, uh, where's Norman? Norman? Wait a second. How long is your shadow? Very short. Yeah, yeah because I have sun almost above my not above my head, but so you're very short. Than... Okay, how long? How long? I measure. Give me one second. Okay. It's more than three centimeters anyway. So you're closer to the Tropic of Cancer than the globe says you are. I don't know. Yes. Actually, Chicago should be closer. Yeah, where's Chicago? Is David, should be is David in Chicago? Yes, it's in Illinois. Uh, uh, Carlos, yes. Okay. So, uh, Carlos, can you measure the length of your shadow when it reached um, solid? Well, no. Yes. Um, pull him up on Sun Calc. It is now 102, and it is roughly. Sixteen and a half millimeters, around there. From a five centimeter gnomon. Yes. Did you write that down? Sixteen millimeters. Yeah, he, uh, should, he should have a very very short shadow. Yes, yeah, sixteen millimeters. Okay, I have twenty eight millimeters from um, shadow. From seven. seven and a half, seven and a half, seven and a half centimeter Norman, Norman, and I have two point eighty three centimeters shadow, shortest one, as far as I see for now. Maybe I need to remove that nail in order to point exactly in the center, right? I cannot do it now because you see, how can I put? So, so Johnny, say again, how long was your shadow? Okay, as far as I can approach to the to the. Screw head. I can only approach to the edge of that head, not to the center. It, you can do it from the side. Two point. Okay. Two point. Two point eight. Okay. So twenty-eight millimeter. Okay. It's the shortest. Two point eighty-three. I would say. I have electronic micrometer, but my dots can be not perfect. So, I would say two point eight. So, um, so Johnny, where's the nearest town to where you are, please? Like I. He's, he's right in the town. center of Mount Forest. 
Mount Forest. The place Mount Forest. Mount Forest, Ontario. It comes right up on Sun Calc if you just yeah. tell to type it in. I, 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 I write in the center, maybe 500 meters from main intersection, my house. Right. Okay, your nomen is 7.5 mil, okay? Mm, 7.5 centimeters, 75 mil. Yeah, which means that you're showing a length that's one third longer than mm -hmm. five centimeters. Uh -huh. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. So your shadow is how long? 2.8 2 centimeters. 2.8. 2.83, I would say. Okay. Now it's definitely growing. I can see. I, I just put it as a dot. If your so, nomen, if your nomen was five centimeters, it would be two, not two point eight. Yeah. Uh, I can even check now. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I just did the. Uh, yeah. If you just calculate proportions. Yeah. Yes. Now it's not not as long as shadows uh, anyway. It shows 1.9 now, but because it's longer, so yeah, it would be it would be like three times less, right? So it would be 1.7 maybe. Mhm. Mm 1.6. So seven and a half. I have 2.8. It's approximately two times, three times less, but not quite. So I just don't like my son today. It doesn't let me measure very good. Well, you can't have perfect sun every day. Uh huh. <laughs> hey, hey, Antonio. Yeah. Uh, I, I I reached my uh, yeah. solar noon at about fifty-five. Uh, about five minutes ago. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I was no, ten minutes ago. Waiting for a uh, clear time to talk to this. About uh, four, four. Okay. Okay. So, so we don't need solar noon from the past. We need simultaneous readings. Okay. So if you show us your reading right now. Yep. I just took this. Yeah. And you are, you are uh, at 12. Okay, so this is pointing at 10 degrees, looks like to me, maybe 11 degrees. That's right here. Um, and again, you are in... Um, uh, Chicago, Illinois. Foley, Alabama. No, where are you, David? Foley, Alabama. Foley, Alabama. So, Foley, Alabama. Okay. Yeah. Uh, right. Let's pull Foley, Alabama. Okay, we got it in. This is gonna be interesting. Yeah. Um. His azimuth is two hundred and three point five seven degrees. So Sergey, uh, go to suncalc dot org. And check what we're looking at now, um, and you will see that um, the sun is not in one place in the sky right now. We're confirming it right now. Antonio, yes. Look, I I sit in front of my roof. I mean, below my if straw, right vertical, and you see sun almost vertical above me. Not almost, but it's very, very high, though. Uh, I'm just looking at, um, I'm pulling something up. And so. So, Sergey and Flat Earth Math, please go to suncad.org and watch the sun. Um, the angle to the sun, splay. 
between these three places. So the orientation to the sun is flayed. And on the globe, it should be more acute than on the, on the, um, wait. Uh, no, on the globe, they should all be pointing to the, in the same direction in, in space. And they're not at all. Even on the flat earth, they're not pointing. No. You know, and the no, then can be, Antonio, I, I, I blame a compass. You know, even, look, I bought my compass a couple of days ago, right? I go around house, even if there is no metal, it's, it's only if you are outside the house, outside all metal wires, maybe 10 meters away from everything, right? Electrical, metal, and it shows probably true. But everything close to it, let's say I have a jumping trampoline. If I, even one foot from jumping trampoline, it shows the arrow try to attract to the metal of this trampoline. In the house, wiring and wall, so it's so affected by electromagnetic fields. Even, even regular scissors can affect you. Yes, Maybe some this people. Is this is the thing, uh, Sergey. You, uh, sorry, uh, Sub Johnny. You can be walking in a field with your compass, mm -hmm. and it will also show different things. Okay, so you will say to your brain, there has to be metal underneath the ground somewhere. Maybe, yeah. well, maybe the metal is part of how the magnetism is pulling itself. Maybe. But this is this is very bad because we cannot. Ad we cannot, using a compass, even expensive one, we cannot exactly find the north. Maybe, maybe we should go optical north, then our reading would be perfect and sun will be triangulated. Maybe the reason we cannot triangulate the, the sun, sun because of compass. Not, the sun will not triangulate. Yeah, but look, people have different readings, different compasses. They, they maybe make mistakes, I, I, I assume in the magnetic north. Yes, but even if we take uh, optical north, like say we imagine one column, that goes mm -hmm. from Polaris down to the north, okay? Yeah. Even uh -huh. if you do this, it will not triangulate. The sun will not triangulate. But it, did we did it? We, it, did it we will, did it? It would be even worse if we did this. It would open even more. Mm. Because the triangulation says, uh, the compass triangulation says this, look, okay? Here's mm -hmm. magnetic north, it says this, okay? Mm -hmm. So this. If we find a, the geographic north, these places have to point to the, in the same direction to the sun. And they will splay more. This is what would happen. Wait until you mm -hmm. see what we put together. Yeah. You, you'll see. The sun is not one thing in the sky going over the flat earth. If it was one thing in the sky going over the flat earth, then the shape of the earth would be the, exactly the same as the... Um, azimuthal equidistant projections mm -hmm. and that is not the shape of the earth that we're in South America is not bigger than North America Australia is not bigger uh, than North America you know yes so it's not one thing in the sky going round I'm Antonio yes I've got to go now because my battery is running low again. But, okay. Um, okay. My solar noon was at 12.55 and the shadow was 16 millimeters long. Okay, cool. Well, listen, the readings that you've just given us that we could see and we could correlate with um, uh, Foley and with uh, Ontario, it's really good. It's really interesting. You know, because you know? you're, you're, all three of you are pointing, you're, you're splaying. You're looking this way, you're looking this way to the sun. That guy's looking that way, and that guy's looking that way. That's what's happening. So, Carlos, thank you very much, man. Hello. Yeah. Thank oh, you very much. All right, thank you. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you. Thank you very much, Carlos. Right, have a good one. Sergei. Would you correlate this data with, with my readings as well? Okay, so uh, before you go, Carlos, uh, show us your thing. Yeah. So which, which direction is it pointing now? It's pointing um, north and it's at... Uh, let's see. 
maybe 18 degrees. Okay, place it so that the shadow, yeah. So the shadow is halfway, so that the edge of the ruler is halfway along the shadow. So halfway into the shadow. Please. Okay. And please move your phone slightly to your left. We don't see. Move your phone. Yeah. Ah, brilliant. Okay, yeah. 18. Yeah. Okay, so 18 and Sergey. Sergey. Yes, I'm here. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes. So, where is your sun pointing? The direction to your sun? This is... If we believe my compass, this is come my compass. Can you see it? Yes. So I'm uh, moving the camera uh, away so we could see the compass. And, and the shadow. Okay. So what is the... Uh, Wait a minute, show me your compass again. Uh, okay, so... So uh, the sun must be somewhere... Southeast. South... Uh, east, east, south, east. So on the um, sundial, what is the degrees? Uh, ninety, about ninety-six, ninety-eight, something like this. Do you think? Let's check it like that. My my shadows. Is it visible? To, oh, sorry, go yeah. ahead. Is it visible? Yes. yes, but you have to tell us the degrees. The okay. number. The, degree, the degrees of the shadow azimuth. Uh, azimuth. Of the shadow, right? No, the, the azimuth, the direction to the sun, what degrees? Okay, hold on. Uh-huh. That's gonna be something like uh, the, my gnomon is metal. Uh huh. That's why I cannot bring it too close. So, what we have here. That's 180. That's. 110, maybe 110. Where, where's your location, Sergey? Murmansk. Murmansk, okay. And the time now is, you know, two hours ahead of uh, UK time. Okay, but listen, Sergey. The sun is 110 degrees um, east southeast. East, southeast. Yes, closer to east rather than the, to the south. Not east, northeast. No, no. Okay. That's um. This is the opposite direction, Sergey. Yeah, he's pointing. His shadows pointing. Yes, south. that shadows. Shadows. Uh, uh, you can just calculate that. It's too difficult for me. Okay, so the shadow okay. is pointing south. Yes. Well, it's pointing to south, southeast. The shadow south is pointing. East. Ah, okay. So the yes, the shadow is pointing south. So the sun is northwest. According to Sun Calc, the sun is and at three hundred and eleven. Yeah, that would be 
makes sense, yeah. How's Carlos's battery getting on? Is his battery nearly dead? I think he's gone. We got the reading though, so that's okay. So, uh, a hundred and where? The... How much did you say? Uh, Three hundred and thirteen. Uh, yeah, it's uh. Oh, okay, and some calc is saying it's 311 right now. Well, 312, 311. basically. Okay, 311. What we have here. No, we don't have, definitely, we don't have uh, 311. Uh, it, if I make the parallel line of this shadow like that, that's gonna be 300, 305. Yeah, 305, so 110, 305, right? Yeah, 110 was roughly taken, 305 is more precise. Uh, one moment, parallel line, yeah. Chris, would you pull up that compass you had earlier, please? Sergey, yeah. How you put dots? Because your shadow is over the board. I don't put dots. I don't care about that. Oh yeah, you don't have solar noon yet. You're right. But still interesting to see. Where is your shadow? Where is your shadow edge? It's like three meters from the center of Norman. The edge of it is gonna be somewhere on that stone, but in the grass. Maybe in the grass. Uh, the sun's elevation is maybe 15, 10, 15. Okay. Maybe you will have the dodo instead of Kakro. <laughs> okay. I'll drop now. Come back to you in, in the flat. Thank you, Sergey. Yes, thank you. Thank you. His shadow is so long. Mm -hmm. oh, we're measure not, getting, than not getting shadow envy again, are we? <laughs> uh, I think 310. 310. Uh, at the same time as. Uh, What time is it right now? Nineteen twenty two. Killing some goblins. I hope people at home are pulling up uh, SunCalc and checking these things on SunCalc too. Well, I'm showing it live on my channel and every time we do something, I put SunCalc right on the channel at the same time we're doing it, so. Uh, excellent. So between what's going on with your live feed and what I'm doing on my live feed, 
we'll be able to collect all, all of it together. Yes. So he's two hours ahead of us, and we are 1724. So. What was this asimuth, guys? It was 311 at the time of the reading. Okay. So According not... to Sunkelt, but he, he was saying it was 305. Uh, according to my Sunkelt, and it's set to the correct year, um, it's 285. Yeah, it might be that now. That... No, no, no. Because that's it... further back in time. Uh, so it was, right. what was it according to him? According to him, he was 305. Yeah. So, uh, from, from Murmansk, the sun, for anybody who wants to visualize it, uh, so a straight line from the sun, from Murmansk to the sun, we'll be going over the uh, northeastern region of uh, Greenland and reaching over towards uh, the Americas on a flat earth. So if, uh, if any of you guys watching want to understand what we're trying to get at, please pull up suncal.org and plot things as they're presented so that you can see what I mean by the lines are, um, diverging, not converging. Am they're, I, uh... not, they're not parallel and they don't make any sense whatsoever on a globe. And they also don't make any sense whatsoever on a flat earth map with a singular sun up there. But what we're doing is we're studying the sun. We can, we can uh, enter into um, small arguments about magnetic declination, which would shift things very, very slightly. Not enough to make them uh, converge. Absolutely not enough to make them converge. Sorry, Mike, you were going to say. Yeah, I was just going to say... Am I wrong in thinking that when you've got the shadow pointing, all you're going to do is take it 180 degrees from that shadow yeah. to get the azimuth? Yeah, you're not wrong. That's exactly so, what So saying. when he said that he was, um, he calculated at 110 degrees, and if you just go the 180, it should actually physically be at 290. Right, so that would be 290 if it's 110. Um, so let's see. Go back to my mask on this. Um, How was that? How was that? Hey, hey, uh, Sergey. Uh, you said it was a hundred and ten on the compass, yeah. That was rough estimation uh, of the shadow direction. Okay. But uh, later on, I have used the stick to make it parallel to the shadow and uh, put it in the center of the compass. And then I got about three or five. Three or five? Three or five. Yeah. yeah. Right. OK. So this is uh, uh, it's good. good. Antonio. Yes. Look, when people measure shade distance, we also make mistake here by a couple mils. Because mm -hmm. look, when Norman is vertical, okay, on a Dr. Zak protractor, look. So you can measure shade from the center of the Zak protractor, but not from the edge of a nail. Or you, basically, I should pinpoint over here, you know. See that? Let's say only right shadow can be measured when you remove the nail from the sheet of paper and you and you point your first point a in right in the center of Zach protractor 
uh-huh. right? Because if you measure, so basically what I want to say, when normal in is, is when normal is in place, you cannot properly measure shadow. You can. Look. How? Okay, look. Can you look in your screen? Uh, Just, yes, I'm looking. I'm looking. Chris, would you present me? Please. My opinion, it should be measured from center of a drawing of Dr. Zak protractor. Yes. From this exact center. Yes. But if you have Normans there, how you can measure it exactly? This, this is how. Okay. This is the Norman. We're looking down. This is the hole. This is where the Norman is standing. You see? This. No, I see the sun. I see the somebody's icon as the sun. What? You're not seeing me? No, I don't see you frozen. Your image is frozen. Maybe I should sit down on my computer. Yes, go. Or maybe I should go, back home. Go, go to your yeah. computer and drop. I'll be back. Phone. Yeah. I'll be back. I'll be back. Thank you. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. So, this is what's happening. What Sub Johnny is referring to. If we we're gonna say here's the shadow going south. This is the center of the shadow. Okay. The shadow would obviously be the width of whatever this is tapering to a point. But this is the center of the shadow. And it's saying, which is correct, that we should be measuring from the center of the gnomon, which would be this region, there, right there. This is where we should be measuring from, which is correct. And he's saying the only way to demonstrate this is to remove the gnomon and go to the actual center. Like, you don't need to remove the gnomon. You can take the edge you can make a line you can place your ruler on the very side as long as it follows the same line as the shadow so let's say the shadow is here okay measure this distance and measure this distance and then do the same on the other side and make sure that you've arrived at something that is correct. Ah, there you are, Sub Johnny. Can you hear? You're you're muted. Mm-hmm. I can hear. Okay, so you have measure the distance, make a square. Okay, so can you see here? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, this the thin one. The other one. My assistant is drawing the blinds. Okay. Um, would you? Yes, thank you. Okay, let me see. Right. Yeah. Make this for yourself. A box. This is the, the width, the diameter of the gnomon. Mm-hmm. Okay. Make a box where the end of the box is at the end of the shadow. The place you want to mark, measure is this point, okay? Mm -hmm. Make a box where the width, the dimension here, let's say it's five for a random number, is the same as the dimension here, five, okay? Now, measure the width here, which will be the same as this way, and find the halfway point. This is the middle. Underneath the gnomon, this is the middle. So you're now going to measure this distance from here to the halfway point. Did that make sense? Why halfway point? It's shadow, let's say shadow finish over there, like, like you should measure four ways. This here, I'm saying halfway point, as in this center. Halfway between the two sides. Uh-huh. Yeah? Your your uh, shadow could be a point like this. Let's imagine it's a point like this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Uh-huh. Um, so, you measure to the end. You So, you have a mark mm-hmm. here. You place a line across that takes the halfway across this box. Mm-hmm. So, here. This is the point you want to measure. This is the distance you want to measure. So you measure from here, from halfway, the center of the gnomon. Okay, I understand. So basically you said you draw parallel lines and you measure between those lines. Yes. Because you cannot 
stick the first measurement point into the middle of a normal because it's yes, because mechanically impossible. Yes, I, I, did, I, I did almost like you said, like I, I, yeah. I did like you said. But what you're saying is right. If people think that you can just do this, measure, put the ruler here, okay? Mm -hmm. A measure, and this says uh, six. And, and minus radius of Norman. Yes, then you said so. Guys, this is obvious. Uh, people are not stupid. They know how to measure it, yo. Yes, no, 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 no. Some people are, Sergey. Not stupid, but people cannot assume what where shadow starts. It starts in the middle of Dr. Zach protractor. Yes. Okay. This is yes. where shadow starts. Yes. So the best idea is rip away the Norman by end of measurements, take it away yes. and, and pinpoint from middle point of the drawing. If you Norman or glue it in the middle, of course. I hope people glue it in the middle and not like somewhere. I mean, Yes. I mean, if you do your job very good, if you're good at your work, you're probably good at measurements, you know? Antonio, look at the file I've sent in the Skype to you. Let's see. This is what I think would happen if you put uh, the rainbows, if you can move the rainbow out of you. Okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, 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 very interesting. So, uh, Sergey. Yeah, it's very interesting because we never experienced that. Mm -hmm. Yes, but this would be a we we experience rainbows of different sizes. Yes. No. The same size as the rainbow. No, no. We see rainbows sometimes they're very small and sometimes they're very big. Yeah, the, the size of the rainbow doesn't depend on, uh, you know, it's not a fixed. Of course, it depends on uh, the condition of atmosphere and so on. It can be bigger and yeah. can be uh, smaller. But yes, and we, we, can no, we cannot estimate the distance to it. Exactly. But, I mean, there. as an example, if the distance would be fixed, you know, uh, and we put the same rainbow out of our eye, uh, per view perspective, perspectively, then we would see this picture. Yes, but we do not see this picture. Because the rainbow is not fixed. Yeah, because it doesn't happen that uh, like that. <laughs> no, oh, uh, the way, you, if you... If you make all the rainbows, the, the picture that you show me, if you draw a black line at the bottom of the big rainbow and you make all the other rainbows fit, also reaching that line, we we'll call that line the horizon. This is how rainbows work. Also, if you walk, if you go to 180 degrees of that rainbow, if you move across, that person that's gone to the other side of that rainbow won't see it. Yeah. So let me, let me draw it here. You only see it from where okay. the observer sees it from at that point. Sergey, can you see behind me my board? Yes, I can see it. Okay, so here is one rainbow. Okay, and here is another rainbow. And here is another rainbow. This is how rainbows happen. And you can have rainbows Eventually, you can have a rainbow that is separate from the horizon, but it will be a circle. And it will be only above your head. You will not see it like this in the sky above the horizon. You will just not see it. But it, over your head, you will see a circle rainbow. Uh, I think Tesla's apple should join. But this is what I'm saying, Sergey. This happens with the rainbows, and these are not different colors. These are all different rainbows, what I'm drawing, okay? I'm not drawing one rainbow, saying this is one rainbow with all the colors, and this and this and this. This is how they happen. 
We cannot triangulate them. This is how it happens. They don't have a distance from you. So they don't have a distance from somebody else. But we don't need we don't need to triangulate them because this happens on um, you know on a set a certain layer of atmospheric conditions. I mean, uh, if we put the uh, plane vertical plane uh, crossing the atmosphere vertically, right? And we we'll look at that plane uh, at uh, some certain um, uh, at some circum circumstances of the weather uh, conditions. Uh, we will have a rainbow, rainbow uh, alone with that plane, vertical plane, right? And uh, at, at the some at some uh, uh, different uh, uh, weather circumstances, we can see the smaller one or the bigger one. But where it is in in a distance, we don't know uh, uh, because of we don't feel the perspective uh, in respect of that. It's because it's not there. This is why we don't, we, it's not actually there in space. It exists only if, as a phenomenon that we experience. It's a light phenomenon. There's nothing, remember, there's no point in the atmosphere. Okay. There's no point where there's no rainbow, no rainbow, no rainbow. Now there's rainbow. Remember the guy shooting into the water from AK-47 and causing the rainbow, uh, the the splashes of, of water were causing the rainbow. The other guy was spraying water on his uh, background on, on the grass, and uh, there was a rainbow again, small, small, very small rainbow close to him, and he can estimate where it is exactly where it is. No, he, he can't. He can. He can absolutely. Yes. Well, he he can't say it's here. Why? Because where? How does he determine that here is okay? Here? But he can definitely say that it's not there uh, above the horizon. He can right? definitely say yes. He can definitely okay. say it's not here. It's not here. It's not here. It's so not there. It's not there. But where it is, is it? Relatively uh, distant, you know. Yes, but the guy over there can't see it. I can see it, or he can see it from here, but that guy can't see it from there. Yes, as uh, I told you, this is the point of perspective, and uh, the, it is a, a absolutely subjective one. Yes, but this is the thing. This is not perspective. This is orientation, and it's not the same thing. We have to understand orientation is not the same as perspective. Like, it's an it's a entirely different field. As far as I understand, the perspective works in uh, all the different... Uh, uh, orientations. Uh, orientations. But if uh, it was the same thing... Around us. If so, perspective... One second, Sergei. If perspective worked the same in all orientations, my perspective says there's a tree there. If I go like this, my perspective does not say it's a tree there. It says there's no tree there. So there's a change. Of course, orientation has changed your perspective. Of course. And we can't, we can't say uh, it's just this all of the time. That like, no, we have to take what the world really says. Yes, <laughs> exactly, Antonio. Antonio, this is the. Uh, uh, this is a, a phenomena of uh, one uh, particular moment of time of your vision. You yes. Know, yes. Once you, you look straight to that point, you have this perspective. Once you changed it slightly, or uh, no matter how, it is a different perspective. Or even if you have moved a bit yourself, then it's different perspective. So. Uh, but everywhere is perspective because the eye, our eye vision uh, properties. Yes, it's the same rules, the, the same rules for perspective. Yeah. Uh, who's showing? David is showing his Asimov. Um, Sergey, uh, do you have... Uh, uh, David is in 
uh, Foley. Um, hmm. So, Sergey, you know, if the sun was one thing in the sky, the world we would be living in would be an AE projection. Could you repeat it? If the sun was one thing in the sky that everybody was looking at, the same one thing, then the world we would be living in would have the shape of the AE maps. I don't know. Hmm? Logically, they would have to, because the the lines of longitude, uh, these lines, they go like this, which is what makes the stretching to the south and then making smaller in the north. Can you see? I don't know if you can see. One second. Yes, I can see it. Yeah. Here's the sun. If it's one thing in space, here's the sun. And here's one place. And one hour later, here's the sun. And here's one place. The same time, this hour, here's one place. And here's one place. This is the AE. This is what happens. Yeah, but we cannot... Hold on. Yes. We cannot observe it from different spots of, uh, you know, because... We it cannot see that far over the horizon. The horizon restriction. Uh, well, one second. We can see far enough. We can see 6,000 miles to the sun. Yeah. So we can see 6,000 miles to the north of the sun and 6,000 miles south of the sun. That's 12,000 miles. Okay. Yeah. So the sun here and it moves and it makes a very small space here and you draw a map like this and it makes a very big space here and you draw a map like this and this is the, Gle the Gleason's all of the AE maps and all of the AE maps are wrong because they have to accommodate the sun sending a shadow south and north so you know north and south if the sun was one thing but the sun is not one thing, and we know that the width of South America is not the width of North America. The width of Australia is not the width that's wider than North America. We know this. This is measured. This is uh, not a debate. It's because we think the sun is one thing in space. It is not. If it was one thing in space, the land that we live in would be an AE projection. It would the, be the, the sun. The sun is one thing is in space within 12 mi miles diameter of a circle around you, uh, approximately, which is restricted by your horizon. One second, the, the, one second. Did you hear what I said about the shadows north and south? Yeah. If it's one thing, we would the shape of the map of the Earth would be an AE projection. You Hold cannot on. say that it would not be. Have you have you checked uh, with two guys within uh, one with a circle of twelve miles diameter miles yeah. diameter? Uh, uh -huh. Have you checked the shadows between those two guys who are within twelve miles between them? Twelve uh, thousand miles. No, we have checked with uh, less. Twelve thousand miles. Sorry, from yeah. the north and from the south. We have checked fifty degrees north and thirty degrees south. And how much is that? What, what do you mean? I mean in distance. We uh, it is it is long long very long distance. Okay, it, it is this. Look, if we want to look at a, a representation, it is this. This is thirty, and this is fifty. Yeah, I understand. But between thirty and fifty, uh, uh, thousands thousands miles, right? Mm. But uh, we cannot see the sun be, uh, behind the horizon. The yeah. horizon is about uh, three or four miles, or how many? Six miles, right? Uh, oh. Yes, but uh, we see the sun for longer than Can our we... horizon. What if let's we thought put, of... Let's put one... I'm sorry, go ahead, please, Clark. Yeah, okay. What if we thought of something completely different here, and we think outside the box? 
Now, if I was going to make the earth, say I'm God, and I'm going to make the earth, I want it to be less, I don't want it to be a whole bunch of mechanics involved because, you know, mechanical things break down. Yeah. Things break over time, over years and years and years. So I would want as little moving parts as possible yeah. in, my, in my earth because, you know, I'm making it. I want it to last a long time. So instead of making a sun, I would make a series of lenses that circle around. And then at, each lens is like an on-off lens. And that's how it can move around. It would give the appearance of moving around, but it's not actually moving around. I would make an energy that flows and that creates. Energy that flows. So your, your point is that there's one source in the center and uh, it's just reflecting from the mi yes. mirrors or lenses yes. uh, and so on. Uh, yes. Yeah, could be, could be. But this reflection is one thing. At the, at the same time, within one uh, perspective or horizon, in one horizon, you can say a bubble. Okay, let's say bubble. Yes, you like it. <laughs> this idea. Uh, so, in one bubble, this is the only one thing. So this is how I would describe it. Okay, you have a point of view here. You're here, and you have a horizon. Okay, and you have the sun anywhere in your sky. We will say the sun is here. If the sun was one thing in the sky, somebody here would look this way to the sun. Okay, now what I'm going to do is draw just a couple of lines to show, to indicate distance, okay? So... You, you are intersecting two bubbles now. So, yes, wait a second. So this is just denoting a little bit of distance and there's the horizon, okay? This guy's sun is here. Above somebody's head here, this guy's son, okay? And this guy's son, if it was one thing in space, would be the same son. It would, dis it would display itself across the earth to the shape of the earth that is that of the Gleason's projection, which is false. For two guys to the left, it is one thing, and for two guys to the right, it is also one thing, but it is not also uh, one thing for all three of them. Yeah, it's, mm, it's or, not. It's, for uh, two, one in the left and one in the right. Yeah, so instead, what happens in the real world is you have this guy has his son, and this guy's son is completely independent of this guy's son. It has nothing to do with it. This guy's son, uh, this relationship, this guy's son might be here. And you might say, ah, you see, his line of sight is this. It's like, okay, what about when this guy's son is here? Or what about when this guy's son is here and this guy's son is there? When this is what's happening. And this is what happens. The reason it happens is this. This guy's arc is this shape. And this guy's arc is this shape. This guy's further south or further north. This guy's further north with a higher arc. And this guy's further south. And this guy's son is here at the same time as this guy's son is there. Yeah, it might be like you're saying, but it is exactly the perspective uh, uh, thing. <laughs> well, okay, so we can't ignore the perspective thing, okay? We cannot. We can't, pretend, we can't pretend like perspective doesn't, it's not something that's real. It is. So now we have this guy. His sun is arriving. It's morning, okay? So let me start again. The guy's here and the sun is arriving and the sun is here, okay? And we think the sun is high from the ground and going across. This is what we think. This is what they, uh, the, the flat earth models that people think that they grasp with they don't understand if that, that was the case, we would live in an AE proportioned land, which we don't. So we think this is very high, but it looks like it's low from his point of view because of the distance, because of perspective. We think this, it's a rational thing to think. It's false, it's not true. If this was the case, 
then people would be able to triangulate the sun. Somebody underneath the sun would say, oh look, the sun is at 90 degrees above my head. But this is not what happens. This guy, the sun is over here or over there, all kinds of different places, because this guy's bubble is a different bubble to this guy's. And I say bubble, it's not a bubble, it's a, a, a waveform, okay? So this guy's sun is arriving, and this guy's sun is on an arc, okay? The arc is that way. And this arc is what I refer to as the rainbow. Sergey, this arc is what I refer to as the rainbow. And as this arc gets progressively closer, without it being perspective, okay, this climbs higher to this guy, okay? To the point that this arc is over his head, okay? Let me redraw this because there aren't actually any actual arcs there. Okay. Let us come back to it when the the guy there's a newcomer, Antonio. Oh, okay, but one second. What happens when he gets to the center of the arc, which the arc is here? The sun, this journey that it makes, as the arc moves across a week or day. This space shows very little change on his nomen. This. There's movement this way in the shadow, but no movement that way. The shadow does not get any shorter. And this is why. This is why the shadow stalls. We have a yeah, new comma. I remember that, yeah. Yeah, for a long time in Denver, Colorado, 50 minutes. Alexandra, Alexandra, how are you doing? You're muted, by the way. Sasha, you're muted. I muted on purpose. Sorry, guys. <laughs> how are you doing? <laughs> Here I am. Okay, I, I got one at 11.50. And now no sun. <laughs> okay, so we we'll, we will wait until you have a sun. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm here. Whenever I get something, I'll cool. enter it. Cool, because <laughs> we have David, uh, who is in Foley, um, Alabama, and he has the sun. So as soon as it comes for you, we can see where you are. Where are you, first of all? Uh, Glendale, no, just behind the Hollywood sign in Los Angeles. Oh, okay. Really? If you, look at, if you look towards the Hollywood sign, a little towards the right, maybe a kilometer or two, just behind. That's probably one of the most famous modern landmarks in the world, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Glendale, okay. California. I'll mute, guys. No, you don't have to mute. I mean, unless you get somebody running around you with a whistle in the mouth. By the way, Antonio, can you see the uh, my icon? Um, let me see. Uh, no, or oh, your icon is just a person, the no icon thing. I can see it myself. Why can't you see it then? Okay. I don't know. I, I, I will send this file to you. I've made this uh, uh, as a result of readings uh, of uh, Cosmic Surfer at 1450, if I'm right, and uh, my uh, azimuth at that time. So I will send this file in Skype. Oh yeah, cool. Antonio, he has avatar. Do you see his avatar? It's like a map. No, uh, to me, uh, Chris, what's what's Sergey's uh, avatar? Can you see any avatar for it's, Sergey? No, it's just, he hasn't. He hasn't. He hasn't uploaded one. It's just a, a blank. It, it's a stock. Even, even I, I think, see it. I think he might have uploaded something that's only available to some devices, or I don't know, some versions of. Okay, I'm not that experienced as you are, guys, so uh, we'll look into it. Yes. Ah, Sergey, uh, I can see it. Look, I can see it here. Okay, but in this Hangout, no. I tell you what I will do. I will drop and I will rejoin. Okay? I will send the file anyway. Okay, yes. Uh, yes. Alexander has a shadow. Uh... 
I think. Okay, Chris, I'm leaving it with you. I'll be straight back. Okay. I was just saying to somebody in chat there that, um, yeah, I have to agree with you because it's just a, it's a total waste of time um, figuring out and then trying to help other people realize that the whole world is completely different to what they believe it is. You know, it's it's which affects everybody. You know, your environment where you thought you grew up in, it's totally different to what we've all been led to believe, duped into, told. It's a total waste of time. It's not going to benefit you in any way whatsoever. It's not going to have any knock-on effect. There's no massive implications to every aspect of culture, civilization, religion, society. Total waste of time. <laughs> Alexander, what is hanging there? Well, I hang uh, something uh, to, ah, to, it's just, uh, uh, to show to that uh, the human is vertical. Yes, yes. Although it's windy, so <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I should actually remove it so it's not in our way. Yeah, right. How? Oh. How's it going there, David? Looks good. Uh, we got, uh, I don't know what time it is, but. Uh, it should be one minute past the hour, wherever you are. Okay, so we're looking at about 70, right on the dot. 70 millimeters. Yep. Or 70 on the azimuth. Oh, sorry, it's 70 degrees, sorry. Yeah, 70 degrees in. 70 degrees. And, and your azimuth is... Uh, Two hundred thirty degrees. Degrees in. There we go. Sorry. Are you right on seventy degrees there, David? What's that? Are you right on seventy degrees there? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. Is your shadow, is your, your lines there curving around down to the right? Down to the right yeah. of your paper? Really? Yeah. Interesting. Do you see that, Sub Johnny? Yes. What is it? Can you tell me, please? Yeah, when you're looking at um, David's page and you're watching his dots where they come across and then where he's coming up to right now how it's starting to dip to the quite a bit to the right 
to the left. Yeah, you see his track. You see his tracking dots there. Yeah. And then you see how they come to a certain point and then they start to curve off. Yeah. Yeah. Was yours doing that today, or were you able to get that many data points? That's interesting. It is interesting because if that shadow keeps on continuing the way it's going. You know, uh, this, uh, the, the track of dots, uh, this track of dots, uh, uh, with it, every next dot, uh, the di uh, shadow distance is getting uh, smaller and smaller and smaller. Yeah. But anyway, the pattern is this curved line. Yeah, it starts to curve as soon as it reaches to the point. He's got a good track going there, David. And then you get to the point of where it hits to the point of your gnomon where it looks like you had your shortest shadow. Right. And then it starts to seem to curve around it. Right. Does it describe that the sun is uh, has already started moving away from the, oh, sorry, or from the Tropic of uh, Cancer? You're in Foley, oh, right? Yes. Okay. I'm going to get that up on SunCal because that's quite an interesting pattern you got there. I think we may have. Oh, no, sorry. Ignore me. Okay, I'll ignore you. I don't like doing that to you, Chris. But. <laughs> I just thought I had the wrong person highlighted and they had like a, a blank screen, and I'm thinking, oh, we've lost somebody, and I've just had somebody else highlighted. That's all. All right. <laughs> hey, guys. Um, Sasha from LA. Uh, regarding the compass, I, if you look at my, <laughs> at my compass, it's off, but I tried several times, moved it around, put my hands next to it, away from it. It just keeps moving. <laughs> so actually, I said it, moved it several times, and I put it in the place where it was mostly. And now I see it's off again. So whatever that means, <laughs> anyway. Did you try yeah. and did you try and um, compare it to a, like a smartphone app compass? Or... No, Chris, I didn't. No, actually, I'm. I almost didn't do it. I'm by myself. My my daughter and wife left the house. So okay. I don't even have a clock, actually. I'm, I'm looking at the clock here on this phone. Oh, man, they abandoned you. Oh, that's not very oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Globies. <laughs> actually, no. They're, they're on our side, just um, waiting for this. They want, they want physical proof, do they? <laughs> Uh, sorry to interrupt you there, Sergey. Were you going to say something? I'm sorry. I said I uh, I talked over you a few a few couple of minutes ago. Were you going to say something? Oh, not a problem. Absolutely. I was just trying to say that uh, most of compasses, uh, I mean, these small, small, not professional, they, they normally do behave like that. Um, slight movement or slight change of even your self position in respect of the compass can uh, uh, interfere the, the indication and also. Uh, I, I think that the most uh, reliable one for uh, private u uh, purpose of private use is the one which is looks looks like the the, the small candle uh, which we use uh, used to put in the cup for floating. You know this one. 
uh, small round uh, small, uh, candles, you know, with the made of metal, yeah, aluminum. But this shape of compass, I think, is best one. Because I am, um, th that's a fairly, uh, what do you call it? Fairly simple setup. It's a fairly, uh, what, do, what do they call it now? Rudimental. Rudimentary, sorry. Here, I'll show you the clouds in LA. Sunny should be right there. Oh, right there. Oh, I see it. Oh, maybe we have some shadow. <laughs> I see shadow, mate. Yeah, I see shadow. What time is it? 12.09. Okay. Precisely. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a shadow light. I'm just wondering that uh, pilots and uh, ship navigators, uh, when they sail and they fly, they have one point of uh, destination. They have point of uh, uh, going from and uh, the point of destination, and they they know where you where to go. They know they go straight line and they arrive to the point uh, where you need where they need to go <laughs> without mistake so interesting why the silence Chris, you don't want him to play the trailer park boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I'm yeah. tempting fate. Yeah. Yeah, don't be pushing on the silence there. It's okay. Silence is golden sometimes. <laughs> it is, it is. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I just want to mention that uh, probably, uh, you know, as uh, according to my experience as well, uh, when <clears throat> uh, the uh, bridge navigators, used to receive the uh, maps on paper navigation maps before each uh, trip or travel uh, and they receive it from shore uh, a package of m maps and uh, they are numbered and this uh, they they uh, they uh, uh, kind of book this uh, uh, package of maps for each trip uh, so the, there's a map number one and so on number two number three and they use it like that they, they take num uh, the map number one uh, and uh, they can see only the part of the land masses and the uh, area of the sea or ocean and they, uh, they travel alone, they make a, a straight line along this uh, uh, map and then they take a map number two and so on until they arrive to the point. So they always cannot see the whole uh, travel route or the, the whole distance from the point of uh, departure to the, uh, to the point of destination uh, and they cannot even compare they just use small uh, parts of the uh, same as pilots actually when they see on the screen something where they go on or maybe on uh, on the uh, radar or the pre-uploaded map to their equipment 
they don't see the whole story, only the part of it. Yeah, it's kind of like the, um, you understand waypoints. So they pick waypoints, certain points along the way to see. And then, um, so yeah, they only see up until the waypoint and then they change maps. Yes, exactly, waypoints, yeah. I thought you were starting your new job today, Sergey, or, or is that all? No, not today. I started it uh, on uh, last Tuesday. Right. And uh, today is my, was my, what, uh, third day or fourth day? I just don't remember. <laughs> uh, so. <laughs> and how is it going? Is it all right? It's okay. Uh, this, this work is uh, long, but uh, quite calm, you know. Oh, good. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but but I, I, at the same time, I have to move uh, more. And that uh, I like, that is, I like because, uh, you know, this hypodynamia uh, destroys us. What's your occupation now? A HSE uh, engineer or manager. Oh. What is HSE? Is? So is you connected with the uh, airplanes? No, with the we have a drilling project in Arctic, uh, uh, and I work on the shore base, supply base for that project. Well, we deal with the uh, AHTC vessels, tug suppliers. Okay, I see. This is for uh, depth drilling, Sergey. Yeah, that is uh, uh, survey or exploration drilling uh, for oil and gas. Oh, okay. So, so I'm, I'm kind. I'm a kind of involved of uh, to <laughs> pollution of uh, polluting of the planet, or sorry, the plane. <laughs> well, I've I've heard. I've heard that uh, when oil is not tapped for, say, 15, 20 years, it's, it replenishes. It's uh, abiotic, crude, crude oil, when it's not tapped, when the reservoirs are, or the supplies are left alone, it replenishes. I don't know. Maybe uh, what I know is when they pump it out, they uh, pump in uh, water instead uh, into the reservoir and i don't know how bad or good is that well they say uh, that the water being pumped in is to stop collapses isn't it yes it is it is because they try and keep the same pressure as what the oil is yes exactly under. exactly and after they finish the uh how do you call it, terminate the drill hole uh with some concrete or whatever so to keep the pressure there Hot a shadow in between. Hey guys, did you see um, Jake's uh, comparison of um, Google Earth? How he how he moved it around, like spun it, and it you have to spin it like three times. Yeah, actually, no. I have. I will have, I will have <laughs> a look. Is that okay. lucky? <laughs> he grabs it from one side and moves it to the other side. Supposedly, now he moved the whole planet once, right? But no, he has to do it 
twice or three times in order to move the to the other side so it's not oh, proportional. Yeah. oh yes I, I noticed that myself you know I, I put the mouse uh, on the one edge of the Google Earth uh, or the planet and then uh, turn it around and I should have uh, an opposite side of it but I don't I see only the maybe uh, one third part of that no, like I turned it one third uh, part right exactly yes <laughs> Uh, and I was uh, questioning why, why? Because w we used to see, think that uh, the edges of the globe is exactly the, if you if we look at that from uh, the North Pole, like we are on, on uh, above the North Pole and look at that, so the edges of the Earth would be the equator, right? So I touch one equator, turn it around, and I have to see the opposite side. No, no way. <laughs> yeah, so you got to spin it three times to see the entire thing. I used to have a car like that. I had to steer the steering wheel three times before you would even start to steer. So if you were going to the right, you'd have to turn it six times full round to get the wheels to turn to the left. <laughs> yeah, of course, they can say, uh, um, uh, as an argument to this, they can say, no, that's not an equator, you know, equator is a bit, uh, we don't see it, it's uh, a, a bit there, uh, beyond our view. Hey guys, meet Tesla. Hey. hey. Tesla. Tesla. Oh, that's a great name. Tesla. Turn around. Say hello. He's Bosnian. He's Bosnian. <laughs> <laughs> He's an American Bosnian. <laughs> yeah. Or is that a Bosnian American? I don't know. Actually, it's not ours. I'm just taking care of my singer's right. dog. <laughs> does he does he respond better to um, English words or Bosnian phrases? Well, I didn't hear his Chris. <laughs> 